Hello. Hello. It's me, the dying human being. I'm dying. I will die on stream. No, I won't, probably. If anything, I'd die on the ho in the hospital. The, like, ambulance would have to, like, take me. And then I'd die. <laughs> so don't worry. <clears throat> Was it an ambulance? Well, I'll be dead, actually. So the price doesn't matter, right? won't matter i'll just like go and die and, and like it wouldn't matter that much <clears throat> like i don't give a fuck dude <laughs> i can't give a fuck they won't even come get me oh wait no i don't have this haircut anymore i was gonna I was going to do <laughs> do this, but I don't have that haircut anymore. I'm I'm like regular not bowl cut hair Andy anymore. I'm like regular human being. Regular. <clears throat> Just a dude now. I <laughs> It's me. When is the last time I streamed? I feel like it's been so long. Last, I think more than a week. It's because I've been dying. And what else have I been doing? I don't know. There's some other shit that happened. 11 days ago. What the fuck? That's crazy. I can't believe 11 days passed. Well, I'm huge. I see something. Right here in the flesh. Well, I guess not in the flesh, in in the box, actually. There's a box. Just freshly received, re received from... This is upside down, but okay, let's get that shit out of here. Now, as much as I am excited to receive this... Hold on, you can't see it. It's Lumine! Wow! <laughs> as much as I am excited to receive this, what fascinates me even more is... You see this? It's like cushion, right? This is like cushioning. Right, it's supposed to be like filled with air, but if you look very closely, I don't know if you could tell, these are little air sackets, right? But if I press down on it, there's no air resistance. It just like smushes and disappears. Where is this air going? What's happening to the air that's in here? How is it protruding like this, but then when I squeeze it, nothing happens? What's going on? What is this magic? It doesn't pop. I can't pop this. This isn't real air. What is, what is this magic? See this? Where does the air go? See that? Look, look at this. Look at this bulbous sack right here, okay? Just get real close, real nice and close. Bulbous sack. Press. It's gone. It fucking disappeared from reality. This shit's magic, bro. What the hell? <laughs> I've seen that before, but, like... It's just... It's not satisfying, you know? Because... Usually, when you when you get packages, the fun part is getting, like, bubble wrap... And popping the bubble wrap. I can't pop that shit. This shit's unpoppable. <laughs> no, I'm saying it sucks, okay? <clears throat> Give Lumine like a, a real, real blade. <laughs> there she is. This is, I love these. Are these called Nindroids? They're amazing. They're like posable and shit. I don't know if I want to unbox this whole thing because this shit takes like 10 years to do. And like the lighting is horrible. And like you have to remove all the parts and the plastics and stuff. But it's here. That's all that matters. Yeah, you can look at her gazed like she's captured in jelly or some shit. <laughs> you can like barely, barely see her. Look, she gets the, the glider. You can make her glide. In the back here, you can see everything you can make her do. You can make her stand with the sword, or stand with the sword, or stand without a sword. Isn't that incredible? With the iconic dull blade. I don't know if I want a camera. 
Why don't we just get like a cock cam? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what if someone did that? They had a cock cam, but like their cock wasn't out, it's was just in the cock area. Would that be against TOS? Could you not have a, a cock cam? A non cock cock cam? Is that something you could do? Well, you'd get banned, right? If you, you actually had your cock out, so. Bro, what if you hyped up like a cock cam stream and it was a camera on like a chicken or something? <laughs> you had a chicken cam. Yeah, exactly. That would be lit. That would be sick. <clears throat> We have a former me with the haircut today. Hold on. All the world holds dear Hold on. I have something set up for this. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Where is it? I stand before it, alone what the fuck and is this? Oh, hold on. <laughs> Where did it go? Me. <laughs> I'm Cleet right now. <laughs> it's so small, dude. What the hell? <laughs> this is kind of funny, actually. I could just be here Inactivity the entire no time. Do you think anyone would notice? Hmm. Someone came here, they'd be like, wait, what the fuck's wrong with Cleet? Why does she look like that? <laughs> <coughs> right, I'm dying. I'm back. I don't know where I want to put this. I had this over here for Pokemon, and I feel like I should just keep it here. Because, like, I'm going to play Pokemon eventually. Maybe today? I don't know. Stupid-ass camera. I don't know how to focus, dude. Spend, like, $60 on this shit. It's like, you're just blurry the entire time. Why does it feel, like, not bright? Is it just me? <laughs> Skarmooch! Skarmooch! Woo! I love Skarmooch. Alright, oh, let me let me get into the meat of things, okay? We're doing the Skarmooch uh, thingy, or whatever. Who fucking hears this guy? I was really hyped for Skarmooch. I think his character is awesome. Personality is great. He's like a little gremlin, you know? He's like... You know? He's... <laughs> He basically got La Signora killed because he, he fucking yeeted the Gnosis, Gnosis, didn't tell anybody. And then La Signora was like, oh, give me your Gnosis, and then fucking died. I think personality-wise, character-wise, I really like Skarmooch. A.K.A. Wanderer. Okay, whatever, whatever you want to call him. What I don't like about him is just like... This reminds me too much of Klee, you know what I mean? Like, he's just like... He does like one, two, three, and that's it. Like he doesn't do any cool sick moves. You know? Like if he like did some like backflips and shit, I'd be like, holy cow, give me that character right now. He just throws wind blades. And I guess he has black holes, that's pretty cool. And he could like float, <laughs> I guess. You know? He could become tall despite being so short. I, I don't know. His weapon's really cool too, but I just I don't know, I can't I can't get behind this, you know what I mean? Again, if he was like Heizo, who did like punches and shit, I'd be like, fuck yeah, give me this character. But like everything is perfect about him, except his attacks. I'm sorry, okay? Look at this. You ready? Oh wow, windblade, windblade, wow. <laughs> it's just not Why is this so loud? When did this game get so loud? Someone help me, hold on. It's like hurting my ears. Ah. Is this better? Okay, this is way better. Like, it's like, I don't know. You just float in the sky and then throw wind blades at people. And just like, this is cool too, because he like steps on you. And it's like, you know, if you're into that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but I think it's very characteristic of, of him. Personally, though, this, like, I, I play way too much Klee, all right? I, I use Klee mostly, and this is just, like, Klee combat, but with Swirl instead. I feel like I get so bored of this. <clears throat> the old. You could do that, too. That's pretty cool. 
I don't know. I just don't think he's that fun. <coughs> I'm dying. Wants to let it rip? <laughs> I like his hat. That's like my favorite part about his character. <laughs> I like his hat. Um, but I don't know, man. I'm just not, I'm not too into him. Plus, I, I saw, I saw maybe some, some posts on a certain Reddit that, you know, showed potentially new characters, and I just, I've been more into those. I have a small heater, but it gets, like, so hot, only, like, in a two meter, not meter, like, two feet radius in front of it. And, like, that's the only place it's hot. And it's, like, way too hot, too. Like, not worth it. All right, that was Skarmooch, or Wander, whatever you want to call him. Here's Heizo, or not Heizo. Heizo's actually cool. Ito's cool, too. I like Ito. Arataki Ito. My favorite part about Ito is that he throws a cow with his cow attack. And then the cow dances. Well, it's, it's a bull, because it has horns, but you know what I mean. He's pretty funny. <laughs> He kick his sword? Oh yeah, he does! You know, ever since Zong Li kicked his spear, they've been going crazy with characters kicking shit they totally should not kick. <laughs> it's like he kicked his sword there. Why? I don't know, but it's cool. Attaboy. Ow! Oni coming, through. Oni coming through! Oh, I forgot. You're supposed to charge attack with this, right? And then you do the big slam. That's how you play Ito? You have to like build stacks or something. I don't know much about playing Ito. He seems fun, I guess. Can't catch me. I'm just personally someone who likes characters who like have cool autos. You know what I mean? So people who revolve around using their their normal attacks, I think is really cool. Or like gimmick builds. That's like that's shit that I like to play. So that's why I like Heizo because his autos are so cool and like that's the main way you play him. You auto attack, do swirls. Press Q, press E, and you do a ton of damage, and I think it's really fun. Whereas, like, some of these other characters, I don't know. It's like, press Q, and you're fucking, they're gone. Not bye. Bye. See you later. And, like, Skarmooch, I think you do use his autos, but the problem with using his, his normal attacks is, like, they're kind of boring to look at. He goes, <laughs> like, I don't, I'm just not interested, you know what I mean? It's just not me. It's not me, you know? It's not just doesn't speak to me, you know? He's like a he's like a Pisces and I'm like a Taurus, you know? There's this girl. I literally don't know anything about this chick. Like she kind of just came out of nowhere. Something about her being trapped in a, a dimensional time loop or something in Sumeru. Kind of reminds me of Hatsune Miku. She's very flashy. But also her hair is like rudely messed up. She kind of looks a little psycho. I guess if she was trapped in like a dimensional time box for many years, she would be probably a little crazy. <laughs> I don't know anything about this character. Like, what does she do? What is her E? Okay. She does a little little triangle brap. That's pretty cool. Triangle brap. Let's go. Can I hold it? I feel like she's not doing anything. <laughs> what, about, what does this character do? You can't hold it. It's just, okay. It's a five second cooldown. All right, I've seen this. You summon like a, a shape and then it spawns randomly. What the fuck? This is stupid. <laughs> it's not hitting the slime. What the hell? Excuse me. I pressed Q and nothing happened. Oh shit, they put Heizo here. Yo, that's based. This is the real the real character trial right here. Look at this shit. Heizo is just a better Skarmooch. Can, can we be honest here? Like he's just cooler. <laughs> What does this character do? I don't... I feel like she's not doing anything. It's missing. It's over there. Why is it over there? There, get the enemies. Yes! Hold on. I need to read what this character does because it's legit. I don't know what the fuck she's doing. Normal attacks. Okay, four normal attacks. <coughs> I think I'm allergic to caffeine. Let's be real. I think that's the problem. I was fine until I took the second cup of coffee. <laughs> a polyhedron that deals AOE anima damage. Nearby opponents. 
He also enters Manifest Gale State. Next fully charged will consume the state and become a Hurricane Arrow. This arrow deals animal damage based on the damage of a fully charged aim shot. From normal attack, Parthian shot. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, a fully charged... Okay, I see. So it's just a better charge attack. Okay, 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 okay. I'm understanding. What does this do? I feel like this isn't doing anything. Dazzling polyhedron that unleashes whirlwind pulse deals animal damage. I did get a haircut. Look at this. I'm not Skarmuch anymore. It'll continuously move along a triangular path. Okay, okay. Once it has reached each corner of the triangular path, it will unleash one more wind whirlwind post. So it decreases animal resistance. Prayerful wins benefit to all nearby party members once it's granting them an animal damage bonus. This is too much, dude. This character. So she's an animal support. So I should have this character if I want to run Haizo. Is that what I'm getting at? She doesn't heal though. So like, what the fuck's the point? How am I supposed to run Taser and a heal and Haizo? And this chick. I don't have enough team slots. She's useless. <laughs> uh... Inform wind secret to who are hit by the vortex created by. Dude, I um, I don't care about this character. When a character is affected by this, deal animal damage. Um, they gain hurricane guard effect, increase damage base, thirty two percent of her attack. One instance of this can occur every zero point eight seconds. So she basically adds on damage. Okay. Hold on, I need to try this out at least. So now I have like a special arrow. Uh -huh. That's kind of cool, I think. <laughs> it's, it's fun. The thing about four star characters is they're just like useless until you get them to like, to C6. <laughs> so like, let's just skip here. 40% uh, crit damage when they deal animo damage. You know, I feel like I'm, I'm slowly realizing that, like, percentages are actually, like, super meaningful in games. When I used to play games, I'd be like, 20% oh, damage increase? That's fucking stupid. <laughs> it's not 100%. And then I just wouldn't use it. Or I'd just be like, whatever, who cares? That shit adds up, bro. I'm just realizing this now. And I'm realizing this mostly because I was talking to with some coworkers about the Pokemon tournament. And one of them is like super into into competitive Pokemon, and he was telling me so much shit that I didn't even know existed in the game. <laughs> Dude, don't worry. I barely know what I'm talking about when I talk about Genshin stats. Okay. I know I know what the word is, what it means overall in terms of like gameplay. No idea. <coughs> <coughs> Death. Uh, death. Uh, death. What's that Hearthstone card? Hold on. Hearthstone card. Hearthstone. Death. Uh, death. I don't know what he says. I just like made it up. Voice. Effect. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. That's a card though. I have some of this shit like in my brain. And it'll like trigger. And I'll like... But, like, I don't remember. I'm not good at remembering stuff, so it comes out, like, half-assed and, like, inaccurate as fuck. Death! Uh, oh, wait. I think I know what it is. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? It's that guy. When he takes damage, he draws you a card. <laughs> Hearthstone. Take. Damage. Draw. Card. Who is this guy? Acolyte of Pain. I think this is a... Am I right? Let the let the pain speak to let me. Let the pain speak to me. Bring the pain. 20 attacks. 
<laughs> yes. That was not that was not the card. Damn. I lost it, dude. He just like <laughs> revels in his death. <laughs> yeah, yes. You think Acolyte of Pain, like you know? <laughs> you think he, you think when he dies, he's like, hell yeah, dude. You know what I mean? Like he that's the the best experience he, he's ever felt in his entire life. I think so. All right, let's play the game, dude. Oh, there's a card game. Wait, I'm actually not playing Pokemon today. There's a card game. They added a card game in Genshin Impact with Genshin Impact characters as the cards, which is kind of weird if you think about it, right? Like, like some of these people are just random people who like aren't famous, right? So like Fischl is just a person who's a part of the Adventures Guild. Imagine being just like a person and there's a card made after you. Is that weird? I don't know what the lore of that is, but we'll we'll find out. First though, very important. Where is it? Oh wait, is this the quest? This is the quest. It's the interlude chapter. In order to look for more important information about your sibling, you and Paimon decide to visit Nahida in the sanctuary of Surastanas. I still don't know how to read. I'm sorry, okay? Along the way, you hear people discussing something about how the narrator is dying of a sickness that is unknown. It's almost like allergies, except no allergy medicine ever works. I had this last year too. You could probably go back in like my stream VODs and date almost exact same time where I just start like sniffling and coughing and dying again. So it like, it has to be allergies, right? But also every allergy medicine I take doesn't do jack shit. He doesn't do anything. Day cool works please. better. <laughs> I'm not trying to write a thriller here. It's supposed to be an essay. You understand? <clears throat> an essay. That means facts and logic. I hate essays. Every time I write an essay, I try and. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I write an. Okay, what's that guy? Mars. <laughs> I forgot what his name was. There's a YouTuber. His name's. It's. He does like video essays. And I remember in English class, I hated fucking writing essays. And so I, the way I would write them was I would picture this YouTuber's voice or I'd hear this YouTuber's voice in my head and I'd picture him writing this essay into a video essay. And that's how I would write all of my essays. I remember sitting in class and being like, like hearing his voice in my ear as I wrote it. Well, if it's facts and What's this guy's name? Doctor, you shot yourself in the foot with your choice of research topic, didn't you? The Tatara soon a mystery. When so much remains unexplained, there's little to be objective about. Unless, of course, you restrict yourself to textual criticism. Yeah, well, this is my I'm like not paying attention at all. <laughs> what is but this guy's name, dude? Fuck. Enough without having to sensationalize it, don't you think? What are they talking about? Location, the, the missing details, a mysterious person. I want to write my essay on something interesting, and I'm interested in getting to the bottom of all this. That's the only reason I came to you. So yes, cold, dude. You came to me. So <laughs> all the more reason to take my advice. The fact is, it's the dramatization. I'll talk after this. I don't know what this guy's saying, but I'll talk after this. Uh, okay, but. Aquaba. It's kind of a cool name, Aquaba. I like that name. What is that? That's the big machine that was like poisoning that entire island or something. I didn't really pay attention to that class. So what happens if you didn't do that quest? That was like a side story quest, right? Still, let's go listen in. Yeah. Inversion of Genesis. Wow. What a crazy name, dude. I was gonna what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, how I'm sick, right? I've noticed something. If it's like a warm temperature, I'm not coughing and I'm not sniffing that much. The moment it gets like a little cold, I immediately start to die. But then I also noticed if I'm in too hot of a temperature, I start to get like fucking itchy all over my body. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I'm just like a frail little creature right, that needs like perfect temperature or else I just suffer for the rest of my life. For the first draft. I have a feeling that wrong the with me? Why am I like this? Will 
end up being the main focus of this. I refuse to see a doctor. I'm okay. Uh, Don't even tell me, dude. If only we knew where to find Same. <laughs> From what they I hate it. About her, this seems like the kind of thing she'd know about. Hey, it's me. You guys are talking to me? Talking about me? Looking for oh, me? You know what? Let me open this. You're the traveler, See if I can get at least her out so that I could like role play as Lumine. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm the traveler. Hey, what's with that face? Don't believe us? <laughs> you don't believe me? You don't believe me? I'll go. Oh no, no. Of course I believe you. Actually, I first heard about your great exploits when I was still in Inazuma. This is my first time break out full body hives if it warmed mysterious yes. silver sometimes i'll be in the shower for too long and, and my entire head will just start like uh, getting really itchy Sorry. and then i'll have to like so put on cold water <laughs> Sorry, we don't get out much so our social skills are kind of lacking <laughs> yo same dude Traveler, i hear you've helped many people a great deal and been to many places would you be able to tell us about Tatara Suna? I will say working at like a, a real job where you like have to talk to people or you get fired. Well, you don't have to, but like it's it's good to talk to people because you'll either not do a good job or or you just won't have any friends and not have fun has made me like way better at talking. Like I talked to a random guy today at at the gas station and that's that's like a big thing for me. Antihistamines for that exact reason. It's a heat rash, but I'm too lazy to go to the doctor for an itch. I just don't like doctors, dude. Okay, I like doctors. I think it's cool. I'm just too lazy. I'm <laughs> too lazy too. It's not too lazy. It's like you gotta schedule an appointment and then you gotta you gotta do all this shit just to like, you know. It should be easier. <laughs> it shouldn't have to be like a process, huh? Actually, we don't know much about that I really should go to a doctor though. Say, I've been coughing. Way too much. I heard you talking about it and wanted to learn more. Ah, uh, I see. I killed her. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help this time. <laughs> My teacher chose this area of research as a personal challenge. He said it's difficult to get into because even Ina's <clears throat> humans don't know much about Tatara Suna's past. But uh, who'd have thought that... Uh... If you don't mind, I'd love to show you all my outline for the book I'm writing about Tatara Suna. I do too, honestly. Uh, hold on, Makes so me a what? hypocrite. Don't you think that's a bit of a deep dive for a first read? Well, fair point. In that case, please at ease point? yourselves in gently by taking a look at Akaba's latest essay draft. <coughs> Sorry, me give you forgive some me. Background. This all started with the discovery of some records in Tatara Suna. The writings mentioned someone by the name of Mikoshi Nagamasa. Mikoshi. Who a fine blade. Okay. But in the end, he threw it into a fire to destroy it and killed his servant Katsuragi. Why? Well, no one knows. No one knows. Apart from the sword maker, his servant, and the one. Yo, is this Scaramouche's backstory? The records also mention a Kabuki Mono. This seems to be an Inazuman word for an eccentric stranger. <laughs> dress is funny. Dress is funny. Just kind of dress funny. In an unusual way. That's right. Akaba's teacher has spent quite some time researching these events on the ground. This Kabuki Mono lived in Tatara Suna for a while before disappearing without a trace. And shortly afterwards, as Akaba mentioned, things got pretty. I'm ugly. so scared of breaking this dude. To be hypocrites together. I want to like be alive though. I want to be, I don't know. Kind of fishy to oh my God, don't break it. Yes, my thoughts exactly. So I helped out too. I asked everyone I could think of if they knew anything about what happened back then. And wow, did I get lucky. Why does this guy look so <laughs> sus? <laughs> this part's important. I just wanted to make it stand out. It just so happens that a friend of mine works at the government records office. He looked into it for me. And I can now confirm Show her? That all the aforementioned individuals did. Is her right? <laughs> She's bald. Years ago. Even back it's then, me, Tatara Suna was already at the center of Inazuma's smelting industry. The man in charge was a government official <laughs> named Niwa. Curiously enough, it seems like he went missing. It's so too. it's scary because it's like really stuck together, and so like pulling it apart, I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. But pretty sturdy. I think you get used to. Wait, Could it be? That's right. What's more, Niwa is a name with a lot of history to it. 
Have you ever heard of the great swordsmith clans of Inazuma? Kazuha? The swordsmith? Dude, Kazuha and I'm, uh, Skarmage, I feel like we get along, weirdly enough, you know what I mean? Like, they're both kind of wow, weird, yes. weirdos. You really know your stuff. That makes things easier. Really know your stuff. I like his guy's this guy's voice. was a distant relative of the Kaidahara clan, the last practitioners of Ishin art. Something then seems to have happened in the Kaidahara clan, leading to their downfall. Kaidahara. I don't know the details, but taken in light of everything details. else going on around that time, it makes you wonder whether it's all connected somehow. The Kaidahara clan. He's complete. Sawada, so you left out the biggest detail of all. You can role play now. There's more! <laughs> oh, yes, of course. How could I forget? Brace your minds, ladies and gentlemen. Brace your minds. To be blown. Or maybe you won't believe your ears. I wouldn't blame you, of course, because in all my years oh, as a writer, <laughs> this is by far the most. Get to the point, for Pete's sake. Yeah, get to the point, According dude. Information I'm not even listening, but get to the point. The Kabuki Mono was not a human, but a puppet. Oh my god. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Sorry, I'm trying to get the sword out. I want to... A shogun puppet that elect... I didn't get to read that! You should voice this, Genshin. This is where you voice act this. <laughs> this is your job, Genshin Impact. You can't auto it and then... Oh, fuck you. Fucking Genshin Impact, Mihoyo. Not gonna pay the main character voice actor, by the way. Glare at Paimon and hope she keeps her mouth shut. It makes it sound like Watch yourself. I'll fuck you up, huh? I agree. It does. But considering that non-human races in Inazuma are by no means uncommon, spooky events are to be expected. And that's exactly I don't know, like $60? <laughs> Please, take a look. It's not fragile. It's actually, like, super strong. I, like, fucked this thing up. Like, I was pulling really hard. I was pulling really hard on this, like, piece of hair. Because, like, that's the joint in which you get it out. And... It's like actually super sturdy. Author Sawada. Extract one. A man arrived in Taratsuna around three in the afternoon. From afar, he spied laborers walking around the mountain roads towards the factories. Their shoes scuffling along the jutting stones. They walked like people convinced that so long as they reached the fire raging in the mountain's belly, they might extract it from gems from beyond the place. What was this talking about? Hey, these are not. These are way cooler than Funkas, because you can, like, replace their faces. Shit. <laughs> Hold on. You could replace their faces. And you could give them swords. Is this the right hand for the sword? Is this her foot? <laughs> I just have, like, a foot. <laughs> you get different parts, and you get to pose them in whatever way you like. Is way better than Funkos, okay? Funkos are... Funkos, you, like, will leave them on your desk for three days, touch it, and the fucking head will explode off of its base. <clears throat> a regular figurine. Yeah, but it's... It's cute. Look. There. She's staring into your soul. Oh, she could do, like, the, the Kiki pose. Hold on. Do I even have Kiki anywhere? I don't. She's gone. The man barked a cheerful greeting and sprinted to join the procession. My eyes deceive me. Sir Miyazaki, I cannot think that the return trip from me here from Inazuma City could have been easy on you. Miyazaki smiled like a young man, taking the first steps on their journey, expression relaxed. Why, Katsuragi? Inazuma is the realm of the almighty Shogun. Build upon the fastest ship. What is this? What is this about? This is an entire ass book, dude. What the fuck? This is a Skyrim book. I'm not reading that. I'm sorry. Please read my essay draft as well. <laughs> Traveler right now is just like... <laughs> fucking... Sawada was encouraging me to follow his more creative approach, but I think essays should be grounded in facts. <laughs> I don't think explaining everything away with mysterious forces will cut it. Oh! I want to put this I sword in her hand. How do I do this? Sawana's narrative with political intrigue. Political like, intrigue. Um, I could put a turf war between rival factions at the center of the whole series of events. Wait, you're allowed to just make stuff up? Pretty sure you've gone from <laughs> essay to guessay there. Guessay? A essay. 
Sounds more like a novel. Has this guy ever written an essay before? <laughs> Your teacher has researched this extensively. I've reached out to everyone I could think of. Whatever information we have now is all that there is to know. This is as much detail as you're ever going to get. Besides, if there really was a political power struggle going on at anything like the level you seem to be suggesting, what hope would we ever have of finding out the truth? Uh, good Put the sword in the wrong way and uh, it's like stuck now. Board, <laughs> I guess. Uh, give me some time. I need to find a new angle on this. I'll leave it to you. I have some other stuff to do, so we'll have to say goodbye for now. Good luck with your essay. All right, thank you. If you find out any more info about all this, please do let me know. Thanks so much. Okay. Is her right hand or left hand? Wait, is Lumine right-handed or left-handed? This is important. I need to be lore accurate. Hey, so, that thing they were talking about, it has to do with the Balladeer, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, then, even if we did know something about it, we probably couldn't share it with them, huh? No. After all, we kicked his butt and got him <laughs> True, we kicked his ass. About people like that is usually super confidential. I realize I have not been doing the, the boss fight for Skarmooch correctly at all. I was watching someone do an actual boss fight. <laughs> you have to, like, disable him. And then he gets on the ground and makes a little platform next to his face and you punch him. Like, the three times I fought him, I have not done that. If a single on, time. Should just take I don't know how I fucked it up that badly. As many essay topics as there are trees in the forest. What's he doing out here? What's wrong? Did you see that? He literally just went by over there. Yeah. It looked like, like Yo, he's just walking, dude. The Guy's just hanging out. Yo, I bet Nahida just let him out and was like, yo, go live life, dog. You hit your head on the fall. I didn't catch you. And you fucking had like a huge brain concussion. He probably doesn't remember anything. You see how far he fell, Paimon? Remember that? It was funny. I'm trying to figure out. Wait, 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 hold on. This is very important. I need my Lumine to be lore accurate. Where is she? Lumine, hold your sword for me. That's her right hand, right? <laughs> I gotta do the pose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's her right hand. All right, I gotta get the right hand then. I'm gonna make sure this is lore accurate. I have a left-handed Lumine, bro. The fuck? Nahida! <laughs> yeah, it's, see, they're just like hanging out. They're like best friends now. <laughs> That'd actually be so funny if they were. Traveler, just having like a funny conversation. Oh my god! Nahida! Sure enough, you're here. You're here. Hey, what are you doing in the sanctuary of Sarasana? Aren't you supposed to be locked up? I know True. you must have a lot of questions. Please, allow me to explain. It was my idea to set the balladeer free. We Sorry. made a deal. And he's gonna do Ruining the cutscene. Well, it's not a cutscene, it's just Nahida talking. What did you expect? Why do you think Sumeru would keep me around otherwise? Or maybe killing me is all you can think about. <laughs> but if that's the case, why haven't you done it already? Don't flatter yourself. It was... You don't kill playable characters. Unless it's La Senora. And we didn't even kill La Senora. Fucking uh, a different so character did. If it were up to you, you'd finish the job? <laughs> yeah. Guess I had you all wrong. There I was thinking you were just getting cold feet. Kill him. Uh, well, that escalated quickly. Not a good start. Could I ask you all to please calm down? No. I'm not worried about you, Nikita. Don't let him trick you. <laughs> it's not every day you see people questioning the God of Wisdom's judgment. Just when you think you've seen it all. Don't you dare try to drive a weird the nut in here. Us. As long as the terms are reasonable, I don't think there's a problem in making a deal. Even with the Balladeer. Well, I for one have no reason to doubt you. Considering you even struck a deal with the doctor. Yes, 
True. One in which I gained valuable information. You'll come to understand more about that in the fullness of time. What the hell? She can only hold the sword in her left hand. What is this stupid thing? This is not worth 60. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's no longer strong the joke. enough to be a strategic threat to us. Move her hand. I want the sword in her hand. This yes, sword. Plus, he's a former harbinger with knowledge of many of the Fatui's sensitive secrets. Being stuck here in Sumeru could make him a sitting duck, depending on how the Fatui plan to respond. Wait a second. Former? You mean, he's not a harbinger anymore? Former? I take no pleasure in saying this, but... It seems as if the doctor had no intention Wait, to what? Back a loser, so... He tossed you out like trash. Sometimes it's you using them. Other times, it's them using you. Most human relationships are this way. Certainly all the stable ones are. That's how it was between me and the Fatui. And also between each of the Harbingers. So as long as you have some value to offer, nobody will ever abandon you. But after recent events, even I have to admit that I'm not worth quite what I used to be. Oh. What a crying shame. Sorry, I'm like well, too busy too trying to do this. Reevaluate <laughs> my utility. I need to have a backup plan for myself. As we discussed, I don't like causing harm to living beings. And you said you need protection. So why not join forces with us? I think these two have made their objection to that idea fairly clear, don't you? And they're True. your friends, so I guess you'll be siding with them. Yeah, obviously! Nishida, don't listen to him! Then let's put that Let me to the kill him! Now. We still have time. Where's the sword? Be a trial run. There's a sword. Where we go from here, <laughs> Shit, I'm so bad at this. Alright, then I'll do what we agreed. I mean. Good. Go now and keep in touch. Nahida, are you uh, are you serious about this? Yes. I have my reasons for this decision. In fact, I'm largely doing it for your benefit. Me? What do I have to gain from this? Yes. You get a new playable character. You can roll in the gotcha. <laughs> oh shit! Really? Oh, I can spend money? Actually, that's the whole reason we came to see you today. So, you have an update on that? Mm-hmm. You may remember me mentioning <laughs> that the Fatui had not included your twin's details in the Descender category. This is an extremely important point. It's become one with it's Earth, or whatever this planet is, Pavot. information that even I don't know about. <clears throat> since the Balladeer used to be one of them, he'll be better acquainted with this information than this I This guy ain't gonna know jack shit. Let me just guarantee that, Nahida. Soul when he almost became the god of a new era. Even though he no longer has the Gnosis, some traces of its power remain in him. He can still connect. The amount of information in Ermansoul is vast beyond description. Sifting through all of it without knowing what to look for would take too long, even for me. Yovi Lamine standing there. So I asked the Balladeer to search in Ermansoul for any information about the Descenders. He's more familiar with this kind of information. This guy really gonna know something though? I mean, he's no longer a god anymore. What if he lies to you? I mean, I don't think he'd do that. Literally just slay this motherfucker. True. I understand. But sometimes everything is dictated by which side you're on. How things will go in the future depends on what information he brings back. And traveler means dying. I know what your heart desires most of all. Playable Scaramooch. Several times before. There is a corner of your heart reserved for an intense longing. A feeling of being all alone in the dark. Searching for the one candle whose light still burns. As Sumeru's deity, it is my responsibility to be on guard against the Balladeer. But as someone who counts you as a friend... I want to Fucking blurry, dude. You. If this deal with the Balladeer can give you the answers you've been longing to find, then it's worth it. There you go. Thank you, Nahida. It's my pleasure, really. You're Sumer's hero. I need another camera of just like. <laughs> I'm still worried about this idea. Is there anything we can do to help? 
I was going to contact you about that. <coughs> I'm dying. Showed up on your own oh, God. It seems like we have a telepathic connection. Oh, uh, yeah. I was going to ask you to supervise the balladeer on my behalf while he carries out the task I assigned. Okay, okay, Even okay. He only has a fraction of his full power. Fraction. That's still a fraction of a former harbinger. If you could accompany him, it would put my mind at ease. Isn't he like one of the shittier harbingers? He help guide you through Umrisol from the outside. You look at the other harbingers, they're like badass as hell. Skarmooch was kind of cool, but I always I always assumed his power was less in in his ability his raw like strength and more in his like ability to scheme. You know, he's like gremlin type character. Great. Thank you. But I mean, he didn't really I don't know. transport you into <gasps> We're going to Ermansoul? That's crazy, dude. Wow. It looks pretty Ooh. different here compared to last time. So pretty. The colors are gentler. Guess that must be because Sumeru's at peace now. Wow. I really like this shade of pink. It's like probably my favorite shade of pink. This is crazy. You think there's a hidden chest up here, dude? Oh my god. Can't wait to make a TikTok about this and be like, you forgot about this. Well, you gotta have the text on the screen flashing every word I say. You forgot about this hidden chest in Genshin Impact Event 4.1. Why do they do that, by the way? Why is that a thing that's just, like, normal now? Do I need the text flashing in my face every TikTok? <laughs> like, I get it. Like, I, I get it, right? Like, when I'm watching it, I'm like, oh, well, the text is in my eyes and I'm reading. That's crazy. But, like, is that really what we need? I don't know, man. <laughs> so I just, like, walked off. <laughs> wow, so pretty. Wow, traveler. So pretty. Oh. All right, get me out of here. I can't, like, jump or anything when I'm here, unfortunately. No climbing, either. Hi, Scaramooch. I like your hat. Look at that. Hot on my heels. You know, you didn't <clears> have to cut your catch up short just to keep me company. Oh, but I guess you panicked when you realized that I might enter Ermin's soul ahead of you. Relax, buddy, okay? I'm not that. You're like a child, okay? I'm, I'm babysitting you right now. <laughs> you're, or I'm not that scared of you. I fucking owned your ass, buddy. You remember that? Remember that when your big robot hand came down and I, I blocked it with my bare hands? You big jailbird. No way a prisoner gets to be so smug. <laughs> I understand that prisoners have to put up with harassment from the guards. But right now... That's kind of sad, actually. <laughs> That's just kind of so depressing. you should think about backing off a little. Sounds like a successful rendezvous. <laughs> yeah. I need to be quite clear about something. In a few moments... You'll be entering into the innermost region of Ermansoul. Oh my god. It is an environment like no other, and the most important place in all of Sumeru. Unlike Reminds anywhere me of, uh... else, Ermansoul's inner region consists exclusively of torrents of information. You must put aside your differences and be extremely careful as you navigate your way through. I know there are many grievances between you on both sides. But it is essential that you remain calm after entry. This is as much for your own safety as anything else. Understood, Captain. Fine. Let's call it truce. But only until this mission's over. You're, you're still my Let's prisoner, Scarmooch, okay? Slack, shall we? We are going to be traveling together after all. Scarmooch, you got to relax, I'm buddy, okay? Lesser Lord Kusanali, I'll be at the front. It's my job to lead the way and get rid of any obstacles in our path. All you have to do is keep your pretty eyes open and try not to fall behind. <laughs> you sure are Imagine losing, by the way. You were like god level, you buddy. You lost to like a regular sized dude. If there are no further objections, you lost to this I dude, okay? We get going, or did you need some time to mentally prepare yourselves? Focus on doing your job. No need for all that biting sarcasm. We can this... start now. Ermansol access grid. Initiating connection procedure. Are we in a fucking computer, dude? What is this? Is this <laughs> Imagine losing to a boot like fuck up. <laughs> oh, darn it. Come on, let's catch up with him. I mean, he just walked, okay? He was walking. You mean catch up. 
literally the dude took like three steps at most maybe It's a reused asset. This was from the the <laughs> that one event where Mona we went inside Mona's like dream palace or whatever. Oh, that's new. Actually, it's probably just Ermin's a little bit like edited. This is cool. This is like a digital tree. Like, what is this? Every bit of information. Are we in a computer? Is that the twist? Genshin Impact twist. It's time to go. The sky isn't real. It's the computer. This veil is cool. See that? Kusanali, we will now proceed to the heart of Ermansoul. Can you still sense where the heart of Ermansoul is? Yes. Permission to begin searching for information there? Permission the path of Ermansoul? Go ahead. It looks Let's go. My eyes can Stay see close. one path. Don't go running off. <laughs> this You would die a horrible death. What are you smirking at? I was just the guy controlling you already knows. He's immediately gonna start going in the opposite direction. You can't roll anything out. So if you want to stay safe, your best option is to stick close to me. We're just in like a tree's computer network, dude. What's the worst that can happen? I'm going this way. Fuck you. <laughs> I just die, dude. That'd be so funny. If Traveler just fucking dies, get a game over screen. This is what I was talking about. Permission. I, I found the path. Dude, there's one path here. What are you talking about? Have spread out. Fragments have dissipated. Oh, Those are all what's happening? Of information from inside Be careful not to touch them. Yeah, fuck you, dude. I'm going to touch them. Well, let me get close to him. Why does it force me to walk? I don't want to walk. Oh, let me touch it! It looks the same in every direction. Interesting. What was I gonna say? I okay, yeah. Scaramouche is like design. I really like it. I think I'm just a sucker for big hats. You know, I think big hats There's are really cool. About getting lost. Huh. What do you know? This guy's big hat is sick. Too. Like this is totally like not. You wear this in real life. <laughs> You're not. There's no way you're fighting anyone. There's a time and a place to lie, but this definitely isn't it. Is there a guy in Mortal so Kombat was a hat, but like has blades on it and he throws it. That's a guy that exists, right? I think that's real. They didn't make that up. We're here. There's also what is his name? Raiden. Electric guy. He's got a big hat too. He's cool. Lesser Lord Kusanali. Good, we made it. Are you ready? Ready when you are. Kung Lao? Begin. Preparing to access cognitive currents. Oh. Establishing waypoint. This guy's cool. The power deer is actually doing what My little sister plays <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I think my dad just like let her and she's like she just plays it. She legit just like I don't think she should be, but you know. He has fun, I guess. First Aquaban Sawada's story is now this. What a strange individual. She gets mad when I beat her, though. <laughs> I know I said she shouldn't be playing it, but she's playing it already anyways, so I play with her. And she doesn't understand how, like, combo inputs work, so I would just play Scor Scorpion and just do the get over here over and over to her, and it pisses her off. <laughs> She gets so mad. The greatest. Yeah, is this telepathic conversation? I've also invited Paimon to join. Wow, Paimon. You got a telepathic group call. <laughs> Isn't it be real in the future when tele telepathy is accessed to the human brain? We're gonna like enter telepathic group call with mom and dad. Gonna try and fist fight people on the street. <laughs> I don't think so. I my uh my niece actually does that. Like I like legit she showed me a video and she was like proud of it too. She was like, "Oh, taco tate. Look. She, she she brings up on her phone and it's her and her friend like legit beating the fuck out of each other. I'm like, "What the hell?" I'm like, "Who's recording this?" "Oh, 
my mom. What? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Your mom's recording this. Why is your mom recording you fighting some other girl? They're like pulling each other's hair and like throwing those, each other on the ground. And she didn't play no Mortal Kombat, okay? She was like, I wouldn't say she's normal, but she didn't play Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Can you fight your friends as a kid? No! <laughs> no! No! The most I've ever fought someone is there was this one kid named Benjamin who had a crush on a girl. And me and my friends kept teasing him that he had a crush on his on this girl. And so for about a week straight, he wouldn't talk to us, but he would take a jump rope and try and whip us. And he'd like come after us. And so me and my friends made it a game to like run away from Benjamin. Because he was like legit trying to murder us with the jump rope. It was kind of fun. That's the most I've ever fought somebody. <laughs> You're crazy, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> with sticks? You guys are savages. You know, I bet you played Mortal Kombat. I guess you don't want us to disturb the balladeer. I like play fight with my sister, I guess. I don't like legit punch her, though. <laughs> That'd be great. Bitch. <laughs> Just knock her out. Me too. I suck at fighting games. Well, I'm good at fighting games until, like, I'm not. What a little good boy. It's because he has mommy issues, you know what? That, that's why. And so, like, Nahida being another god who, like, actually cares for him, he's like, yes, mommy. I'm telling your sister. Good luck with that, buddy. As I told you before, there are still some mysteries for him to No, there's no mysteries. Things that are clear as day to me, but that he has yet to understand. Perhaps today will be the day that he finds some answers. This guy just needs a mom. That's it. See that? He did like the new animation. It was crazy. It's so about his past, the betrayals, the other events in Inazuma. Smart and attentive as always. Big brain. Have you seen my forehead, dude? Look at this huge ass forehead. I think there's no brain in there. The huge one. So you made contact with that part of his mind. <laughs> well, it's true. Betrayal turned the Paladier into the person he is today. It wasn't like real betrayal. It was like someone died. Huh. Well, I guess he's like, you know. <coughs> he's like a weird puppet god. He's no... I don't know. Everyone has a history, Paimon. Even if you're a puppet created by the Electro Archon. True. Puppets, we ran into two people at the Akikimia today talking about an essay. Turns out, their topic was about the Tatara Tuna incident. Nahida, do you know anything about that? If you mean the mysterious events, <sighs> the Kabuki Mono and so on, yes. I wasn't paying attention to that part, I'm sorry. Can I get a TLDR Paimon? From what they were saying, it sounded like lots of Tatara Tuna's history is still unexplained. Thanks, Paimon. And most of the information we have now is just from people filling the gaps with their imagination. At least that's what they thought. Thank you, Paimon. I appreciate you, Paimon. I know everyone complains, but I respect you, Paimon. Oh, how interesting. Those two managed to deduce quite a lot through guesswork alone. There's another game I play. It's like this cute, like, pixel game, but it's also a gacha. You play as, like, little pixel dudes. They released a new character called Paimon. It's like a little girl, and then standing behind her is this just like buffed out Jack Demon in like a dress. And it's beautiful. It's named Paimon. And I'm like, holy shit. That's crazy, dude. Paimon. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, kind of. I just have like a ton downloaded. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I, I love this. 
This is like some dude's thumbnail. They put like the, the blush emoji next to it. Look at this demon though, dude. Holy shit, dude. Now, I'd get behind this Paimon dog. Look at that. Ripped as hell. Holy cow. That's my type of Paimon, bro. Look at this dude. Get this girl out of the way, dude. Show me this guy. Holy shit. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not a millionaire. Must be a riveting conversation you three are having. Funny how all the good <laughs> I don't, I don't. When I'm not that game's involved. pretty fun. You play as little pixel dudes, it's cute. And the story's kind of funny. It's also kind of fucked up. But like in a funny way. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, what makes you think we're talking to each other? <laughs> Come on, you're standing in silence. Don't insult me. You're having a private conversation without me. <laughs> Obviously, I must be the topic of said conversation. Okay, Mr. Mr. I'm the main character. We have every right to keep certain things confidential. Of course you do. You can't have your prisoner knowing too much. Yeah, shut the fuck up. You're my prisoner, bitch, right? You ever played Cops and Robbers? Was that the was that what it's called? Oh wait, no. Is that the thing where why is it called Cops and Robbers? That's the thing where you like you let them out of like people are cops and other people are prisoners and you let them out of the prison cell and you basically get to harass them if you're the cop. That was fun. I was never a cop though. I was never good at it. I was just a prisoner. I like trying to escape. So, uh, <coughs> have you found anything yet? Still looking. Don't get your hopes up though. You and your twin come from outside this world. It wouldn't surprise me if there was nothing on either of you in Ermansoul at all. There should be for my brother at least, right? Hey, how did you know about that? Didn't Ahita tell you? Hold on, I'm trying to like refocus it. It looks blurry. I have to like use Lumine to refocus it. It's not like we've never met before. And anyway, you're world famous. It'd be more surprising if I didn't know a few things about you. I'm world famous? Then why do people, NPC people, keep trying to attack me, Skarmooch? Explain. Every conversation with you is hard work, but your attitude is better than I thought. Right now, we have to keep the peace. <clears throat> I'm not interested in creating more misery for myself. Oh, and making no cordial conversation is something I can manage. Okay, okay. Huh? Wait. <clears throat> oh my god. It's like. It looks similar to those saplings. What can it be? I don't know, Paimon. Anonymous data. Hey, don't you forget the agreement. You have to share it with us. Paimon, it's anonymous. Oh, I guess it doesn't mean it's Wait. confidential. It's just, it's anonymous. Mr. Niwa, are you certain this is worth the risk? We are talking about Tatara soon as Furnace, after all. It may not pay to act rashly. Niwa? Do I know this person? There's no one else who can enter the Furnace. It has to be me. Sorry, if this isn't someone with cool hair, I don't remember them. Is that so? Well, since you insist. Uh, it. Niwa was the man in charge of Tatarasuna. Plus, he belongs to the lineage of the Ishin arts. We heard that? <coughs> oh, God, I'm dying. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I don't know why I keep saying I'm sorry. Well, it's because I'm coughing into the mic. In but I also feel like I shouldn't now. apologize for literally You've dying. Shown me great hospitality, as has Mikoshi Nagamasa. I like this guy's voice. Everyone else. Under your leadership, Tatara Suna is a warm, welcoming place. Like a giant village. People are gainfully employed. Their lives have purpose. They are purpose. motivated. I feel very like if this guy talked to me as I fell asleep, I'd be nice. You know, it's a very warm as voice. I understand the Raiden Shogun has, in recent years, eliminated much of the evil that plagued Inazuma. Did she? <laughs> as for Tatara Suna, it was originally established as a means of safely disposing Crystal Marrow. Oh. The forging industry with Crystal Marrow as a raw material has since flourished, giving rise to generations of swordsmiths. Some world-renowned, others unknown. All passing. Oh, on you make legacy. swords out of crystal marrow? That's kind of crazy. Skills, blood, dreams. Every smith brought into this trade looks to find their purpose between steel and blade. That is why you accepted the proposal brought to you by myself and Akame. Yes, well. 
were it's it not Nima. for you okay, coming to Nima. Inazuma and happening to make Akame's acquaintance, the two of you never would have joined forces. And he would be the first to admit that there's no way he could have revolutionized our forging process like this on his own. At least not on the same time scale. You allowed Akame to take all the credit for a method that you jointly developed. He sold it to me. And now every piece of ore here is smelted using the new I lost. Technique. I'm lost. What's happening right now? <laughs> you remain one of Tatara Suna's key consultants. Ever since I stopped going to school, my IQ has drastically dropped. I believe it is you, sir. Who it's either stopped going to school or like the time that I got COVID. <laughs> it's, it's one of the two. <laughs> you flatter me. From the outset, I saw much that was commendable in the forging industry of Inazuma. And it has been my great honor to befriend you all. Is it true? Corona dropped your, drops your IQ? So you say, Escher. But is this really the truth? Is that why I'm stupid now? <laughs> my good sir. I feel like genuinely I've gotten more dumb. <laughs> or maybe it's because I start streaming, dude. Maybe that's what happened. I tried to resist thinking it was all connected. It was all the above. Because I didn't want to speculate. And I didn't want to believe that things could turn out this way. What have we gained from adopting your new technology? Ominous black smoke? Mounting production problems? Worker fatigue and casualties are up and continuing to rise at an alarming rate. And he's talking about serious shit here, but I just gotta say, <laughs> I was reading a Reddit post the other day. It was like some story. I don't, I don't remember what it was about, but it was a word. It was, it was underfed, right? Underfed. I read it as like underfed. And I was like, I was reading the sentence, it was all making sense, and then the last sentence was underfed. And I was like, what the fuck? What is this word? I've never seen this word before in my entire life. What is underfed? This isn't a word. And then I, I, I read the sentence again. I was like, it's underfed. <laughs> and I just felt like that's the moment that I realized that, like, I feel like I've gotten stupider in that sense. And just like overall. <laughs> I feel like I I don't know. And recently, we'll see. There's a card game, right? There's card games. I'm good at card Someone games, right? Of that kind of not really. Inside the furnace. We'll see. We've kept the truth from spreading outside, but still. I suspect you understand it better. Common sense I stats like have dropped drastically. None of the people who went out to get help have come back. Now, <clears> our mutual <throat> friend the Kabuki Mono is taking the golden feather to Narukami Island <laughs> to seek an audience with Shogun. This is last That's what I mean, uh, dude. Like, who fucking cares about trigonometry? I probably remember more about trigonometry than I... than, like, anything... than I am at reading. I'm better... That doesn't phase you, probably do better sure. trigonometry than, like, speaking. As you can clearly see, I can't speak! I don't know how to speak! Realize Language is hard for me. I'm just surprised that you finally chose to be so sincere. I'm sure you've been harboring these suspicions for quite some time. <sighs> Mikoshi Nagamasa may have noticed that there was one common denominator among all these events. Namely you, Escher. But Mr. Mikoshi is more cautious than I. He does things by the book. <sighs> After all, Nagamasa is the adopted son of Mikoshi Torachio. I don't know what's happening, dude. I, I got too focused on like the this like my I'm getting stupider thing and like I'm even more lost than I was before. An abundance of caution is well advised. This is like a storyline that's told over the span of like five events that are in like the past year. <laughs> Language is the only thing I retained. I feel like I could remember the math. I feel like math was like not like crazy, like applied maths but like just regular equation shit i feel like i could probably remember you're well informed on the subtleties of his situation for a mechanic all the way from fontaine you've always said math sure was hard but like qualified i thought math was easy because literally it's not like when it's not based on reality it is the it's like you just do the thing over and over again once you start applying it to reality is when things get all fucked up like i hated geometry Explain sign goes like I can't explain them to you, but if you gave me a problem. <laughs> Look, that's the thing. I, I'm good at doing the equation. If you 
want me to like explain what it means or why it exists or what purpose it serves, I have no fucking idea. Like once you start bridging the gap between math and reality is when it, I lose it all. Why, Mr. Niwa, are you suggesting I find or at least back when I was in diplomat. school. That's Sadly, what I felt. I, so I was like really bad at geometry crap. for some reason. Like I hated geometry and like and like all that shape shit, but like I was pretty good at like um what do you call it? The fuck's that shit? Integration with the little squiggly S and then you have to like do that shit and you make like fucking washers and discs or whatever. Because an evil force is raging inside the like I didn't know what the purpose of any of that was. I just knew how to do it. <laughs> and like that was it. Put an end to the problem. I'm in charge here. And I'm about to take some responsibility <laughs> and head inside. Probably to my death. But what about you? What are you still doing? You still doing here? Judging from the look in your eyes, you don't seem to trust me. <laughs> Drop the act. We're past that now. Whoever you are, it looks like your plan to destroy Tatarasuna has worked. He's destroying Tatarasuna? Wait, what's happening? What you're still doing here. What's left? What's left? Don't you have He's gonna pull the knife out. Now. Oh no. Honestly, I'm just waiting for the right moment. He's gonna pull the knife out! Oh my god! No! You turned your back on the evil guy you suspected, dude. What an idiot. Where you finish talking and I stop you from entering the furnace. You. Hey, I suspect you're evil, by the way. Let me turn around. You're a little smarter than I initially gave you credit for. Straight up skip school and got my diploma plagiarizing Cora and Quizly. <laughs> wow. That was a period in college where I was like, actually like, it was getting like super fucking hard for me to like actually learn shit. So like legit, I just did that too. Well, not Quora, but like, um, what's that? I was going to say pegged. <laughs> Chegg? Chegg? I just like copy shit off of Chegg. I myself exceptionally well, at least for the first few days. But to my surprise, you had your people look into my background right from the start. Oh That's my a god. Long journey from Inazuma to Fontaine, but that didn't stop them. Eventually, they managed to confirm that Escher was an alias and that I was not from Fontaine at all. Oh my god. And yet, despite all of that, you still fail to realize my true identity and what I seek in Tatarasuna. Did you really think you would be able to see through my plan? Changes to like Skarmooch or something. <laughs> if you kill me, there's no one who can get inside the furnace. So you're <coughs> really going to destroy this place? Oh, but you're quite wrong. There is one, one other person. person. Mm, some may not see him as a person. Moralizing about how you should you study instead of plagiarizing. <laughs> you're not a puppet. You're a human. You're just missing a heart. Another person. Some may not see him as a person, but you told him yourself, you're not a puppet, you're a human, you're just missing a heart. Oh, this is this guy was friends with Skarmooch, okay. For honor? <laughs> Honestly, same. Well, not for honor, though. It was like TF2 or something. I don't know. I try and, like, speedrun homework. I just feel like, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe you can, you can, like, a lot, of, a lot of teachers will, like, call you out on this, but, like, I feel like when you copy shit, you're, like, understanding, right? So, like, if I don't know what the hell the answer to this question is, why am I going to sit on my ass, like, looking at it, not knowing what to do? I'm going to go on Chegg, copy the fucking answer. Now I know how to do it. Next time I see it, in Chegg in my brain, bro. <laughs> School sucks, dude. Well, I mean, it's cool. It was boring. They'll be found out. But this makes no sense. What are you really trying to accomplish by all this? Why go to all this trouble? It's no trouble. Dude, you're taking a really long time to die, by the way. <laughs> is a virtue which I have in abundance. 
This is all part of a carefully controlled experiment. If you must know, I'm happy to divulge my true identity. I'm a Fatuli Harbinger. Call me the Doctor. The Doctor. The oh my Fatuli. God. Who? What do you want? The boy. I want the boy. Oh, to create a minor inconvenience oh. for your nation. <clears throat> this guy's That's problem, it. dude. That's why you gave us your cursed technology, just to let loose the evil energy from the crystal marrow. <laughs> Look how even the righteous <laughs> soul is filled with venom when faced with its demise. Bro, he's dying. What do you expect? My device functions precisely as you say. It is the only chance you have of preventing <coughs> a catastrophe and keeping the truth from the outside world. However, I did not make it with you in mind. <coughs> it is easier for a person to be possessed by evil spirits when they are filled with hate. So give in to your fury. I want to see what happens Wait, what? when a malevolent heart is placed into an unsuspecting puppet. Make no mistake, even without you, that pure, innocent puppet would only end up being used by someone else instead. What other reason would a human have for befriending one who is not of our kind? Wait, what the hell? He's going to put his heart in Skarmooch? Skarmooch, you have an evil heart of this guy? How does that work? He's a puppet. Where are you going to put the heart? What is it going to do in there? Is it just going to rot inside of him? It's, he's going to be like a wooden doll or whatever. It's going to be like rotting heart meat inside. That's kind of gross. Skarmooch, is that why you're so stinky all the time? Is that why no one likes you? After this event, he goes walking around town. People are like, what the fuck? This guy smells. This guy smells like ass. You're making it stinky. Oh god. What a beautiful way to see the world. <laughs> it almost makes me feel a little guilty. Hmm. Then out of respect for you, I shall redefine myself. Think of me as a monster or a demon if you wish. At least this way your death is not a consequence of your own folly turning you into an He's dead, bro. <laughs> you can stop talking. <laughs> you simply lost to something more powerful than you could ever to Bro, he's dead. Bro. Bro. Hey, bro. I think he's dead already, man. Oh, shit. I... Hello? You still alive? Fuck! Remind me to make my evil monologue a little quicker next time. I say, Mr. Niwa, let's see what happens. <laughs> Will your puppet friend become a human? No, that would prove quite. You get some friends, bro. Okay. Mr. Niwa. <laughs> Already dead. What a pity. <sighs> oh my god, he changed clothes so quick. Holy shit. Jester, I have completed the task you gave me. Creating a gap and infiltrating my secret power. Workings. I can change outfits. <sighs> what fun super quick. Was. Like the Animal Crossing wand. I'd like to introduce a puppet to you. If he proves useful, <laughs> let's make him our newest comrade. Comrade. Not, let's turn him to dust. Are villains like this? Hey, are you all right? I was never their friends. Yo, does this mask have a face on it? That's crazy. Detore. <laughs> That's why I like Scarmooch, because he's fucking crazy and he's like kind of a, you know. <laughs> he didn't say anything there when he screamed. Good. Good. <coughs> Did he turn into a mechanic from Fontaine? He was the one behind the Tar Tar Tarasuna incident. Why do we see things from his perspective? When I touched the doctor to confirm whether he'd eliminated all his segments, 
I read this memory in his mind. You have to admit, Interesting. it must be the truth. Maybe so, but it means nothing. Does it? But this memory shows that Neela didn't betray you. He never meant for you to be the one to take the device into the furnace. You know very well what that means. Even more so than I. Skarmuch, you're a fool. <sighs> Trail was a lie. He has believed for hundreds of years. Was this part of the doctor's experiment? The trail never happened. It existed only in his imagination. But where does that leave him? Give him some space. <coughs> he looks really mad. <sighs> Paimon doesn't want to be anywhere near him right now. Oh, he can't touch us. Come on. I need to give him some time to process his emotions. I totally wouldn't fight this guy. Paimon's still confused about the Tatara Suna incident. So the doctor Same Paimon. Honestly? But why has that gotten him so worked up? Nobody has ever deceived you like that, Paimon. It's natural that you find it difficult to understand. Perhaps he needed to learn this someday. So now you have the complete picture. Katsuragi took the Kabuki Mono to live with the people of Tatarasuna. Later, the doctor showed up disguised mm -hmm. as a mechanic from Fontaine. And that's when the trouble began. The power to disguise as NPCs. All horrific experiment Truly incredible. Everything he did was just to plant seeds of disaster in Inazuma that would bear fruit in the future. We got signs of the jester though. Who is that again? I forgot. I don't remember who the jester is. All the unwitting participants in the doctor's experiment. The balladeer became the main test. Oh, Piero. It's the like old grandpa looking the dude you just saw in that an video, old dude the doctor put neela's heart into the device and handed it to the balladeer then he instructed him to enter the furnace and absorb all the filth caused by the smelting process the load was far beyond what he expected but the balladeer survived he left the furnace in sheer exhaustion now he is to the mechanic this device seems to have protected me What's in it? The mechanic answered. Neela fled this place for fear of punishment, but he left you again. <laughs> he said it's the one thing that you've been looking for. <laughs> to be fair, this is like in the chest of one of his innocent servants. Is that this earlier? I wait, what did I say earlier? Yeah, this is like this is an event. This is a storyline that takes place over the span of like five events. Since like last year, <laughs> so <laughs> even if you did like pay attention to all of it, it's very hard to make sense of. Cause this is shit with Inazuma, and then has shit with like the sword making Kazuha shit. I like I don't know. The There's too much. <laughs> Warframe while on meth. <laughs> the balladeer was stunned that such unthinkable cruelty had brought him the thing he'd been longing for his entire life. A heart acquired through cold-blooded murder is a cursed thing, but it had protected him from the filth. Tell you about the man in the hall. What? You mentioned meth. I started watching Breaking Bad. Pretty good. He thought Neela had it's pretty damn good, dude. Him. It's pretty damn good, damn good. Let me tell you that. Betrayal had ensured his survival. Overwhelmed with anger and sorrow, the balladeer threw the heart to the ground and left Tatarasuna without looking back. Well, you threw the heart to the ground, left Tatarasuna without looking back. Holy moly! So How far am I? An innocent man? I'm and like season three or something. That's terrible. I'm right after the uh, those two like brothers. Tuko's cousins tried to like take out um Hank right after that. <clears throat> My favorite scene was the turtle scene. That was funny. Well, it was. It was I think it was, it was interesting. Betrayed and banded by a close friend, sure to cause great resentment. Now we know it's behind his decision to take revenge on the Raiden Gok Gokadin hundred years ago. <clears throat> Doesn't mean that vengeance was the right decision. Yes. Only if he understands this can he choose a new path forward. 
mystery of Tatsara Ta -ta Tatarasuna. Niwa didn't run from justice. You killed him. He's garbage. Look, I'm floating with you. What am I doing? I can't talk to him. Okay. <laughs> I just sniff him, I guess. Shall we see how he's doing? Not. Hey, <clears throat> you all right? The fuck all right? What do you mean all right? <laughs> okay, no, he didn't break out in anger. You just went. Hmm. Are you worried about me? If we didn't have such a history, I'd almost think that qualifies me to be your friend. We are friends, Skarmooch. Well, now we're friends. It won't. I'll keep my end of the deal. You don't want to be friends, dude? Hmm. Can I at least have your hat? Hey, are you investigating the stuff we want to know about? Can I have these cool, like, orb thingies, too? Those are pretty sick. That's why we're here. Actually, I guess that all comes with the hat. Yeah, give me the hat, dude. I want that hat in real life. You think I can? If I grew up my hair again, I could probably roll. I could. I'd cosplay as Skarmooch, huh? Even if you can't find anything, that seems to confirm it. Ermin Soul does not keep records on the Descenders. Anyone who comes from beyond this world is not counted as part of Tavat. <laughs> Same face he always makes. True. You're right. Oh, does that mean we have to leave empty-handed? This is a pretty scary face. <laughs> With the light. <laughs> He just looked like she's about to murder somebody. Not unexpected, but still, thank Don't you. Thank me just yet. Okay. Hmm, you look really upset. <laughs> well, since Ermin Soul was a dead end, I guess I can share some other info that might interest you. Huh? About what? Imagine Skarmooch is kind of a Sundere, you know what I mean? Like he would never admit to liking the traveler, but I feel like he does. About your brother and Ermin Soul. It might have something to do with Conria. Apparently, <clears throat> Conria was his first destination when he arrived in this Dude, world. I can't believe, like, people were on point. When the first trailer for Genshin dropped, people, like, already knew. <laughs> like, this was one of the first theories. was like, okay, the traveler you play as is the one that was, like, like they just woke up. And then your brother, your sibling or whatever, is the one that woke up during Conria's devastation. Like, this was something that was already being cooked up by the theorists. Literally, like, when the game dropped. Plus, kind of crazy. This world because the heavens responded to the summoning. The heavens responded? <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. Jester told me this himself. Yeah, bro. You can take his word on this. He was a royal mage in Conria and lived with your brother for a time. The jester, the jester was a royal mage in Conria. <laughs> Wait, the jester? That was five hundred years ago. What the hell? How is he still alive? I know the details. It's up to you whether you want to believe me. All I can say is, I wouldn't <clears throat> lie to you about this. Okay. Did you get all that, Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes. Astonishing news. Does How's he alive? I guess he does look mission? super old. It wasn't for Merman Soul. Well, not, not even. Not actually. He doesn't look that old. Very valuable. Smile. Look, see, smile. I told you he has mommy issues. Good. In that case, I'll take some time for myself now. He just wants to be complimented and pat on the head. Huh? Good boy. What have you done? Lesser Lord Kusanali was right. My powers all but completely spent. Even if I use all of the divine power left in me. I can't sustain this shield for very long. I shared a secret with you, and now you owe me. Okay. So in return, I'd like you to answer a question for me. Why do you have to hide this from Kusanali? Like, she's going to know anyways. Give me your hand. She could just insert her, like, brain worm into my head, and like, okay, now I'm a slave to all of what she desires. <gasps> Can you hear my voice inside your head? Oh, my God. Are you trying to brainwash me? <laughs> Honestly, fair response after everything we did with Nahida. All the, the brainwashing we did ourselves. No, I can't do anything like that anymore. <laughs> At most, all I can do is exchange a few words with you. To Paimon, we're just holding hands, staring lovingly into each other's eyes. <laughs> That's what Paimon sees right now. <laughs> Paimon's like, what the hell? 
What are you guys doing? Are you guys okay? So tell me, Is there a relationship I didn't know that existed prior to this? To change the past. <clears throat> Gasp. Wait, why would you ask Darn. me that? Nothing. I was just thanking her for helping me. Change the past. <laughs> that was because I know about Greater Lord Ruka Nevada. So long. <laughs> oh my god. I suggest you get yourselves out of here quickly. Where are you going? Hey, wait up! Didn't you say not to go running off? Maladir, stop! Fast reaction time. But I don't think we'll be seeing each other again. Nice car, Mooch. See you later. From this day forth, the names Baladir and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Those who died in Tatarasuna because of me deserve another chance at life. Hey, Baladir! Don't do anything stupid! Died because of you know, me. I never did like insects. <laughs> Hordes of the puny things swarming together can be a real nuisance. And I enjoy nothing more than to stamp them out like the pests they are. Hey, what an edgy thing to say, dude. First of all, no, you don't, okay? But if a colony of harmless ants isn't threatening anyone, I guess yeah, see, they look. deserve <laughs> to be left alone. <laughs> Luckily, everything can be set right. It's time to solve this once and for all. Oh, he doesn't understand because we didn't. He didn't. He didn't listen to the explanation. So we did change the past technically with with Ruka Devada, right? But like we didn't actually change history. We just like changed how history viewed. Like the name Ruka Devada doesn't exist. Hi, Nahida. Please get us out of the computer tree. What happened just now? I was suddenly cut off by some kind of power. It was the Balladeer's fault. He he shut you out. <clears throat> you tell Nahida everything that happened. I didn't think he'd be capable of something like that with so little power left. Did he keep some of his power hidden when he was defeated? <coughs> Did uh. he achieve something beyond his abilities? And it took everything he had. Where the heck did he go? It's all our fault. We were supposed to keep an eye on him. Sorry, Nahida. Sorry, Nahida. It's not your fault. Please. Which coffee? But I need to finish this. Even though I'm not sure I can solve it. I bought a new coffee machine. It's beautiful. We're running out of time. Follow Amazing. Me and get out of I'm drinking too possible. much coffee. My friend works at Starbucks, and he told me. He told me he gets free drinks. So you get one before you start. Uh, one during whatever break you have. As many as you have, you get a you get a star free Starbucks drink, and then one after when you get to leave. Dude, I think I'm about to work for Starbucks. You know what I'm saying? I want to get them free coffees, dude. This is an emergency. I die if I worked at Starbucks. Everything's arranged, and nobody will disturb you. Everything's arranged. Nobody will disturb you. Coffee star puke. I've been watching Stir again. On his, his YouTube channel where he posts Overwatch content. I'm sorry, but this isn't something <clears throat> I need your help with. Yo, that's rude. Leave this one to me. What the hell? I'm the main How character. What do you mean? How bad is it? Nahida, will you be okay? Can't leave me in here. Don't worry. If my assessment is correct, though there may be some minor disturbances, it won't lead to a disaster. Please rest and recover your strength here until I say it's safe. No. Oh. Her voice is gone. I refuse. I can't shake the feeling that something really big has happened. What do you think the Balladeer meant? And why did he suddenly grab onto you before? Someone doesn't remember the Greater Lord Ruka Devada. The Balladeer's question was a strange one. You're hard to explain, fool, and the truth might be very distressing. <laughs> okay. He's planning to erase his name. He wants to change the past? Past is in the sure, past. Not easy, that's for sure. You can't just 
You totally can, Paimon. <laughs> Paimon. Let me tell you something about history, Paimon, okay? <laughs> Let's do a little bit of teaching, Paimon, okay? You see, the winners, Paimon. Great example. Hmm. So, why does Paimon still have a bad feeling about this? Paimon can't help but feel scared about what he might do. There's a, in the, the anime slash manga slash light novel, ReZero, there's a character, which is the Archbishop of Gluttony, and he has an ability where if he touches you, just like, you know, gives a little nice little squeeze in there, and then licks his hand, he basically erases your name from existence. Basically, what happens here? You, like you just you disappear. You're gone. Did I stumble into the time travel arc of Genshin Impact while drunk? Kind of, yeah, oh, a little bit. So <laughs> More like the rewriting of history. I don't know. Maybe he wants to erase himself from history. Paimon, you fool! We're gonna have to pay for that now. Oh yeah, and and the Archbishop of of Gluttony is like a serv servant to the Witch of Gluttony, and so the Witch of Gluttony made an animal called the Great Whale, and the Great Whale fucking shoots gas out of his body or something, and if the gas hits you, he erases you from history as well. It's pretty cool. She also made something called the Great Rabbit, which is basically a horde of rabbits that are constantly eating and like reproducing. So it's just like a horde of white rabbits that are just always like making babies, but always eating each other as well. And they travel in a horde and they basically like eat everything in their path. It's crazy. Super cool as well. I just really like cool ideas like that, you know what I mean? That's cool. The bald ear does erase himself from the ear missile. Many people in Inazuma will be affected. Can't imagine what the situation would look like. It will affect everyone with the connection to the Raiden Gokuden, Kazuha, Ayako, Ayaka, Ayato. Will this mean they'll disappear? No. Traveler, what the hell? Have you got any ideas on what we should do it'll just... Traveler, that you, you've seen the extent of this. Like, literally, Ruka Devado disappeared. It's just gonna like replace her with somebody else. It seems like now there's nothing left for us to do but to go to sleep. But Paimon's still so worried. Paimon will be fine, to guys. Don't worry there. about it. Me neither. So, how about uh, we list all our favorite foods to take our mind off things? If that <coughs> doesn't work, Paimon's probably gonna come favorite out foods. What is my favorite food? I was gonna say Taco Bell, but that's a joke. I actually like it's good, but it's not that good. Favorite food? Empanadas are pretty good. Maybe I'm just hungry for an right. empanada though. Paimon'll start. First dish. <laughs> mm. Munstack grilled fish. Oh, and chicken mushroom skewers. <clears throat> she breaks. Yeah, pancakes, pancakes are okay. Huh? Cream stew, sauteed matsutake. This is one of the most in my in my brain. This is one of the most contested, like like tier list, right? Where it's like French toast, pancake, waffles. What's better? What's the best? I, I think French toast is at top, clearly. But then waffles and pancakes. It's hard for me to decide. I think pancakes taste better, but waffles have the fun squares. You can like fill them with syrup. It's really cool, like that alone makes waffles almost better than pancakes. But then I think about eating a pancake and I'm just like, mm, ah, it's just like better. Oh, 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 I don't know, it's hard. I can't decide. Pancake or waffle, what's better? I'm on dying? <laughs> what's going on? Um, I don't know, man. Hmm? Uh, 
you fall asleep? <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, what are we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. French toast is great, dude. I want to make French toast. Maybe I should make it tomorrow. You were getting so worried about the situation with the balladeer that you started listing foods. Hmm? The balladeer? Is that a food too? Huh. Weird you did it. Though. How did you do that so fast? What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, that was so quick. It's been like, what, like three hours maybe? <laughs> No, it's nothing. So, the Balladeer. <clears throat> is that someone's name? Because it sounds like a nickname or something. Dot, dot, dot. This is really happening. I need to know what else changed. Paimon, come with me. You will see okay, a place called Candy yeah. Island. Where are we going? Who needs Candy Island? It's safe huh? for app docs. Paimon, Make no streams of on, but uh, cherry. I don't remember this song. You're acting like this is an emergency. Let's get over there first. Oh, dripping down the docks. It's dangerous and risky, but adventure is set free. Adventure, that's the life for me. I really like Flapjack's voice. One of my, like, top ten favorite voices. It's just, like, so squeakily high. That's comprehensible. Oh, wait, that's not true, <laughs> okay? I don't even know anything about Kingdom Hearts, but I have people that I know who are big Kingdom Hearts fans, and they couldn't even start to describe this story to me. I could at least start <laughs> and end up somewhere, okay? Story with Mickey Mouse isn't gonna make sense, okay? It's fucking Mickey Mouse, dude. Then, Mickey Mouse. I don't know. What even? I was gonna say, what even is it about? Like, actually, but no one knows. Well, I, well, I my question is, is why is Mickey Mouse there? What is he doing? I didn't time travel. We just erased his name from existence. Oh, it's been a while. <coughs> Sorry, I'm dying. I'd like to ask a question, if I may. Go ahead. About the ride in Gokugan. Gokugan. Oh. <laughs> now there's a question I wasn't expecting. Very well. I'll tell you what I know once more. The once renowned Raiden Gokuden, comprised of five branches Amenoma, <laughs> Futsu, Ishin, Hyakume, and Senju. The art of forging practiced by these five clans was first taught to them personally. I didn't pay attention the first time, so the second time, I'm not going to know. I'm not going to be able to the spot the difference. <laughs> As generations of greatness <coughs> honed and perfected their craft. Explain then what happened to Mickey Mouse's shirt. Traditions. What are you talking about? I couldn't... Okay, it's auto-filling to Mickey Mouse shirtless. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, he's got a leather jacket on. Holy shit. Mickey Mouse is badass as hell. Bro, Mickey Mouse throw hands in this game, dude? Holy cow. He's like a Genshin character or some shit. Most of the great swordsmith clans of old have since fallen into decline. And for a long time, only the Amenoma branch kept its heart alive. But fortunately, Kaida Harakazuha recently returned to Inazuma and took up the mantle of the Ishin art. Now, two clans remain. Shirt chronology? <laughs> it's okay, dude. I, I wouldn't understand anyway. If my memory serves me right, you yourself were present when he forged the Ishin. I don't remember this. I wasn't there, I thought. Oh, yeah, we were. Paimon remembers that now. What are you talking about, Paimon? I liked a bit about the decline of the Raiden Gokuden then, too. It seems like such a shame. Is that the reason behind their decline? That, my friends, is a tragic tale indeed. 
In fact, this was not made known to me. This is what I mean. Like, you had to pay attention really carefully about this whole Kazuha storyline to understand how it ties in with <laughs> Skarmuches. Only recently, when the question was on my mind, did I ask Kaidehara Kazuha about this? He told me that, as we are both heirs to a branch of the Raiden Gokunin, it was right that I should know the truth. There is no harm in telling you, but I must warn you. It is a dark and sorrowful tale. The Raiden Gokunin were the targets of a murderous rampage by a vengeful bladesmith. Huh? Vengeful? Why? Four hundred years ago, so I'm told, there was a catastrophic malfunction in Tatarasuna's furnace. One brave swordsmith heard the commotion and chose not to flee, but he rushed to the scene, hoped Tatarasuna was home Wait, to what? a state-of-the-art forging and smelting operation in that day. And overseeing it was the armory officer. Niwa. His surname was Niwa. And Niwa Though still exists. family ties to the Kaidehara clan. Knowing that they had just one chance <coughs> to save countless lives, Mr. Niwa oh. and the swordsmith leaped together into the furnace. The Skarmuch just turned into the swordsmith. But neither of them made it out. The smith's death, though heroic, dealt a devastating blow to his family's fortunes. His orphan son was left to fend for himself. Or Skarmuch the orphan son. <laughs> that sounds more like Skarmuch, but... In his heart... The whole of Inazuma was culpable in his tragedy. He hated the almighty Shogun for her apparent indifference towards his father's death. And he hated everyone who had done nothing to try and save him. Powerless and destitute, the only legacy he had to pass on to his children was his hatred. Generation after what? generation bore this grudge. Living generation? In misery. Alas. If only the story could have ended there. But 100 years ago, the then head of this family reached the end of his wits. He could bear their fate no longer, and yet he could do nothing to change it. How does the rewriting of history work like this? Like the voodoo magic, right? That rewrites history. Does it just like auto implant the new history into everyone's brain? Like, if there's some, like, really obscure shit that no one should know about, but, like, everyone does for some reason, couldn't that, wouldn't that tell you? What the fuck? <laughs> Why is there a paragraph about the kiosk here? <laughs> First shows up at the end of Kingdom Hearts 1, and he's shirtless, which conflicts with his design in every other Kingdom Hearts game. They make a point of explaining it in a side game like a prequel to kingdom hearts 3 where his shirt gets obliterated by a swarm of heartless like a pillar of demon eats his cartoon mouse's shirt for continuity's sake <laughs> wow dude that's crazy man that's crazy so he just showed up shirtless for some reason and in a prequel they explained it that's crazy like his shirt <laughs> I can, like that was a big deal. Wow. That's amazing. Oh here, r slash kingdom hearts. A funny in-game reason for why King Mickey was shirtless during Kingdom Hearts 1. Finally, this is funny. Drastic decision That's funny. I like that. To take revenge on the Raiden Gokuten. In doing so, he sought to vent his pet of anger and shake the very foundations of Inazuma's forging industry. Hey, water, bro. In his fury, he murdered indiscriminately, killing even bladesmiths from the Hyakume clan, which he belonged to. His goal was absolute. Your video this. Mickey loses his shirt. This is a minute-long video. It's time. With this key, when Sora's in the realm of it's life, time. we're gonna close this door. 
How does anyone take this game seriously? What the fuck? <laughs> it's like an anime character standing next to Mickey Mouse with a fucking key sword, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Everybody! Come on, Aqua! Oh my god! Mickey, your fucking short ass legs. You can't run fast enough, Mickey. Oh my god. Mickey, you stupid idiot. Your shirt, Mickey, no! Oh my god, his shirt! He's naked! That was crazy, dude. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yo, this game looks lit as hell. His killing spree came to an abrupt end. He failed to catch them unawares. They fought back, fiercely, and they did not spare his life. That is why the Kaidahara clan and their Ishin art survived that day. I suppose they were the lucky ones, under the dire circumstances. Okay. <laughs> Someone else attacked the swordsmith. The balladeer did something in Aerosol, but it seems Niwa still died. Is there anything else you want to guess? Have you seen Kazuha recently? Why, yes. Just yesterday, in fact. We spoke for a while over some <clears throat> He seemed well. Dude, so he still exists. <laughs> Things don't seem as bad as I feared last night. That's all. Thank My you very much. Pleasure. Don't tell Paimon. There are other places you want to visit too, right? <laughs> Your expression says it all. You can't hide anything from Paimon. Come on, what the hell? On to the next stop. Lead the way, traveler. Paimon will be right behind you. Are there like... Kingdom Heart historians who like try and piece together the the lore. Is there? I imagine there's like a, a Google Doc out there that someone has written with just like pages and pages and pages of history. You <laughs> Kingdom Heart. That game looked awesome, dude. <laughs> just seeing Mickey Mouse go. It's like anime girl next to him. Um, like demons coming out of a pillar. So... That was crazy. Traveler, it's been a while. <laughs> Yo, this guy's voice is crazy. If you're looking for the commissioner and Miss Kamisato, you know parts too. Huh? Timing is unfortunate. They're not here right now. Are they out on business? They're dead actually. The commissioner is out on business. And Miss Kamisato is standing in for some meetings in the commissioner's place. If it's urgent, you're welcome to wait inside until they get back. Okay. What do you think? Shall we go in? Thank you. We'll take you up on that offer. Can we walk is in the courtyard? Anyone else? I couldn't allow it. But seeing as you're so close with the commissioner and Miss Kamisato, I, I think, think it, it should be okay. okay. We'll be heading in then. That's a great guard. Bet. 100%. Hmm? Hello, dears. <laughs> Is there something you want to say? Ma'am, can I ask you a couple of questions? <laughs> of course, traveler. Yes, I know <coughs> who you are. Miss Kamisato has told <sighs> me about you. What would you like to know? How are the commissioner and Miss Kamisato these oh, days? They are both very well indeed. Could they not get the voice Maybe actors here? Miss Understandable. Sato has been rather busy attending all kinds of meetings <laughs> and occasionally paying visits to some local organizations on the commissioner's behalf. I imagine this game's like hard to get. Like, if you plan an event, you have to make sure all voice actors for each language is available to voice act for the current event. As for the commissioner himself. Well, must be crazy, dude. You know, busy as ever. That much has it means all voice actors Although for the character does 
whatever language it is are like bounded by fate. So pretty much business as usual in the Yashiro Commission, huh? Ugh, get me up here. Very much so. It's like nothing has changed, honestly. I guess the lady of the house, no changes there. As far as I can see, nothing's changed in the commission either. Expecting as much, but it's still a big relief to know the Kamisato siblings are both safe and well. Got any more questions? It's all for now. Many thanks. You're very welcome. In fact, I would love nothing more than for you to come and visit more often. No. But I'm sure you must be far too busy to have no. time for that. All right, lady. No. I don't like you. Miss Kamisato talks about you all the time. All the time. She's so thrilled to have you as a friend. And she's always saying how talented you Whoa. are and how much <sighs> she admires you. Doesn't Ayaka like, I must like me? Say, many like, like canonically? I guess canonically, like, every character likes me. <laughs> since you arrived here. So, you're not just Miss Kamisato's knight in shining armor, you You're a know. hero to us all. Oh, I mean it. Whenever the commissioner dines at home, This lady's enunciation is very wavy. I mean, I always find this is sine and cosine right now. Most relaxed She's got a fucking... Serving the two of them and got a cosine wavelength of, of speech pattern. Commissioner has such a busy schedule that he doesn't always have the chance to take his meals at home. But given the opportunity, Why are you he telling always me this? prefers to dine here. They say it's because Toma's <gasps> Toma. a much better chef than most. <laughs> they Yo, I haven't seen Toma in so long. You sometimes too, you know. <laughs> always with a very <laughs> Fond tone. So he's talking too much, dude. Talk about dear I feel like I'm watching Kit Boga right now. <laughs> like he's just going on. A scammer's just like, uh huh, uh huh. Yes. Oh my God. Ma'am. Ma'am. Do you have Internet Explorer open, ma'am? Ma'am, I need Internet. Ma'am. It's been many years now since the late Miss Ma'am, I need you to go to Walmart. Kamisato you need to get a Google Play card, ma'am. Much has happened in the Kamisato clan in that time. As someone who is old and gray enough to have watched their son and daughter grow up, it makes me so happy to see them meet a dependable friend whose company they Thank enjoy you. Thank you. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Baruta. So, in the future, oh my god. You <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll listen again. Kaima likes it here too. Also, you were saying something about the food here being really great. Kaima's itching to try it. We may just have to invite ourselves around for dinner sometime. Yeah. Kaima meant... We should come to a visit again real soon. Ideally around dinner time. <laughs> of course. You're always okay, welcome. Bye for now. We're uh Tatsarasuna. Goodbye, ma'am. Don't worry. All right. That lady talked for way too long, dude, okay? Like, don't get me wrong, I respect old people. Are you two leaving already? Respect old people. Uh but like <laughs> she just kept going, bro. <laughs> This guy's this guy's based. I like him. He's cool. He's got a nice voice. He's quick, cordial. You know, got me in, got me out. That's what I like to see. Okay, none of this fucking cosine speech pattern for like twenty minutes straight about your son and daughter. Okay, your son and daughter, they're not me. Okay, don't talk about them. <laughs> it's gonna be me one day. I'm gonna be that old person. Hey, it's this guy. I don't even know this guy's name. Xavier? Xavier. Okay, this is the thing that I'm talking about. Like, if you didn't do this side quest, do we know who this guy is? Because this wasn't part of the... wasn't part of the main quest. Xavier? That's how you say it? <laughs> no, it's Xavier. 
está bien. I was in the general area and now I'm in this specific area. There, that's me. So what about there, you two? That's me. We had some questions and thought you might be able to help. Guys, hats a disaster. Certainly do. I've researched the fedora, the dude. In some depth. If there's anything you want to know, it's huge. <laughs> that is huge. What the fuck? <laughs> that is so big. Like the back of my hand. <coughs> Make no mistake, I have been here a good many times before. Not only that, but I've met people in Inazuma whose families used to live in Tatarasuna years ago. They said it's all true. <coughs> the history here. Go on, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, uh, it's a long story. Don't you know? The tale of Tatarasuna starts a long time ago. I'm told that its history is one of the most foremost forging and smelting okay, operations okay, okay. in the nation. Goes back around... A castle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When exactly? One was just in the last few years. The other was several hundred years ago. A fun fact, I'm not the first Fontaine tech guy to come and work on it either. There was a guy back then too. Okay. They say he was a mechanic who consulted on a technology upgrade. It seems like the technological collaboration between our two nations goes back a long way. How about that? Wow. <laughs> I'm not paying attention at all, dude. Mechanic, huh? Looks like the doctor still sabotaged the furnace, leading all to the ensuring chaos. So the doctor is still a part of this. Oh, I didn't realize you two were here for a history lesson. True. Me neither. We are here. Paimon doesn't know what's gotten into <clears throat> this one today. Feels like we've been preparing for a history exam or something. Well, yeah, I don't get any of the new knowledge, so like I don't know. I'm just like a weirdo who thinks history. Wait, I'm like a person who just got like Mandela affected, right? <laughs> like that's the idea, like a group of individuals transport into another universe where something is slightly different. Except it's just one person, me. History is like kind of the same. This on. Did you just wake up today with a sudden burning desire for historical knowledge? Pretty much. Can I ask one more sure. question? Go ahead. Have you ever heard of the Kabukimono connected to the Tatsarasuna? Kabukimono? Hmm. No, I can't say that I have. I do know the word Inazuman for those eccentric types who always go around dressed to the nines. Just the sort of person that I'd like to meet, actually. Okay. But sadly, I've never had the pleasure, nor have I come across anything to do with a kabuki mono where Tatara Suna is concerned. There's no more ka ka kabuki mono. The Balladier really managed to erase himself from history completely. If so, he must have wanted to change the world and revert everything back to the way it was, but so far it looks like the majority of changes have only affected himself. Of course. Yeah, I mean, we knew this already. Think about me. I've been Mandela affected from one universe I don't understand into a, another I understand even less. <laughs> oh, we're leaving? Okay, bye, Xavier. Oh, you're most welcome. Bye, Xavier. <laughs> what? Farewell. Bye. Time to go back. Wait, do we not remember having the conversation with, with Scaramouche? He doesn't exist anymore. Thank you, Paimon. <laughs> you can walk with her. Look, you can move her legs back and forth. Isn't that crazy? I was just fiddling with that. <coughs> Why are we meeting Nahida though? If you don't remember, Paimon. The hell? This doesn't make any sense. We're meeting with her because the Skaramooch Baladir man ran off. But what's the point in meeting back with her if none of that ever happened, Paimon? Huh? Explain. Explain. Paimon does remember. He's a liar. Hey, it's them. Hey, it's me. Aquaba? Oh, these are the two writers? They were like talking about something? You're still here? Are you still talking about the essay? Indeed we are. 
If you have a moment, we'd love for you to join us once more. Please, no. I don't want to hear you guys talking. What do you, want to talk what do you mean we have time, Paimon? What are you talking about? Same topic we discussed last time. Obviously. Obviously. more info about Katara Suna, huh? Hmm. Should we join them? No. Let's hear what they have to say. We haven't made any real progress. Can I read it again? Oh, uh, of course. Nice. Cool, dude. Oh, those highlighted text. That was the different part. I didn't pay attention. Whatever, dude. Content has changed. Another effect of tampering with the information in Irmersal. It erased two of his names. If he really succeeded, it must have taken all of his might, but still. Well, what do you think? A masterpiece. Saying how you wish you could gather more information about all this? But sure. We just got back from Inazuma. So how about we tell them what we learned? What yeah. Did you find out? Something big? It's a long story. <sighs> Basically, we have some friends in Inazuma and Paimon explains the history of the Raiden Gokuden. Wow. So many new details. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Well, well. So it all comes down to one man's desire for revenge. Huh. You heard this from a member of the Armenoma clan, you say? Then I guess it must be true. I can't pop it. It's unsatisfying. Ugh. So there's no ghost story here after all. This new information actually lends further credence to my hypothesis. <laughs> Evidently, swordsmiths were seen as having an incredibly prestigious role in society those days. Okay. To the extent that harming them was conceived of at least by the perpetrator as a way of exacting revenge against those in power yes yes okay point yes yes yes, yes 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 and they're back at it all right bye guys oh, i'm so sorry Look we have something us. way more important to do Keep us in the hi guys find out anything else. Will do. should i roll for skarmouche you think i should what if i get lucky and i get him right that'd be cool gambling time gambling Gambling time? No. Hey, I got the new girl who's like useless. <laughs> She's not useless, but you know. Spend your rent money? <laughs> Honestly? <sighs> Recently rent increased? Fuck it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Goro, get this guy's ass out of my face. I don't want this guy. Oh, that's it. I don't have any more. That's not true. I have a bunch of crystal gems. Don't look, okay? Don't don't look at them. I have like a ton of crystal gems. You're not allowed to see those though. Purchase with Primo Gems. Don't go on that page. <laughs> You're gonna see all the money that I wasted. Don't we love gambling, dude? Sometimes you just gotta let it go. Let it go. I mean, can't hold me back anymore. Let it go. Let it go. Here I stand. I don't know the rest of the lyrics to this song. That's it, dude. It's over. I love gambling. Spin that slot machine. Oh yeah, baby. Traveler, Paimon, how have you been? There's a, there's like a, a an iOS app that is just a simulator for Genshin spinning. <laughs> it's like just the wish screen. Like there's no other gameplay aspect to it. You just spin. And if you want to spin more, you have to like watch an ad and it gives you like a million primo gems. <laughs> we ended up chatting and chatting until suddenly the sun was up. And then she decided she wanted to be yeah. It's not real, obviously. It's just a simulator. Kind of fun, I guess. I kind of got bored of it though, because you can't do anything with it. This sounds like some kind of code name. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. oh. 
Yeah, yeah, someone is. <laughs> I think I still have the app. <laughs> do I still have it? <laughs> I do. Let me download it real quick. It's, it's not downloaded completely. It's like half downloaded. I don't know what the iOS app does. iOS does this thing where it like half downloads your app. Baladir acted quickly. He finished erasing himself before Nahida could stop him. I'm the only one who still remembers the things that were erased. Once again, I am the record keeper. Traveler? Made with Unity, by the way. Where's the newest character? The fuck? You could pick any banner you want. I guess I guess the newest banner isn't here. Here, we can roll for... <laughs> Please write a review. <laughs> can you see it? What the hell? <laughs> Holy shit! He's gonna he's gonna spend the thousand dollars. Oh my god! Where's the button? I can't even press the button. I'm out of primo gems. I have to watch an ad. <laughs> I don't want to watch an ad right now. Refocus, please. Refocus. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it gives you a lot of spins, though. And, like, sometimes I'm like, you know, I just want to see what I get. See what I would have gotten. <laughs> and so, like, if you get good luck in the simulator, then it's like a mind game right you can't be like oh i have good luck now time to go into the real game no 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 no. you gotta get all the bad luck out in the simulator so once you do really shit in the simulator that's your time to spend money hey what's wrong you look so upset there are things that have happened that only i can remember i have to tell you the truth there's once there once was named the Balladeer, created by Electro Archon. He was a puppet who lived among men. After a series of events of the Tartu and the Balladeer, thinking he had been thrice betrayed, left Inazuma to roam the world beyond. No trust for humans, only loathing for the gods. He bore his grudge for several years, grew in strength, returned to Inazuma to take his revenge, tried in vain to become a deity. With a gnosis, ended up losing everything. I just burped into the mic. He entered Aramis Hall, learned the truth behind his betrayal. Knowing that his entire life had been built on lies, he did the unthinkable and attempted to reverse his tragic fate. <sighs> That's quite a story. So, this puppet <clears throat> known as the Balladeer erased himself from Aramis Soul, hoping that he could change the past. But, how was he even able to do that? As the Traveler said, he very nearly became Sumeru's deity. <clears throat> Admittedly, I remember it a little differently. But we still fought the machine, but there was no one inside of it? After we defeated it. Nevertheless, it does Strange. Make sense. If someone were to successfully erase themselves from Ermensoul, the world would change to reflect the new reality. So, you believe this person really existed? And we just don't remember him because... Well... Because he literally changed <clears throat> the world? Yes. Theoretically speaking, it is possible to do this. But I'm struggling to imagine the kind of person... My coffee's getting cold. Go through with it. I've been sitting over two hours. I should finish this. The Traveler comes from a world beyond Shavat. That's why there's no information about her in Ermensoul. And it also explains why any changes to Ermensoul wouldn't affect her. Interesting. So if there's anyone in the world capable of retaining memories from a past that has wow. been written, it's you. Wait, that means my brother probably is just like quite incredible when you think about like it. Like randomly details of the world are just being changed and he's like, What the hell? <laughs> you can say that again. I can only make inferences based <clears throat> on the information we've been given. As for what kind of person he was, only you remember that. 
I'm really not sure. We were enemies after all. I don't know his perspective on this, so I can't say why he did something so extreme. Did he want to reset everything or save someone? Did he want to completely undo his existence? Everything can be set right. Time to solve this once and for all. Maybe that's all there is to it. I still remember the question he asked. He asked me specifically. My hesitation gave him his answer. I hesitated because I witnessed Greater Lord Rukadavada race her own resistance, but I can't tell Nahida that. Put another way, I know why the Baldir was so sure it could work, but I can't tell them with that. <laughs> ah! I fucking die. <laughs> So tiny. She reminds me of the, the fallen Kiki. I need to get that back on the screen. You chose such a radical option. And yet it couldn't change the fate of the ones who had died, right? Yes. Once the Balladeer realized he hadn't been betrayed after all, it must have completely changed his view of the people of Tatarasuna. Now he saw them as friends again. Can't save him. He couldn't keep hating humans after Past that. is in the past. And if he thought there was a chance he could save his old friends, it would be hard not to try. Your story makes sense. Every part of it. The Balladeer tried to achieve godhood with the doctor's help. He was unsuccessful, but retained the power to connect with Ermansoul. Sting? That power then enabled him to change what was recorded in Ermansoul and erase himself, even though he didn't have much strength left. Yeah. It does make sense, but still ended in tragedy for his friends. It just feels so hopeless. He gave everything to do this, but it seems like he got nothing in return. True. Changed the world in many ways, yet the dead still didn't get a second chance. Those faded to a tragic end could not be saved. What exactly did he want to fight back against? The betrayals in his life, or did he wish he'd never existed at all? I want to check something. Hmm. Found it. This should be the one. Oh, shit. Nice cube. It turns out that I have a strange way of confirming everything she has told us. What is it? A record from a personal collection. It was tucked away in a corner. You should take a look. A personal collection? This is an in aerosol. <clears throat> is this a fairy tale? Who wrote it? Matches everything I, I said. I this record myself. Huh? You Interesting. wrote a fairy tale? <coughs> it has something to do with the balladeer? How does the air missile work then? Because, like, it rewrites books and shit, right? That's so all connected. Well, I guess the people are who wrote the books, and thus they're connected to air missile. But if she is also a god... Of Taivat, Taivat, and she is connected to Air Missile in her own way. How is she able to keep this record? Explain, Nahida, please. When combined with the Traveler's narrative, it's clear that this story is an allegory. Everything in it is a symbol for something else. So it was still rewritten. It was just told into a fairy tale. Well done. So this record survived from the past. Is in the past. past. Yes. Any information about the Balladeer or the Kabuki Mono and other records will have been changed. <clears throat> I wrote this story in a way that means it was left intact. Oh. Changing the information in Ermansoul changes to that. Yes? Ermansoul can't change information that was well hidden in advance. I guess I must have written this story as a backup before the Balladeer entered Ermansoul. Interesting. So she wrote it as a fairy tale. Interesting. That's, That's strange. What a great idea. I guess that technically would work, huh? And That's kind of cool. The traveler to Ermansoul with the Balladeer must have been a further precaution. I knew she'd remember everything. This story is abstract enough that it still resonates with the present information recorded in Ermansoul. But if we connect all the different pieces together, the true story that emerges is the one she told us. The <coughs> new-based life of the Balladeer. There was once Ooh. a lone monster Get this dude out of here. Oxford. The monster found a family of foxes 
joined them, and they became friends. The monster lived with the family day and night, and everyone treated it as one of their own. Wait, it's a monster draped in fox fur. Interesting. Once in a while, the monster would take off its fox fur at night and lament to itself as it gazed at its reflection in the water. I am a monstrosity, yet they are too foolish to see it. I pity them. But the monster soon found oh. solace <laughs> when another came to live among the foxes who was not their kin. A kitten, carved from the wood of a white tree who had been abandoned by the humans. The kitten, too, wished to become a fox, but its tail was too <laughs> slender, and it could not grow a coat of richly colored fur. Yet when the other foxes saw this, they spoke words of comfort to the kitten. Even without a cute. tail and fur like ours, you are still one of us. I like how they represented Skarmuch. <laughs> He's like fat. <laughs> oh my god! Happy resolution. The monster lit a fire on the mountain. The terrified animals panicked as the fire spread. Skarmuch, the why? The only way to extinguish the flames was to make a sacrifice. A gray fox stood up and addressed the monster. It said, You are the cleverest among us. Surely you can help us find a way to solve this. Skarmuch. The monster smiled, led the fox toward the fire. And murdered it. The gray fox's heart was turned into a beautiful drop of water, clear, spotless, and pure. The monster gave the heart of water to the kitten, telling him, "The foxes have decided. You are uh, the one who must be sacrificed." I see. Take this, quench the flames, and die for your fox kin. I see. I get it now. Okay. That's the doctor. Interesting. The fire was extinguished, but the kitten lived. It left that side of the mountain and found a little bird who had a broken wing. The two promised they would spend their whole lives together. But the little bird did not have long left to live. It passed away soon after. After burying the bird, the kitten left the mountain for good. Never again would it cherish a single creature, nor a single blade of grass that stood on that mountain. The kitten spent the nights wandering hmm. aimlessly, gnashing its teeth at the moon. How it wished to swallow the moon and devour the moonlight. If the world could only return to darkness, then it would finally be peaceful and content. I will oh my god. The, moon, the answer to everything. <clears throat> then, no one will know that there were once birds, foxes, and cats in this world. And no one can know that they were different. Interesting. Heart moved. And back. <laughs> you could congrats, Paimon. You solved it. Remember now. This is not just the Balladeer story. It is his very own memories. I made a backup so that it would be preserved. Yeah, wait, does he does he lose his own memories about himself? To become a god, he was experimented on and modified countless times. It was brutal torture. And the only reason he was able to survive Jesus Christ. is that he was a puppet. This memory was extracted from him by the scholars. Presumably, they kept it to have something to defend themselves with. Creating defend a themselves was with? Just the first step. How so they defend themselves with that? It's evidence of torture. <laughs> That's why they backed up his memory for later use. Oh. I buried it deep inside one of my own dreams. And then hid it inside an allegorical story so that it wouldn't be altered. It's hard to believe that this person really existed, let alone that he tried to get rid of us on more than <laughs> one occasion. 
Yeah, the first time he saw us? Oh, what wonderful friends. Second time he saw us? I'm gonna fucking kill you guys. Good thing Mona was there, huh? The Balladier agreed to help me look for information about the Descenders, and although he was unsuccessful, he still helped you. Before he vanished, he confirmed an important detail, that yeah. Conria was where your twin first came into the <coughs> We still don't It's okay, the theory crafters already came up with that. that you didn't help me at all, dude. Patui, but in all likelihood, they won't even remember their own harbinger. It's like life is as insignificant as a feather. Don't worry about it. You didn't like him I very much. Like the way it all ended that much better. This is why wisdom alone cannot answer all our questions. We look, we see, and we comprehend, but the question still troubles us. So the answer is not everything. People yearn to find the truth and then conquer the troubles they face. When you give someone the truth, you give them a chance <clears throat> to choose their own destiny. Choose your Whoever's destiny. On, this may seem like a pointless endeavor, but for him, the chance to act on his desire to disappear must have meant a lot. Never forget that even when we walk beneath dark clouds along a road filled with suffering, the light of wisdom is always there, guiding us toward a better destination. And that is what you have been doing all along. Yeah, Reed is right. Cheer up. How about we go get something <laughs> to eat? We can pick up this heavy conversation again later. Paimon's hungry. Paimon, why don't you take her out for a walk to clear her head? You got it. Come on, traveler. You need to get out of your head for a while. Okay. You're much better after taking a walk. Let's go get a snack from one of the stalls. Let's go. That'll be sure to lift our spirits. Let's eat. We're trapped. Oh, never mind. I need a pee, I'll be back. Just look at Klee looking into Nahida's soul for a moment, okay? Big bomb, so heavy. Protocol? Protocol, well. Is a brave girl today. I found a really weird looking lizard. Want me to show it to you? Protocol? Protocol, where are you? Bombs, so heavy. Explosion inside city wall. Grounded be thy woe. Explosions can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. Monsta be bombed. Klee be doomed. Those are the survival rules that the Knights of Favonia gave me. Protocol, 
you want to come fish blasting with me? I'll get grounded for a whole day, but it's way worth it because the fish tastes so good. Dodoko, Dodoko, where are you? Dodoko, Dodoko, where are you, Dodoko? I want the the clay earbuds. <laughs> Killed her. I want the clay earbuds. Clay, 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 clay. I want the clay earbuds. They come with a little, you see her backpack? They come with that as the the earbud case. It's crazy. The only reason I want it. I heard the earbuds are like, not that good. <sighs> What's going on in this story? <laughs> I was thinking about it when I was in the restroom. It's like, I need, I genuinely want to and kind of need to like look up like a Reddit post of as has, has like a comprehensive guide on the lore of this game. Cause I'm sure this is all like beautifully crafted and it's like, oh, they connect in certain ways. And it's like, oh, how Kazuha's family and the way he's just sword forging, how it connects with like the Ishin hearts and the Niwa and like the doctor, he's been everywhere. <laughs> and it's just like, I'm sure it's beautifully crafted. I just, I can't follow. Okay. I'm sorry. And too complicated. There's too much happening. And like, I got, I'm just gonna be real with you. Swordsmith, like, forging is just super boring. Unless it's like. Unless it's that one show where, like, they. Once it forged in fire, they make swords live and then they, like, hit pieces of, like, pig meat with it. <laughs> they just take, like, hanging pieces of pork and go, like, psycho mode on the. On them. Like, that's cool, I guess. It's just like the moment anything history related shows up, I immediately just like resident sleeper, you know what I mean? I'm taking a walk. Oh, I'm supposed to be in the Grand Bazaar right now. I'm like in the middle of the trees and leaves. Get me out of here, dude. Get me down here. Get me in the Grand Bazaar. Down this way. I think I like went like completely in the wrong direction. Like, that was probably an easier way to get into this place. God, why does my OBS preview look so bad? Does the Twitch preview look that bad? Sometimes the OBS preview looks like shit. Even though, like, what's being shown on stream isn't shit. Kind of tricks me sometimes. We're here. What we eat first? Um, why are you looking at me like that? She's looking at, like, me. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, Paimon. Don't eat me. I have a nagging feeling like there's something I'm missing, something important that I'm forgetting. Uh, sorry. Let's just give me a minute. I'm still processing. Hmm. All right. Whatever you want. Paimon will be right here when you figured stuff out. Then we can get something to eat. Okay. Come on, brain. Let's dig this out. It's got to be in there somewhere. There's something about Iramisal and deleting oneself. Greater Lord Ruka Devada, Forbidden Knowledge Nahida. Have you figured it all out? <laughs> Greater Lord Ruka Devada, she said that no one can erase themselves from existence, not even her. Otherwise, why would she need to create her own reincarnation in Lesser Lord Kusanali to do the deletion for her? There would be no point. Uh, why'd you jump up all of a sudden? And tell Plamon she doesn't know about Greater Lord Ruka Devada. The crucially important detail, it's not simply, it's simply not possible for the Balladeer to completely erase his own existence. In which case, the question is, what happened to him? Excuse me, boss. There seems to be a small problem with the last Oh, shit, there he is. <laughs> Look, <laughs> He's blue now. Here. That's crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey. You mean me? No, not you. That kid. Didn't you see? Him? <coughs> Little rascal grabbed my last two fresh sunsetias and ran off. How dare he? Look, 
If you're gonna help out here, you can't keep spacing out, okay? What is it? The work's too boring for you? Or has the big city got too many distractions? I wasn't paying close enough attention. Sorry, boss. Yo, do you suck I at this? I think you're right. Maybe it's the city. It's so exciting. It can be hard to focus. Who's that guy? You know him or something? Yo, that's Skarmooch. It's the ball of deer. Who? You're a strange one, kiddo. You say you don't want any money for helping out here, and then when I actually give you some work to do, <laughs> you keep letting yourself get distracted. I don't want to take advantage, so I'm happy to pay you what I pay anyone else. But if you keep acting like this, pretty soon I won't be able to afford to. Yeah, do you want him to steal all this shit? I mean it. You don't need to pay me anything. I'm just so thankful you agreed to take on an outsider like me. He's so humble. You're welcome, I guess. But I got bigger but things he sucks. to worry about. <laughs> Look, we're all out of sunsetias, and I promised the lady down the street I'd deliver a fruit bowl this evening. Okay, well, let's 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 think about this logically, dude. Okay, you're paying him to guard the sunsetias. Is that what you're paying him for? That's what I assume you're paying him for. If you didn't have him here, I guess you wouldn't be having to pay him. Well, you're not even paying him anyway. You said you don't have to pay him. So, like, what's what's the problem, dog? That kid would have ran off with the sunset as whether or not Balladeer was here. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is, what? Then I'll leave it to I don't know me. what I'm trying to say. I'll okay. Some more. Just a moment. I'll be right back. Stop. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna level with you, kiddo. I've never met a worker who said they didn't want a wage before, and at first I got greedy. Couldn't believe my luck. But I figured you'd start asking for something in return eventually. You don't want money. You don't take days off. <laughs> and in your free time, all I see you do is wander, wander around, around, taking in the sights. Yeah. Are you a, a drifter or something? Oh my god, Lumine died. Uh, that's you did like a I sick am. backflip. Uh, we can talk more about that later. First, let me get those fruits you needed. Sunsetius, was it? Uh, I'll be right back. He really is wander. He just <laughs> wanders. <laughs> hey, that's... <laughs> I kind of get it now. I get why all the memes for him is like, it's wandering time. Dude, I can't believe Wander when he fucking showed up and said, I'm going to wander all over you. <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. It's weird. It's funny, though. I get it. I get it. I understand the 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 Skarmooch community now. I I understand their, their desire to say it's wandering time. Follow the person you just saw. He's wandering, dude. I can't believe it. Can you believe it? Does he remember then? Does he not remember? He seems like super nice. So I assume he he doesn't remember, but he might. I'm gonna show up and he's gonna be like, who are you? Yeah, this'll do. Even though you say he's the balladeer, what are we planning on doing? <coughs> Isn't that a bit too cruel? Shush. This should be enough. God, I love his big hat, dude. I kind of want to roll for him now. <laughs> his big hat's too cool. I'm just a big hat lover, okay? If I wasn't seeing this with my own eyes, I would never believe it. You two over there. Is there something I can help you with? He doesn't remember us. Sad. You've been following me all the way from the city. I'd have to be blind not to notice. You're right. We're following you. Have we met before? No, we haven't met. But you know me? Yes. I have no recollection. It's complicated, but I do know you. Are you absolutely sure? Sorry, but I just can't take your word for it. I can prove it. You're a puppet. A puppet? What makes you think that? Huh? <laughs> you were right. The look on his face. I guess you do know me after all. That is not something I share with a lot of people. Look, I'm just a wanderer. He's wandering. As as Holy shit. To track me down, I'm sure whatever it is must be important. There's somewhere I want to okay. take you. But please let me deliver these goods to my boss first. Are you really working for that guy? He said you don't want any more of it. Is that true? This wandering is good enough. Yes, I ran my name is the Wanderer after all. Storm. And he let me take shelter in his cart. In return, I said I'd be his helper for a while. That's 
nice of you. Let me take these back. Then I'll come <clears throat> with you. Okay? Okay. And let's return to the city. Interesting. He's like so nice. Is he lying to us? Because in his character trailer, he's like, he's super edgy still. Right? Like if you watch his character trailer, he's like super edgy when he's like delivering justice to Fatui uh, soldiers. Talking about like stepping on them and shit. I don't know. But like now he's so nice. How is this possible? Let's go back. Let's return. I wonder if we're going to like re-inject the memory into him or something. And make him like kind of edgy again. Because he's like way too nice. He's just like a normal dude right now. And I feel like that removes the, the selling point. You know what I mean? People want to be stepped on by the volunteer. They want him to like here you go, boss. be like a... I'll leave them right here. <laughs> you know? Oh, that's what I liked about really him at least. Pick some more. <laughs> hmm. Who are these two? Hello. Something's come up. You don't know who I am? What the hell? <laughs> Aren't you a Sorry, fucking boss. vendor at this place? I'm afraid I'll be away from the stall for a while. You don't remember who I am? The whole Nilo event, dude? <sighs> I was just about to pay you anyway. Go wherever <laughs> you want, kid. Don't waste your time here. <laughs> what? I get it, okay? You just <laughs> wanted to help me out, to thank me for giving you shelter from the rain that day. Even then, I don't understand why you're so adamant that you don't want any pay for it. But look, it was pouring down, and there you were, sauntering along without a care <laughs> in the world. Like you had nowhere to be, and didn't even care that it was raining. Dude, he's got a fucking huge hat. You, that's just to protect, protect him from the rain, dude. I'd wander in the rain. Imagine you were me for a second. It's a little <laughs> weird, right? Why is this guy Wait, I just imagine. A rainstorm if he's not trying to get somewhere. And why is he taking a Going to like, cut through the open country? Uh, what's it called? Not even in a hurry. Go to like Anime Expo and just have like a shitty wanderer cosplay <laughs> where I have instead of the hat, I have like a, you know those umbrellas that stick to your head? I just wear that and then like blue clothes. It's like the wanderer. <laughs> Actually sounds so funny. Uh, Yo. I'm going to anime expo dressed like that. Anyway, I gotta I gotta let the hair grow out though so I can be started. mushroom man again. You don't owe me a thing for it. Certainly not all this. <laughs> and I gotta dye blue. Valuable. You know, you should go live your life. Go live your life. But I don't I don't have a life. My mom kicked me out. I've been playing video games for the rest no. of my, my entire life. You're right. Then I suppose I just sat in my room. Goodbye. Thank you again for taking me into the city. That'd be on brand since he is a ride in Shogun puppet and she's kind of a neat. Don't mention it, kiddo. I've run into all kinds of characters over the years. I just <clears> hope <throat> you find your path. Thank you. The path right, is done. in the path. Thanks for waiting for me. We can go now. That guy just didn't want to take care of him. Go to the sanctuary of Sarusthana. Let's go, dude. <clears throat> Are we gonna show him the fairy tale? I doubt he's gonna like even understand what the hell it is. He's gonna just be like, what the hell is this fairy tale? Doesn't make any sense. What I am excited to see is, I know he gets a vision, obviously. <laughs> but I wonder if how they're going to show that. That's like the thing I'm most excited for. Because we only seen a vision get acquired once with Rana. And the screen just went black and described what was happening. So if possible, I'd like an animation of, <laughs> of someone receiving a vision, please. Nahida! 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 What's wrong? I wander. This is Cabbage God. Huh? Behold. Are you? Hello. Hello. I do apologize for the sudden intrusion. <laughs> He's so nice. The employees at MiHoYo actually don't get any rest. <laughs> I don't think they do. How long is a banner? Two weeks? They have a whole ass new update. Every month? Something like that? We found this guy in the street. There's no way these guys are getting any sort of rest. <laughs> so, yeah, quite an eventful life. And every update, there's basically a new character. With a whole new skill set. Animations. Voice lines. Dude, games are amazing, dude. Whenever you play a good game and you see the credits and that shit goes on for like 10 minutes, you're like, holy cow. 
How many people worked on this thing, dude? How many people's blood, sweat, and tears? And it's like not even like people work on pieces, right? Like Scaramouche's player model, the dude who designed his left arm is probably different from the dude who designed his like right arm <laughs> or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. Just so many people working together. It's crazy. You say that you were trekking across to that to train yourself. I always wanted to do like game design stuff. It's too hard though. It's not too hard, but like, where do you? Call themselves Shigenja. Shigenja? Why do you Shed Ninja? As a where do you go to like learn game design? Like a school? But like, what school? You gotta pay for that shit. <laughs> well, it's a lot more relevant in my case. To me, it sounds like a plant with no roots. <laughs> but these two claim that they know me, and that I have a hidden past unknown even to myself. True. I wouldn't call it the past, but rather, uh, this is a difficult one to explain. It's the past, I past. Like to rely on using terms like this often, but. In your case, it seems that it ought to be called a uh, previous, previous incarnation. incarnation. Oh, like a past life or something? Yes, mm. something far more distant than the past. So far away that you cannot perceive it. Okay, I have to ask. <laughs> what was I like in my previous incarnation? You were evil as hell, dude. You tried to kill us, by the way. Uh, you are rude ass okay. motherfucker. I see. You want to tell me, but you can't bring yourselves to say it. Looks like I didn't have the most wonderful existence in my previous incarnation. We're just trying to think where to start. It's difficult to talk about. I have no doubt it will be just as difficult to hear. Yeah, you like murdered a bunch of people? <laughs> Please, tell me the truth. Is truth something you care a lot about? Yes. Yes. Then I'll be exactly. with you. In your previous incarnation, oh, I'll be straight with you, you dog. Many things that would be considered evil. To be fair, so did we. <laughs> you nearly died because of what other people did, and many died Let's take into consideration how many people I've murdered. As a non human being, you hated gods and humans alike. You drifted from place to place, never <clears> even <throat> settle, even where you found status and identity. You adamantly believed that you were missing a heart. <sighs> Actions rooted in persistence sometimes bear bitter fruit. Sometimes you have to let parts of yourself go or you'll never be happy. Actions rooted in persistence sometimes bear bitter fruit. That's interesting. I like that. Sometimes. Okay, not all of them. I gave everything I had, but it barely changed history at all. I mean, you're nicer now, I guess. That's pretty cool. In terms of the outcome alone. That's true. You failed, but you're pretty cool now. Hmm. Well, I mean, you were cool before, but you're like bearable to be around. You're not just being edgy all the time. I've heard purely in terms of right and wrong. Each choice a person makes belongs to a specific place in time, a chain of cause and effect. True. A cycle of karma and consequence. <laughs> <laughs> that is the nature of truth. If one thing is right, its opposite must be wrong. And yet, dichotomies like this are not enough to explain the world in all of its complexity. It seems like my previous incarnation wasn't the most likable individual. <laughs> <laughs> We're not trying to hurt your feelings or anything, but... <laughs> yeah, we weren't your biggest fans. We were each other's enemies. We were enemies? Why are you trying to help me find the truth? <laughs> this guy's supposed to be our arch enemy, but now he's just some random stranger we met on the street. He's got so much to answer for, but we can't make him talk because he doesn't remember anything. I mean, you don't remember anything uh, either, Paimon. What a weird situation. Lesser Lord Kusanali, as the god of wisdom, I trust that everything you told me must be true. Yes, it's all true. I can even show you the memories themselves, if you're willing. Shit. Please, I want to see them for myself. I want to experience my own transgressions. What if this was his, like, light Yagami, like, mastermind plan? Even though 
like he knew this was gonna happen this was like his desire all along i'm just a puppet with no heart and no name there is nothing in this world for me to cling to to fill the void within me except maybe these sins that can never be undone very well as you wish Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh damn he didn't do it yet this one's kind of on us for bringing him here don't worry whatever danger i might face it's my burden to bear traveler could i ask you to supervise him on my behalf okay oh good point given your um Unique situation. Nice pants, dude. I like your pants. Those are some nice shorts. That's like something I'd wear to school. Understood. Pretty sick. <sighs> Thank you. Now. Nice hat, dude. I like your hat. <laughs> it's very pretty. I like these like sparkles in them. I want this hat, dude. Can I get this hat? Someone give me this hat. Enter the memory. No matter what lies ahead, I'll face <gasps> it. My cat's here. Whatever it takes. <laughs> I'm just sorry that you have to join me for the whole thing. Hi. You want pets? Huh? You want pets? I'm petting you. It's wandering time for. We gotta wander. Huh? It's wandering time. Huh? It's not it's not petting time, it's wandering time. Huh? He's like, he really likes doing this to the mic. He just loves like headbutting the mic. I don't know why. Don't go over there. Okay, he's leaving. Ida. It's time to get ready. <clears throat> oh, thanks. Let's enter the reminiscent drift. Oh, it's a dungeon. Cool. <clears throat> he doesn't have his vision yet, right? Or does he? This looks like Inazuma. Right now, you're in a dream Ooh. I created using information extracted from your memories. Okay. These memories will show you the raw truth, but be aware that enemies may react <laughs> just like the real. Oh my God! They're gonna attack me. Like an immersive experience. You don't need to do this for me. I don't deserve your protection. We never give up. Dude, now you're like way too pitiful. Get over yourself. Like <laughs> We're just finishing the job. Thanks. Wanderer, this is the Shake Pavilion. In your Balladeer incarnation, this is where the Electro Archon placed you after your creation. You had a great many memories here. Is that because this is kind of like his birthplace? You could say that, in a sense. You'll see why shortly. I hear footsteps. This place is huge. I can't believe the landslide didn't fill it in. I wonder who built it. The crystal That's marrow Udagi. miners? No, there's no way. Look at this exquisite construction work, and so well preserved, too. No mining crew would be capable of this. You didn't get to hear me cough. Hmm? There's someone passed out on the ground. Oh my god. <sighs> who are you? You're awake. What happened? How'd you get stuck here? Are you injured? Uh-huh. Not a scratch. And these fine clothes. Who are you? This man is Katsuragi, deputy to Torichiyo's adopted son. You don't get to see Scar much? He found the balladeer in Shaokei Pavilion and took him back to Tatarasuna. Okay. And the rest is history. Well, it used to be. In the original version <laughs> My cat's of the events, just looking at me. <laughs> was killed by Nagamasa. No. Let me get you out of here. Our people are nearby. H hang in there. During the Tatarasuna incident, Miwa was murdered by the doctor disguised as a mechanic. The balladeer, then known as the Kabuki Mono, Kabuki Mono. not long after. As the second in command at Tatarasuna, Responsibility for what had happened fell to Mikoshi Nagamasa. Okay. But Katsuragi had sworn lifelong loyalty to Nagamasa after the latter had once saved his life. At Katsuragi's insistence, Nagamasa killed him to put an end to the Tatarasuna incident. <sighs> Katsuragi. 
Atsuragi seems like he was a good guy. My cat's sitting on my my mouse pad. But he has a kind face. Dude, I can't. Why couldn't he live a long and happy life? Bro, 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 I can't move the mouse, bro, 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 bro. My cat's just in the way of the mouse. I can't move the mouse. He's literally sitting on the mouse cable. I have to like make small movements. You can tell. Keep exploring. <gasps> down here. I can't look down because <laughs> he's on it on the mouse. <laughs> Dude, get off the <laughs> get off the mouse cable, man. Those are tissues. Don't eat those, bro, 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 bro. I drop this like Elden Ring ladder shortcut. Nagamasa, I found this young guy in a cave sealed off by a landslide. He doesn't remember his name. Well, we need to call you something. I hear the workers are calling you the Kabuki Kumono. Interesting. It's fine with me. Katsuragi, report to Niwan. Tell him we have someone new joining us. Okay. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what are, where am I going? I feel like I just went in a circle. Did I open this door? Is there a reason I opened this door? Is that the way I came from? Did I come from that direction? I opened this chest. I literally came from that direction. What's the point in the ladder dropping? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Am I lost in the Genshin Impact dungeon? How do I get over there? This way? There's a door here. Literally the door. <laughs> Which way do I go? Huh, I wonder. Should I enter through the door maybe? Yo, just tank the damage, honestly. Oh my god, it's killing me. It's killing me. It's killing me. It's killing me. Raiden Shogun literally is the god of thunder. She should be resistant to this shit, dude. Explain Genshin Impact, please. Can I break this? No. <gasps> Fuck was that? <laughs> was that a trap? <laughs> I just like Markiplier... Ran my cat over. <laughs> Why do you always sit under the chair? Where are you? Come here. Are you okay? <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, my name is. Hey, hello. Arthur. Uh, I hear voices. Oh, this is where you were born? It's pretty. That's a Venti's voice actor. Here. <laughs> I was abandoned, like you. I lived here for a while at first, but there's nothing for us here. We can't stay. Okay. Okay. I heard my mom and dad used to make swords, but the factory manager died, and then my dad got sick. He kept coughing all the time, just like me. Then mom started coughing <laughs> Like too. you. But you can't. You promised me. Promised him? Yep. We're family now. We're going to be together forever and ever. It promised this he wouldn't die? Didn't have a name. Or rather, the balladeer didn't know what to call him. His father died before he could name him. After his mother died, the child stayed in their straw hut alone. Some of the neighbors helped to raise him. After leaving Tatarasuna, the balladeer ran into this child who didn't have a name, just like him. Oh. They made a promise to live together. What happened to the child then? He died from his illness while he was oh. still very young. The balladeer came home one day and found that he had stopped breathing. Hey! What's wrong? Say something! You promised me we could be family! This guy's just been hurt, dude. <laughs> You're no different from Miwa and all the others. This just like... You betrayed me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. 
No, the kid had like a family illness or something. <clears throat> the voices have gone. It looks like the memory ends here. Let's keep going. Exploring. Oh, I'm like dodging these these traps that are just in here for some reason. That uh what's that Markiplier choose your own adventure where you rob the bank? You One of my favorite scenes from that path. is a uh, come not to obstruct you. I've been waiting. Is it a jester? Holy shit. What you are truly is a weapon. One that could be wielded with an iron will. <laughs> or the cat just brought his toy over. To he wants to play. Aimlessly. Are you trying to win me over? A long fated rebellion has begun. Why not take your place at the banquet and join those who shall feast? My cat legit just brought his like stick on mouse on a stick over. Now headbutting me, and I in about ten minutes, no five minutes, he will start clawing at my legs if I don't play with him. Unfortunately for him, I cannot. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the Markiplier choose your own adventure. One of my favorite scenes from that was the Indiana Jones part. Where there's just a bunch of traps, and he just like turns around and talks to you, and casually walks backwards, and all these traps are just like barely missing him. And it's like. I don't know. It's cool. Cool. Did Markiplier do another Choose Your Own Adventure? I didn't get to see that one. I should. I should check that one out. I swear by my sword. Bustin. Just do this, dude. This guy's gonna take like ten years to kill because I I waited way too long talking. Now he just has like the Giga Shield. Please, please dying. All right, we did it. My cat is now clawing at my leg. I predicted it. Ow! Stop! I'm innocent! Don't hurt me! I can't play with you right now. This is what he brought over. He wants to play. Sorry for fucking busy streaming. This Bitch. place is dark. Hyman <laughs> uh, knows this place. It's the delusion factory in Inazuma. <laughs> My cat, every time he plays, he takes the toy to like a completely different area. In the original version of events, he like takes it away from you. But then he gets mad that you're not still playing with him. <laughs> A creepy atmosphere and so familiar. So are we just gonna skip over when, when he met us originally on that road, that dingy ass road? Hey, look over there. Well, well, my fair lady. Is this right down <gasps> La Senora. And these incompetent fools all for me? Wow. You shouldn't have. Label La Senora win. <laughs> what do you have to gain from belittling your subordinates? You might not want to admit it, but you are a part of this plan. Perhaps you find fighting in the abyss to be a more meaningful use of your time? Oh, but of course, even this pales in comparison to being experimented on by the doctor. <laughs> what a sharp tongue you have. Funny how negotiating never seems to be your strong suit. For the task ahead, I suggest you keep your true feelings to yourself. Hm. Save your breath. I know what I have to do. I'm sure you think so, but I still think you need to hear it. Don't start thinking you're invincible, and don't let your emotions get in the way. Surely you're not worried about me. I just can't Yo, she you dead. In the way. <laughs> you and child never fail to find ways to complicate things. I'm merely lighting a little fire in this chaotic nation. But you, being tossed out like trash, must make you want to destroy it completely. Do you remember the last time you were here? That was a lot of swordsmiths you killed. 
I'm sure the descendants of the ride in Gokaden are still suffering the consequences now. Look at you. Oh, don't get so sentimental. Now, give that poor little tongue of yours a rest and stop pretending like you're above everyone else. Is this Catalyst? Like, what is this? I want to know what Bye that thing then. is. This thing. See you at the victory feast. Poor little tongue? <laughs> She's playing with fire talking to me like that. Who does she think she is? <sighs> Forget it. Someone might find me here any minute now. I should prepare to give them a warm welcome. Oh, it's me. The plot does not end here. <coughs> There's more of this story to come. What? Yes. Please don't worry about me. Interesting, interesting. Wow. Why are you staring at me in silence? <laughs> Can't you think of a nicer way to express yourself? Get yeeted. I didn't do any I'm damage, no though. To be nice to you. Besides... I thought nothing mattered to you except results in your own interest. Isn't that right? Which? Also, that's really rude to Golly. <laughs> Muddle headed puppet. You're only number six because you can take more abuse than other humans. Do you really count that as an asset? You're about as much fun to be around as a raging inferno. My cat is still trying to play with me. Each other, it'd be He's best attacking if we me. Finish our duties. <laughs> got hit three times in a row by that ability. <laughs> Just kill these people. I'm trying to like get a grasp on the story here. I'm having trouble. Looks like we've arrived in Sumeru. Uh is this is the dungeon, the, the Giga Machine. Sage, Nafis refused to join this project. I'll take part in the experiment in his place. Okay. Welcome. <gasps> it's the doctor. I look forward to a fruitful collaboration. <sighs> when do we start? You seem impatient. You should know that becoming a god is far from a trivial affair. The biological <laughs> transformation is a lengthy process. As such, I too would recommend that we commence as soon as possible. In the event that a successful connection is established, his body will become permanently bound to the machine. Permanently? He will be unable to move independently of it. I can't break his toy. Nothing worse than what I've been through before then, Doctor. You were the most resilient test subject I ever came across. Bro, what has this guy done to Thanks Scaramouge? To what the hell? was able to garner a great deal of information. Alas, what did the doctor do to him? You were under orders to remain in the abyss. We barely saw each other, and it became difficult to further refine the knowledge I had gained. That was gracefully worded. Ever wonder what they think if they knew that nothing matters to you apart from your crazy experiments? I suggest you speak to me in a more respectful <laughs> tone, Scaramouche. <laughs> Scaramouche. The mere fact of your utility does not make you indestructible. The doctor again? <sighs> that was uncomfortable. Scaramouche. That person gives off a very sinister energy. He's the doctor. He's behind all of this. It's normal for him to give you the creeps. He scares the bejeebers out of Paimon. This is the main character of Dead Rising. Not Dead Rising. Dead Space? He has like the, the weird health bar in his back. Let's move on. Crazy, crazy, uh, <laughs> crazy collab, dude. <coughs> You're a god. Do you think I'm evil? If you accept that he is you, just as you are you, then yes, <laughs> you are evil. Uh. Our eyes, are there any differences between humans and puppets? Do you think there are any differences between your present self and your previous and future incarnations? If not, then what are the differences between humans and puppets? Whoever has tasted the joys and sorrows of life in the human realm is human. Whoever has loved and lost, cried with grief, howled with rage at the tragedy of death that eclipses the miracle of life, 
They are human too. Trilia Skarmouche is just Pinocchio, dude. <laughs> His hat gets bigger every time he lies. That's why it's so big. My past. <laughs> Holy it's shit. Possible. I'd like to reclaim the sins that are mine to bear. My god, my no cat's going psycho mode back there. I won't run from blame or punishment. Whatever I am do, let it come to pass. Are you saying? Can you return my memories to me? Oh shit. Huh? But won't that mean you lose your current identity? They'll fuse, right? They'll I mix. I believe that human lives follow a set of rules. With each person being a collection of past experiences. True. As a puppet living in a human world, my life is subject to the same rules. Regaining your memories means reverting completely to your previous incarnation. All the emotions that you discarded will return to you. Are you sure you want to do this? I've lived with a void in my chest my whole life. My creator didn't need me. And ever since I awoke, I've just drifted from one place to the next. But then I met you. And I finally realized that reclaiming my missing sins might be my one opportunity to become my true self. Interesting. Getting my cat. Our person sins an inescapable part of their destiny too. I've always felt I have an innate tendency to yearn for something more in a way that goes deeper than for most people. But for all my soul searching as a Shugenja, I've never fully understood it. Looking at it now, it seems that I brought this curse upon myself. Interesting. So I beg you, grant me this opportunity to gain a purpose. To end my destiny. wandering. No, but you're the wanderer. <laughs> the wanderer can't stop wandering. Very well. What's your name? Since your mind is made up, I will return to you that which is yours. You have made your decision. Now, take this. <sighs> Set him free. A puppet? What's he doing here? <sighs> it's... You're a human as far as I'm concerned. Everyone's here. Wonderful. What a fine blade. Nagamasa will be thrilled. This is my... Is he all right? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it's like, bro. All worthless dross will be purged. That's why this won't be the end. Holy shit. Is this it? Holy shit. It's a vision. Die. <laughs> Hell yeah. Holy shit. I can fly! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. 
insignificant past. I don't remember how to fight this boss. Hold on. Stand back. <laughs> You know, I'd like this character if I had him at like C6 or something. You know what I mean? Well, I guess I'd like any character at C6. I'm dying! Fly! Am I supposed to charge attack as him? Like, what's the strat with, with Scar, right? Do I charge attack? He's pretty cool. He's got his cool personality bag. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to die. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I was about to lose, dude. Holy cow! Imbecile, get out of my sight! <clears throat> Disappeared. Did we win? What did you expect? I'd never lose to that. <laughs> okay, dude. Sorry, I'm harsh on myself and everyone else. Just the way I am. Past is in the past. <laughs> you sound like you're concerned about me. But don't worry. Thanks to you, even if I didn't change a thing, at least I now know the truth. The memory recovery seems to have been a success. This dream has served its purpose. Oh. Hey, I forgot we're in a dream. <laughs> I forgot that that's where we were. <laughs> Oh shit, it's gone. It was there for a second and then no more. Welcome back, traveler, Paimon, Balladeer. <sighs> it feels like we just went on a really long journey. Paimon's exhausted. <sighs> you don't like being addressed by that name? It's fine. But I was just thinking. <laughs> I should probably change it. You won't go by the Balladeer anymore? I'm about everything the doctor did. There's no <clears> way I can carry on using a name connected to him. I'm not planning on returning to the Fatui. And they wouldn't take me back anyway. Recent events will have affected a lot of people. And they might not even remember who the sixth is. Eh? So, you're quitting the Fatui for good? <clears throat> Let's call it a tactical retreat. It's like you said, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Everything may look futile, but it wasn't completely meaningless. At least I made a lot of people forget about me. But that doesn't mean your own past has disappeared. Of course. And your main goal, for which you gave up everything you had, you weren't able to achieve it. I hope you can see and understand that. Changing the world, changing the past, changing the fates of other people, these are not simple things to accomplish. What you are looking for is complete annihilation. But this is just a fantasy. Even if the Balladeer is removed from existence, the world will not heed your will. Indeed. <laughs> How ridiculous. Do you regret doing all that when you've gotten so little in return? Even if I'm completely worthless, there's nothing <laughs> in the world worth regretting. True. True, 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 true. Kusanali, you purposely left that information in Nermansol, didn't you? Yes, and I took pains to make sure that you'd acquire that information naturally. Wow. Why would you go to such lengths? You trying to win me over to <laughs> In all honesty, your past experiences have made you a useful asset to Samaru and to me. You just got used, when dude. Over, Holy shit. A part of my plan. But before that, <laughs> I wanted to tell you the truth about your past. If all I wanted to do was use you, then I'd be no different from the doctor. Very clever. 
I guess you could say that's one of my virtues. Utility to others <laughs> is what gives me worth. So if embracing my sins is what it takes to make me useful again, so be it. Ida doesn't see you in that way. I almost forgot. You're the good guys. <laughs> You're into justice and all that. Sorry if I have a slightly different perspective on things, but I don't feel like I've been duped. The wisest leaders are fated to end up with the best helpers. I <laughs> okay, that. dude. I'm glad you're able to think of it in that way. <laughs> Nikita's so supportive, dude. She's like, okay, you know, what are, that works. That's a good mindset. <laughs> Including the beginning of your twin's journey recorded in Ermansol. What exactly happened before and after that point? I want to know as well. Let's hope you can find some answers. Try. Traveler. Yes. After I dove into the information torrents in Ermansol, why did you go to Inazuma? I wanted to know what you'd changed. So that's how you found out whose fate had changed. And how. Well, whatever your reasons, you did me a favor. And I'll do everything I can to pay it back. <laughs> Please don't make it sound like I'm extorting you. Returning are the only real relationships between individuals. I'll balance the books one day. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. What a weird, edgy way to say, like, I'll pay you back, buddy. Thanks. That's not true. A relationship between two people is not simply a ledger that can be reset to zero. I think deep down you realize this. <laughs> people who show up in your life don't just evaporate like water drops and leave nothing behind. There is no such thing as balancing the books. Some things in this world can never be brought back. And they can never be changed. Which is why there is emotion in the human world. <clears throat> Everything that you feel is real and lasting. And whatever is missing in you will not be made whole. My cat. He's just taking the toy. Okay. <laughs> to be human is to live with imperfections. You can choose My cat's whether tired. or not you want to be human. Hmm. But humans can't live without a heart, can they? Anyway, I gave up trying to become a human. Okay, a long then you're just a ago. human without a heart. It's you cool. You understand what pain <laughs> is perfectly well, even without a heart. You're just bearing your feelings. The past nice is vision, dude. Stone, but you can keep moving on. And the longer your future lasts, the shorter your past will become. Until one day, it is but a tiny fraction of your life. It sounds like you've got a future planned out for me. I hope you can give Nahida a chance. Things ended up being pretty darn complicated. <laughs> Hyman doesn't even know where to start, but the most important thing now is that you need to follow Nahida. Otherwise, all our efforts will have been for nothing. <laughs> Bye, dude. <laughs> where, did he just leave? Oh, no, he's walking. A couple feet away. Then I guess I'll be helping you from behind the scenes from now on. Yay! <laughs> we have a new friend! I'm glad that you've accepted our proposal. Why don't you choose a new name to celebrate? <laughs> Alright, I've been excited for this. I don't I don't know. Why? Because because Paimon still doesn't <laughs> like you that much. <laughs> then I hope we don't see much of each other. In the future. A name is life's first gift. You didn't say it out loud, <coughs> but I know that's what you're thinking. <sighs> the Traveler and Paimon have helped you a lot. If you can't decide on a new name, maybe you can ask them You want us to decide? No, Paimon <laughs> only does nicknames. If it's a serious name you're after, it's all yours. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, have you got anything? I was uh, name change rules. You can obtain the item an appellative stroke from the Archon Quest Interlude in ver inversion of Genesis, which allows you to change Eon Adrift Wander Animo's name. Please take note that some names cannot be utilized in this change. Once you have renamed the character, some interfaces in the game will going forward will display the name that you've chosen. There's a limit on the number of times you can rename this character, so do so with care. <laughs> 
<laughs> Please ensure you're following our terms of service to create a healthy gaming environment. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm glad. I can't just name him like the N-word or something. Okay. Yeah, that's great. I'm good. I'm glad Genshin Impact, you're... <laughs> I can imagine some dude just like immediately like, tries the N word and gets banned from the game. Um, <laughs> we have to restrict your use of the game services so you do not follow the rules. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can change his name. This is so funny, dude. I this will like affects like literally this will affect the rest of the game. It's kind of crazy that they let you do this. Hold on. There, some, there's some of these. There's some dialogue options you can get in here, I think. Hold on. Bring me to the Fatui, dude. <laughs> so I think if you name him the doctor, I'm pretty sure you will get a response here. I If it names him permanently the doctor, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure. Ah, fuck. I don't want to fuck this up. I know there are like certain responses you get if you name him a certain way. Hold on. Oh here. Do Dotore. You can't be serious. <laughs> That's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> the guy who like lied to him and like tortured him. <laughs> You're like, oh, what do we name you, Dentori? <laughs> you can't be serious. <laughs> Let me give it some more thought. Oh shit. Okay. Sorry, dog. Uh, have you got any? Hey, why don't we try a? Uh, You're a mother who abandoned you. How about that? Is it a good name? Are you sure? No. <laughs> Let me give it some more thought. Okay. Uh, have you... Can I just name him Wanderer? Like it's wandering time. Can I name him Morbius? I could probably name him Morbius. I... I wonder what are some choice. I want to get all of them. List. List. Let's see if I can get a list somewhere. <clears throat> I want a list of all the responses he can get. I want to try all of them. Ah, fuck. Where do I, where would I find these? All names rejected by Wanderer. <clears throat> Can I get a list? Dara Mooch. I <laughs> I did not spell that right at all. Skara? I how am I sp this bad at spelling? Someone help. Skara Mushe. Huh. Have no need for these names anymore. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me give okay. it some more thought. Uh, have you got anything? Exactly. <laughs> this is actually funny as hell. Heart. Tartaglia. How about Tartaglia? Is this supposed to be your <laughs> attempt at a joke? No! You don't like that name? Let me okay. give it some thought. Uh, have... What about. Signora. You like that name? You can't be sick. 
Okay, I'm sorry, okay? I don't know what to name him. It's hard. Like, this is like a permanent effect. I feel like, what what would you name him? Like, as much as I want to name him, like, you know, do the, the Pokemon Fire Red thing where you name him, like, Asshat or something. I, I want him to have, like, a respectable name, you know what I mean? You know also when i was looking this up <laughs> there was like a website that was like here let me see if i can find it wander names <laughs> you know those websites where it's like oh what should i name my baby it was like a website like that Where was it like great names to give skaramage <laughs> i just kind of want to name him wander Can I just name him Wanderer? I'll just keep it as Wanderer. Uh, and like, you know, if I want to change it another time, we'll figure it out. It's wandering time, you know what I mean? You're the guy who wanders. Just be the Wanderer, dude. If, if I want to change your name, I'll change it, don't worry. Are you sure? Yeah, dude, whatever. I think this will do. <clears throat> oh, all right. If you say so. I like how he literally does not give a fuck what you name him. There. Now you have a name of your own. What about a nickname? Are you done yet? A nickname? Bongo uh, Head. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, some people named him Bongo Head. I've seen that. Take your time. I don't need to see you again until you've got one. What do you plan to do Everyone next? Everyone who manipulated me and made me suffer will have to pay the price. Out for vengeance for do 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 the the Fatui. The Fatui. At least. Now that your stance has changed, I believe your future path will change <clears throat> accordingly. But it won't be immediate. You still need some time to compose yourself. Hmm. Hmm. One more thing. There are still some descendants of the Raiden Gokudens <clears throat> living in Inazuma. Some of them know. Well, they ought to know about the connection between Raiden Gokuden and myself. I don't plan to leave Sumeru for the time being. If you see them in Inazuma, please tell them that I was the one responsible for the Raiden Gokuden's downfall. Even though the events have been erased from the world, they still deserve to know the truth. Anyone believe me, dude? I see. That is, huh? But if we do that, then it's fine. Let them stab their blades into my chest if they so desire. Maybe that's how it always should have been. Dot dot dot. What's that look for? Don't make that face. I know what I'm doing. That day will come. All right, we're done here. Guys, wise DVD. wonder. And you too. He's gone. I named him Aether. Like <laughs> or my new brother now. He'll need some time to calm down. Yeah, true. But even so, after everything that's happened, he doesn't seem quite <clears> fierce <throat> anymore. There's some bumps along the way, but it's all over so we now. Can finally go eat? Paimon is starving. Thank you both. I hope you will find somewhere nice to go and relax for a while. Yeah. That's cool. Like Skarmage. I mean, I'm sorry. Like Wander. Cool. I want to see some more of his like um. I've got oh. it. I can end my novel with some words from Mikoshi Nagamasa. You mean because everyone else in the story is dead? But yeah, <laughs> I heard that Mikoshi Nagamasa died at a ripe old age. He's the perfect fit to be the narrator of the epilogue. The dark clouds have dissipated. But they continue <coughs> to cast their shadow in Mikoshi Nagamasa's mind for decades to come. What the? Then, one night, as an old man, he had a dream. On the night when that prized blade, the Daitatara Nagamasa, was forged, the people rejoiced, and there was painting, dancing, and drinking. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just kidding. Of I... Melted down in the furnace fire and turned into red clouds that rallied around the final sunrise that Mikoshi Nagamasa saw in his lifetime. I'm gonna do like a Genshin lore stream one of these days. 
where I go on MS Paint and I MS Paint draw the entire storyline of Genshin Life Impact. Is a story too long to be told, a journey that you must walk to behold. <sighs> <sighs> These two dudes have just been sitting here talking about their stupid story the entire time. <laughs> it's like the sun is about to set. Return to the resting place. The resting place? Oh, in the bazaar, maybe? Or where? I don't know where this is. I'm going to go down just in case it is the bazaar. Then I could just like, I don't know, get in there real easy. There's a fishing spot over there fished in this game in a long time that's not really a reason to right unless you just want like better fish pets but like generally is like the point because like the only reason you ever fish in this game is to get that one item right the like super good spear for Raiden Shogun return to the resting place I'm gonna follow this path here I'm like actually lost right now. <laughs> Let's take out. Is this up or down? I can't tell. This doesn't look like it's in the bazaar. I'm gonna assume it's not. If it is, we'll figure it out. We'll get there eventually. I fucking fell in this crevice. Please get me out. Hello? Wanderer? Oh, it's my house. I forgot that I have a house here. House. It's a shack with its door open. As soon as you stop, all the tiredness and hunger comes rushing back. I'll buy some delicious treats as a reward, Paimon. Wow, great. Yeah. Look at the vase. What about it? Did someone break it while they were cleaning the room or something? Like, Paimon doesn't remember there being a cleaner. Paimon, you broke it. <laughs> Yeah, wait, this was the timeline. When did she break that? She break that the timeline before or after? Those are the before. He changed the world, so why is the vase still broken? You sound lost and confused. Who is this? Who's that? I know why you are troubled. Any who knew of this <clears throat> would find their mind overwhelmed. My cat's here. Or are you are you overwhelmed? Huh? Is there someone here talking to us? Unfortunately, the fate of Tavat cannot easily be changed. Perhaps a god may have a slim chance, but for anyone else. <clears throat> Who is this? Who can say, when a small animal runs into a tree trunk, though the tree may sway, it is not displaced. The same is true of fate. Tree may sway, it is not displaced. The same like is true as fate. That falls to the ground, whether it is broken by a cat or by a bird. The result is still a broken vase. Who is this? Is it not? I don't think I've ever heard his voice before. Who are you? How do you know about all this? History does not change easily, but human hearts. Why is this like an animal channel female like narrator? <laughs> Only that which you see <laughs> Shit. is true. What I've is been unseen just in a documentary this whole time. Illusion. Who is that? A harbinger? A god? And who the heck was that? And what were they doing coming out of nowhere and saying all that scary stuff? Last time a random voice talked to us, it was another nation's god. Does she mean I should trust my memories? Uh, anyway, that face is still lying there broken on the ground. Should Paimon go get someone to clean it up? It feels wrong just leaving it there. Just a moment. Paimon will be right back. Paimon, you're just gonna like for... <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. Paimon brushed the like random voice talking to us off really easily. Very quickly. Was that a... Uh, the... Uh... Hydro God? 
Hydro Archon, maybe? A brush in which you can make... Okay, yeah, I have an item so I can rename him if I need to. In case I don't want him to be Wander and I want him to be, like, Ponder or something. I don't know. It's pondering time. Here's this event. This is just Misty Dungeon. This is just... Literally, it's just like a fucking... I've done this shit before. I don't care about Goro. I really don't. Do I have anything else that I can do another spin yet? Yeah. yeah. Do another little bit of a gamble, huh? It's over. It's over. I have these two. I always forget about these. I don't know if I'm uh I don't know what my uh my history on this is. It's like dangerous to show on stream. I don't know. Probably not. Five, six, and eight. The fuck? <laughs> okay. Not very far, but no five star. Which means she'd be relatively close, right? Probably. I always get garbage from this, though. Like, you're never going to get anything good from here. Four star, I'll take it. That's some uh, masterless star glitter, which I can then put into the other banner. And look at all this, this gambling that's happening right now. Intertwined fate, give me that. Ba -ba -da. All right, Ito, I don't want you. No. How many pulls did I do today? Like 30? I'm pretty sure I stopped exactly Wait, did I? No, I tried to go for... I spent the rest on this, didn't I? No, look, this is recorded already. 40? Alright, I'm 35 in. I'm not gonna get... <laughs> I'm not getting a 5 star here. That's whatever, dude. I don't really care. I, I didn't really like this play style anyways. This is the good shit, baby. Fucking card game? Holy cow, dude. Genius Invocation, the card game. Monstats Alchemy Store? I'm kind of excited for this because a lot of people were saying it's like actually really fun. I think it's kind of weird to put a card game in a... I mean, I guess it's not weird. A lot of other games do that. Role-playing games, they'll put like mini games in it. But they're usually like mini games, right? So you think of something like a... Like sorcery, Steven Jackson sorcery. They have a, what's that? S S Swindle stones, like a little mini game you can play. I heard this is like a full on so, card game Sucrose, though. The package you mentioned that you received before, it's not dangerous, is it? You need to be careful when you're opening packages. I once had a friend mail me some research materials and all the bouncing around in transit caused a reaction. Yo, what the hell? Once I opened it, oh. It let out a stench that could wake the dead. If your package contains anything like that, then maybe you should check with Albedo first and see what he thinks. No, this package didn't contain any hazardous He's materials. a card player? He's a gamer, dude? Card gamer? The mayor. Oh, hey, oh. you two. Uh, I trust the talking about a strange package that Sucrose received recently. Strange? A strange package? Yes. I believe it's from a Sumeru scholar who came here to study in Mondstadt. It's most likely a oh. gift for collaborating on some research together. <laughs> Did fucking uh, sign up? Huh? Gift her a, from an academia a genius invocation oh, card baggage? Why would she that? want this, there Sino? There anything dangerous inside. Just a bunch of strange cards. I know, why would she I want this? I've with some similar looking cards before. So I came to ask him about what they might be. Uh, you've you've seen me with some cards? <laughs> yeah, why is he embarrassed? Those were the testing cards used for distinguishing <laughs> reagents. No, they didn't look like test cards. Here, have a look. For some reason, I'm on this card. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, what the heck? She is on this card. It's you, Sucrose. Oh, you meant these? Huh? Sucrose, have Strange. you really never seen these before? I didn't give permission to be on this card. 
Recently, I've been spending all my time up in the mountains working on cultivating pentatanic sweet flowers. Why? Is this an area of research that has started trending in the alchemical community during my absence? <laughs> you could definitely say that it's trending, but not as an area of research. It's a card game that's been getting really popular. They dropped like a mobile version of this card game where you could play online and you had to gotcha spin for the new cards. It's called that would be simultaneously horrible, but also great. Genius Invocation TCG! Genius what now? Genius Invocation TCG! Haven't you heard of it before? I vaguely heard Sino talk about it. It's a game that was invented by a scholar in the academia. People from all over are playing it now. Let's go! The game's been catching on lately. <coughs> Yae Publishing House and Inazuma has even published a series of light novels. looked at me after I coughed. He's looking at me like... Story <laughs> he's looking at me like, why did you do that? Like... It okay, starts dude. with a young guy in Sumeru who finds an ancient casket of tomes in the attic. He opens it and discovers that the soul of an ancient TCG player called the Crocodile, Crocodile King, King has been captured inside. It turns out that the Crocodile King was King My cat is sitting on the keyboard. <laughs> Viceroy, who battled an opponent named the Ibis King. After being unexpectedly released by the kid, the Crocodile King possesses him and helps him to gradually climb the ranks and become a legendary TCG player. Legendary. Oh, than legendary. Uh, Timaeus. Huh? What's wrong, Sucrose? Uh, if you're interested in how the story plays out, I can lend you the novels. No. I was just thinking <clears throat> about that time you requested an extension on your progress report deadline, citing <laughs> personal reasons for the delay. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, uh, I did go through a phase recently where I wasn't putting enough focus on my work, but it's under control now. That's what they all I say, buddy. To not even touch Genius Invocation TCG That's what they all say. I I, I can stop. Research. I can stop. What are you talking about? I can stop whenever I want. Yeah, buddy. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. Oh? Why is that? Well, since it's a gift from a researcher I've collaborated with, I thought that I should at least try to learn the rules. That way, I could say that I at least tried to appreciate his gift. Oh, Just right. give it to us. And since it's a game from Sumeru, who knows? Playing it might even make you smarter. If you want to play it, then just say it. Then you desperately need to play this game. <laughs> just wait until Paimon plays it enough to become smarter than you. Then you'll be sorry. <laughs> my cat is attacking things at my desk. He really hates this, like, weird, gross, egg, like, disgusting, horrible creature that's, like, spews spit. He really hates this thing. You know what for? I hate this thing, too. This thing's disgusting. <laughs> Stop! Don't! You're gonna spew it all over four. Although, it seems like we can't learn how to play it anytime soon, because Kameas has given up for a while. Stop! Don't make it puke all over my keyboard. It's gonna be gross. I wanted to puke on my keyboard. I'm not gonna be able to get it out. <laughs> well, research is my priority. That thing's so fucking gross, dude. It just like pukes snot out. But if you'd and then like you could suck it back up its mouth. Disgusting. Then I'd I'm throwing that away. You go to the, cat's <laughs> the cat's tail? Yep, that's the place. It's where everyone in the community goes to play when they have time. They gather there, trade cards, and they're very welcoming to new players. Trying to learn the rules can be intimidating at first, but it's a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. All right, Timaeus. Traveler, let's go. Paimon, let's go to the cat's tail and try asking around. To be honest, hearing Timaeus talking about the game has also piqued my curiosity. Are there like gimmick well, decks in this? I hope so. I say this all the time, but when I used to play Hearthstone, I loved doing gimmick shit. So like fucking... Um, what's that? Mage's Apprentice or something? It reduced, like, spell cost by one. And so the idea was to duplicate that card as many times while surviving. So you have a lot of AoE effects to make sure that you don't die too quickly. And then you have to draw Archmage... What the fuck was his name? <laughs> Hearthstone. Archmage... Archmage Antonidas, right? So his ability, every time you cast a spell, he gives you a fireball. 
So the idea is to get four apprentices out on the board. Fireball costs four, so it's each reduced by one. So then now your fireballs cost zero. You draw a fireball, you aim the fireball at your opponent's face. Archmage Antonidas would spawn a fireball, which then you could spam in your opponent's face. And then you just repeat that process until you insta-kill them. It was beautiful. It's so beautiful. That's my type of card game, dude. You just do some like crazy, ridiculous gimmick shit. <coughs> I used to play a Patreon deck when that was big. Where you'd basically run like the, the Berserker character and then fucking mass deal one damage to your entire side of your board. So then you summon like 16 Patreons and then your dude, because every time an opponent or your, your friendly takes damage, he gains like three attack or something. And so you'd have like a, a 38 dude who has charge because there's a character that gives charge to all of your, your minions on your side of the board. And so all your Patreons are just fucking up their minions. And then it's, it's crazy, dude. It's crazy. Sad those days are over. Our stone hasn't been the same. Ah, it's the Traveler and Paimon. What a nice surprise. Hello. Oh, and Sucrose the Is Dion Alchemist. here? This it's cat has a hat. Hasn't it? Hat on a cat with a bow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I've already told you before. Fur from the cat's tail staff is not for sale. No matter how much more you offer. Yo, what the hell, Sucrose? You've tried to buy fur off the cats? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Fur? Research project I told you about last time. Sucrose? Ah, you have some explaining to do? What kind of experiment were you trying to do with the cat's tail? Uh, oh, I just wanted to test out materials? some materials. And I needed some materials. But uh, we can talk about that later. Sucrose, are you kind of crazy? What the hell? Are you trying to steal one of the cats? Margaret, we're here to learn more about Genius and Vacation TCG. A genius invocation TCG. We were just talking about that game. I'm playing drums on my cat. I don't know if he likes it or not. He's not moving, so I assume he likes it. You see, more and more people have been gathering at the cat's tail to play. So I thought, why not have a dedicated staff to serve the new customers? Mm. <coughs> Speaking of which, I believe you've already met. Okay. Yeah. You know, Prince, this is the cat's tail after all. So I Prince? thought having a cat take care of our new customers would be quite a nice touch. Oh, it's a cat. Meow. Oh, <laughs> hello, uh, Prince. Allow me to interpret. <laughs> Prince says that the word customer is much too loose of a term, and we should instead refer to anyone who loves dueling with cards as TCG, TCG players. players. <laughs> My oh, I can't believe the cat well, said all that. I haven't introduced you yet. This is Prince and Shuyin. They will be in charge of taking care of our TCG players. Ah, I'm afraid I must correct you there, ma'am. Only Prince, the strongest and most <laughs> formidable TCG player of Prince all is the best TCG player? Oh my god. ...to our new players. The average player is incapable of grasping the subtlety and sheer genius behind Prince's every play. And he has no choice but to rely on me to communicate, communicate with everyone. everyone. I am merely <laughs> Prince's lowly assistant. Something's That's wrong with this guy, dude. This guy has problems. Another guy who can understand animals! How can you use such a crude word as animal to describe <laughs> the one and only Prince? Oh my god. He is special and the only one of his kind. Such a remark is an insult to Prince. Or are you good at Genius Invocation TCG? Oh, what's that? Shu Yen. In the eyes of the common folk, I look no different than any other ordinary cat. It's a natural mistake to make, and you shouldn't overreact. Ah, wow. understood. I do this guy's crazy, dude. <laughs> Seems he really is capable. I think he's just making that cats. shit up, Sucrose. Could this be the result of some modification to the language center of his brain? Oh, Sucrose, he's making it all up. Seriously, how can he get all of that from a simple meow? That's pretty weird. It was the duels of genius invocation TCG that allowed our hearts? How does a cat play TCG? It's understandable that it grab it with its mouth. Such as yourselves are unable to comprehend such a thing. How he plays. So, playing Genius Invocation TCG fosters some sort of a telepathic link between players? <laughs> hmm. 
I think you're taking this too literally, Secrets. Uh -huh. Anyway, if you'd like to know anything about Genius Invocation TCG, then please ask Shuyan. Uh, who will ask Prince? Though I'd love to explain more myself. It's time for my daily. <coughs> I'll let Prince play a Dang. game with you and walk you through all the rules. Okay. Just as a seasoned warrior can foresee the path of his opponent's sword, so too can I, as a TCG master, predict my opponent's every play. <laughs> It would be improper to pit a newcomer to the art of the card against one such as my Why is this official, but like the other way around? Therefore, politely decline. Instead of the animal translating, the human is translating. And instead of the animal translating it to be... Or instead of the translator making it simpler, he's just like going crazy. <laughs> That's what Prince said. Oh, Prince doesn't want to play with us, huh? Oh, yeah, 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 I see. I'm sorry, but from the day I met the mighty card master prince, I swore an oath <laughs> that my hands would live solely to hold the cards and not to play them. I will never play another match of my own again. That is actually insane. <laughs> what a backstory. If this is unwilling to play, then I guess we should look for an alternative. <gasps> Diona! Hmm. How about this? Diona! Diona. It's Diona. Stop. Yeah, You'll work with the blah, fuck? Blah. I'm pretty busy over here, you know? She's just in the corner there the whole time? Huh. <laughs> Why is it that every player that sets foot in here to play Genius Invocation TCG has to have a drink? Ugh. Don't they have any clue that the key to playing a game is the ability to think straight? Actually, Diona, I don't know if you know this, okay? Maybe you should do some research. But uh, drinking alcohol increases your cognitive ability slightly, and then it, <laughs> it hard dips. Okay, it's just like after... A certain percentage it hard dips, but it does increase it slightly. Seriously. I think Game I remember seeing something about that, don't right? Don't they get that? Is that true? Yeah. I think that's true. What can I say? As the tavern owner, I can't help but feel happy to hear this. Anyway, I see you've been working hard, so I thought you could use a break. So why not come over here and teach Let's go. customers the rules of genius invocation? <laughs> yeah. What, what kind of break, break is that? that? True. I'd rather not. Huh. Hey worker, I heard you have a you, I heard you need a break. Instead of like giving you 30 minutes to go like eat and <laughs> enjoy your life. Why don't you do some work for me, yeah? Why are we letting all not a break? loafers come in here to play Genius Invocation TCG anyway? All it does is encourage more people to come to the bar for a drink. Yo, you're probably making tons of money though, Diona, honestly. Pretty soon, Mondstadt's alcohol industry is going to reach new heights. <sighs> Looks like my first step in destroying Mondstadt's alcohol <laughs> industry should be stamping out the spread of Genius Invocation TCG. My dear, you are quite mistaken. You said it yourself. A clear mind is necessary to win. Soon, their thirst for victory mm. will overcome their thirst for alcohol. Holy shit, dude, this cat's so Prince fucking smart. The truth, Diona. Not only is the spread of genius invocation TCG no obstacle to you <coughs> destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry, it could even support you in this endeavor. Could, could it really? Sure, why not? Alrighty then. <laughs> why not? Customers are this girl's had enough of this shit, yeah. dude. Let's put you on drink mixing duty for now. But Shu Yan is destined for a far greater. The cat did not say that. Shu <laughs> Yan. Oh, okay. Ooh, all right. We'll need some space to learn. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to that. What's happening over there? there? You see that shit? What's over there? There's like a Pokemon behind there or something. Something's moving over there. It is a Pokemon. Well, it's a cat. <laughs> He's hidden back here. How cute. <gasps> Atra. I like the music in here, it's nice. I feel relaxed, at peace. Go turn that shit up, dog. <laughs> okay, mm. let's go through the rules. First things first. You'll be needing your deck, so place that on the table. Uh, okay. Deck? A deck. Uh, yes. All hands on deck. Cards that meets the bare minimum requirement to play the game. 
Uh, what's <laughs> up, blank stairs? Come on. Don't tell me you came to learn Genius Invocation TCG without bringing any cards. Don't we have some cards? Yes, yeah, Sucrose has cards. That's right. We have some cards that I received from a friend. Uh, yeah. You're gonna need a few more cards than that. Not enough. Uh, okay, let me think. Hmm. Two character cards to switch oh, between. Oh, that reminds me. A few days ago when I was closing up for the night, I noticed a customer had left a couple of character <laughs> Wait, cards what the hell? before a counter. You just stole them? <laughs> Maybe you could use those for now. Are you sure that's okay? Eh, it's already been a few days and he still hasn't come back to claim them. Who knows? Maybe he left them here on purpose. Oh, okay, yeah, I got them here with me. Y you know, just in case the customer came looking for them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not because I like to play the game or anything. <laughs> All right, so now we have two characters. <coughs> That's everything we need, right? Yep. So, are you ready to start? I'm ready. I'm so excited, dude. I love card games. And like a card game with Genshin characters sounds awesome. Holy shit, it's Kaya and, and Dyla, or Dyluk. Yeah. What a that a hill troll, dude? This is a game where you control characters. My four is attacking the monitor. My, my four? My cat named four is attacking the monitor. <laughs> my four. <laughs> or don't stick your tail in my coffee. Stop. Get off the screen. I'm trying to play a card game for. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell. My mouse is going over him. I predicted that he would lie down, so I, I brought my mouse hot upward, and now he, the mouse can move it now, basically. Once you've defeated all of your opponent's character cards, victory shall be Yo, can I run a Hillatrail squad? That'd be sick. I'd love to have a Hillatrail team. Now then, you're gonna need a character on the field to start with. I hope I get to, like, have a Hillatrail, like, tribe deck or something. Select Dialog as your first active character. He has abilities? Normal attack deals two physical damage. Deals three pyro damage for the third use of the skill each round. Oh, for the third use of this skill each round deals an extra two damage. Well, if I use this three times, it's like his ability. His, uh... It's like his, uh... What, what, do, you, what, 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 what do you call it? Just like how his character works. It costs what two? No, it costs three, three pyro thingies. This is burst. I imagine this is like burst energy, and this is like pyro thingies. Deal eight pyro damage. This character gains pyro infusion. It lasts two rounds, and they deal pyro damage every time they do physical damage, which means this would deal two physical damage, or two. It'll deal two uh, pyro damage. Right. Cool. I imagine there are like, there's stuff Let's with the elements. Swiftly. Let's finish this swiftly. My cat is taking up all the space on the deck. Or not the deck, the fucking desk. Bro, I love you, but you're in the way. I'm just gonna use you as the mouse pad. How do you feel about that? I'm currently using my cat as a mouse pad. Get a bird's eye view of the cat as I play the game. <laughs> Versal roll eight elemental dice. He like does not care that I'm doing this. These dice correspond to elemental energy. We'll be spending. It doesn't work very well. I'll be real with you. Okay. Confirm your roll results. Or it's very hard to use you. The mouse pad. Oh my god, he's going crazy. You'll enter the action phase. Where the, the action phase starts. Okay. During the action phase, you can spend elemental dice to perform various actions. He likes that I'm like petting him right now, but like with the mouse, he's like kind of into it. Of course, the most common action is to use character skill. Character skills, okay. Look, Dialect's elemental skill. Bam. So it's gonna use three of these, right? Will cost three pyro dice. After selecting a skill, you will receive, or you will select the elemental dice that must be spent. I'm going to deal three damage to this dude. Okay. 
Ugh. How did I look? Huh. Not bad. You just made your first attack. Nice. During the action phase, both sides will take turns making their moves. Okay. After you use a skill to attack your opponent, it's their turn to attack. Okay. Jump and hit. Oh my god, die like you're dying. And as you can see, once the enemy finishes their move... So one character can move per again. turn? Well, I have Dialog selected though. So I'm only using Dialog. Back using your elemental skill again. This is such a waste. We have two Omni dice among our rolls. Oh, dice. they could be used for be anything. Any move regardless of the elemental type. Okay. So we're gonna use them to pay for the pyro dice needed for this skill. <laughs> Cat's on, looking at me. He's like try. expecting. I have to like adjust this so I can show my cat. Is this cam doesn't work very well? I can't do the like cat mouse pad cam. It's hard. I need him to like be more forward. Whatever. You just get to look at this. <laughs> All right. Why would I use this again? Why would I not just normal attack? Do I not have? I don't have enough to normal attack, I see. I have to use the skill. <laughs> that was pretty good. That's one opponent down for the count. <laughs> so you can choose a character? Has only just begun. All opponents. Okay, okay, okay. Opponent's turn. Oh my god, I look. My turn again? As much as we'd like to attack again. Run out of usable dice. Like we run out of usable dice. <sighs> and after you end round, you won't be able to do anything else this round. I have to pass? After everyone chooses end round, we can move on to the next round. End round. I'm ending my round. Your opponent's turn. Declares the end of their round. Oh, so then we roll new dice, right? Oh, <coughs> oh my cat decided he didn't want to be a mouse pad round. anymore. Hi. 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 Fresh new round. Here we go. Fresh new round means time to roll okay. Again. That's what happens if I just roll all electro? Do I just like say fuck it? <laughs> like I lose? Ooh, that's some terrible luck. Huh? That's no some pretty terrible luck. You look skill now. But don't worry. Situations like these are right oh. the option to re-roll. Re Let's go around. You can select all the dice that you don't like and mm. re-roll them. Okay. That's cool. Get rid of this, 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 this. Uh, get me out of here. That <laughs> wasn't that much better. Okay, I guess we have two Omni dice now. When the action phase begins, the player who first <coughs> ends the end round in the previous round takes their turn first. So the first person who ends round takes turn first. That means me. Finished first the last round. You'll be the first okay. to start this round. It's interesting because like you could save or something, right? And like go for like a, a like your opponent could pass and you could still be able to do something. Alrighty then. Let's learn a little and then that forces them to pass again. No, I guess you don't really have control over that. It's just random. Each time you use a skill, your character will gain one energy. Okay. Last round we've used two skills, which means we have two energy. Why would we normal attack? I don't want a normal attack. Normal attack only needs one pyro dice oh, and two and die of any other? Type. That's pretty good, actually. In any case, your I could use these, uh... Fewer pyro dice than your elemental skill. Yeah, I can use these hydro die. That's pretty cool. Two damage. Okay. Ow. Dude, that looks about to get owned here. Now we have three energy plus. We have enough pyro elemental dice left over. It's time to use your pyro <coughs> elemental burst. Uh. 
Yes, let's go. It's kind of overkill. I'm gonna deal eight damage. Burn. I defeated Diona. Wow. That was the basics. I wonder how complicated this gets. In an actual game of Genius Invocation TCG, you need to use multiple character cards to form a party. Okay. Next up, it's time for your Hiya. character card. Kaya. Do I roll only one set of dice for everybody though? Like any move by Kai is gonna cost quite a lot of cryo dice. Okay, so we should re-roll. <coughs> Think about like rolling a lot of like cryo and pyros. Well, I guess no. I could just use the pyro die. There's also omni dies. Select Kaya's elemental skill. Frost Gnaw. What do his skills do? This is same thing as uh, die looks, but with cryo. Three cryo damage. Three pyro damage. This one is just better. Because <laughs> this one deals an extra two damage after the third time. Um, yeah, this is just three damage cryo. Deals one damage cryo, creates an icicle. After you switch characters, deal two cryo damage. Oh. If I switch to Dialuck, it's going to deal two damage to the enemy? We'll find out, I guess. When you deal cryo damage, you'll cause your target to be, be affected, affected by, by cryo. cryo. And then I could come in with Dialuck and use like a sicko pyro move and do a melt. How does the stacking of the good. elemental skills work? Now or or elemental cryo. reactions? This is a good time to learn about elemental reactions. Different types of elemental damage affect enemies with different elements. When a character is affected by certain yeah, yeah, yeah. elemental reaction, will be triggered. Yes, yeah, so it's just moment, Genshin Impact, your yeah. Your opponent is affected by cryo, so we should try. Oh, that reminds me. Both sides must have one active character, while others are considered standby characters. One active, one standby. Be in a forward position. We can only use the active character skills now. If we want to use the <coughs> skills of our standby character. We'll have to switch them to the active character. In this case, we'll have to... Okay, so I could just switch to die look. It costs to die. You can spend one elemental die of any kind to switch a standby character to the active character. Interesting. So I can pick which die I want. <laughs> okay. Let's finish this swiftly. Let's finish this swiftly. Switching characters is an action just like... God, I'm going to love this game. So once it's done... It's your opponent's turn. <coughs> it's just going to be Marble Snap, dude. Fuck Marble, Marble Snap for see, mobile game of the year. All right, then. Now that D Luke is our active character, it's time to use his skill. Let's go. Because the opponent is already affected by cryo, dealing pyro damage triggers the melt elemental reaction. Melt does plus two damage. When triggered, melt increases damage dealt by two. Interesting. This will allow you to deal loads of damage in one go. <laughs> Genius Invocation's elemental reaction system is pretty cool, huh? Pretty sick, dude. Pretty sick. I hope you get to play this online. If not now, maybe later. It would be awesome, dude. Next battle. Getting more and more advanced. All right. <laughs> Next up, let's learn how to use card types yes. other than characters. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that Paimon, dude? Holy These shit. cards are all known as action cards. Now we're getting to the juice, baby. I can tell this is going to be great, dude. Have to draw five action cards, to form five action cards that help my... my uh, my active cards, my active character cards. Okay, so I can have character, I see. I see, this is cool, this is awesome actually. The fuck? Get this shit out of here, uh -oh. dude. Looks like we don't have any elemental dice we can spend to make an attack. Get them all out of here, dude. Get this shit out of here. <laughs> oh God, no. <coughs> 
We're losing. Seriously? We still don't have any usable dice even after that reroll? Dude, I want a Hillatrol deck right now. Look at this guy. Look at this guy's so cool. Well, huh, got his torch. Never mind. Even in cases like this, we can still attack. We just need to put the action cards in our hand to good use. Don't underestimate action cards. They can grab Okay. Oh. Expand hand. Oh, because it's just like Hearthstone, dude. Great. White iron greatsword. This action card will require two of these. Two elemental dice. Yeah. That means you'll need to play elemental dice of the same type. Okay. Two elemental dice of the same type. It could be any dice. Character deals one damage. Only Claymore characters can equip this. They can equip... A character can equip a maximum of one weapon. So you get to equip a weapon onto a character. And it allows them to deal two die, two, two damage. No, one damage. It's an equipment card. So I put this on a character. So does it cost two dice to put it on the character? Or does it cost two die to attack using this sword? What is that? The cost requirements for these are much more lenient. You can spend any kind of elemental dice. Interesting, interesting, interesting. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, though. For Let's play it. Play it! Okay, so I have to pay two. I have to pay two to equip it. It's so now equipped on Dialog. action card from your hand is a form of fast action. Fast actions do not end your current turn. Okay. It's a fast action. Simply put, you could continue to act even after playing an action card. So you could play as many okay. cards as you want in a single turn. You have your brain. <coughs> Time to test it out. But wait. D Loop's elemental skill costs three pyro dice. And right now, we don't even have one. True. Not a problem. This is where we can use a more advanced mechanic known as elemental, elemental tuning. By discarding one card from your hand, you can convert one elemental die into the element of your current active oh. character. And this card isn't useful right now. So we might as well use it for elf. Magic guide? Deals one damage. Only catalyst characters can equip this. Yeah, turn turn this shit into it. I drag it over here. Elemental tuning. Sometimes you won't be mm. able to perform any actions you want to because you didn't roll the elemental dice you wanted. Oh well. Okay. Ingenious invocation TCG. Keeping up a constant flow of combat is much more important <coughs> than the number of cards you have. Imagine. In this case, well, about murdering. Like I can just kill this guy. Take all these useless cards and use them for elemental tuning. <laughs> oh no, Paimon. Just like playing cards from your hand. Elemental tuning is a fast action. Okay. Come on, hurry up. Use the Bye, Paimon. Oh, wait, that was not Paimon. White tassel. Goodbye, white tassel. <laughs> Paimon. Oh no, I still have Paimon. Convert the elemental dice spent to Omni element times two it's an event card if i wait if i spend holy shit wait if i spend the three pyro die wait i don't know what this means she'll probably tell me i can use my skill you have the white iron great sword equipped searing onslaught will deal one oh my god damage. that's crazy yo That's crazy, dude. Next battle. Chicken. The final part. <coughs> oh, yeah. Is that lost in your heart, dude? You can make adjustments to your initial hand. At this time, we can select any number of cards in our hand to shuffle back into the draw pile, and then draw the same number of new cards. Wow. But... Like Sweet Madame in Favonius Cathedral. This heals a character for one HP. Character can eat one food per round, so you can't just like stack foods in your deck. <laughs> just like heal your character over and over again. And then this is Favoni's Cathedral. End phase. Heal your active character by two HP. Yo, that's crazy. That's an end turn heal too. Oh, but you can only use it twice. It's a support card. You just put that on your dude. And for two turns, they'll heal. 
I guess to counter that, you could just not attack that character, right? Because then you don't give him the chance to heal. Oh, but it's active character. It's the only character you can attack. Once you have confirmed any adjustments you wish to make to your starting hand, both players have to select their starting active character at the same time. Oh, this dude's got like a huge bro. Oh boy, this one's a real doozy. We gotta take it out pronto. Let's see how you do this time. Remember. All right, let's do Dilok. Give me Dilok. He's a Claymore character, right? Let's finish this swiftly. Am I playing by myself now? Holy shit. All right, reroll all this garbage. Maybe I can keep that just because, uh, just because I have, I have, uh, Kaya, right? Okay, not very good, but we have one Omni dice. At least we can attack once, right? Your turn. Hey, look at you. You sure are getting the hang of these rolls. Now let me teach you one last trick. You can preview your opponent's actions. I mean, that is to say, you can read their intent. Okay. Check your opponent's Check intent. So here's for He's you gonna to punch me. Oh my god. Round. All your opponent's intended actions for the round will be listed here in order. So you can only attack active character. So if I know he's gonna attack me, could I just like switch to Kaya and have Kaya tank the hit? This to come up with it costs one die to do that, right? Seems worth it. Well then, that's the so then you can switch and then like use an ability on a different character. This is cool. All right, so he's gonna punch me next turn for two damage. Let's look at our hand. What do we got? This is a sword. I could equip this on Kaya. Um. Maybe, 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 okay, you know, maybe we should set, set up our characters first, right? This is going to cost two. Can I equip this onto, uh, Aya? Okay. Okay, okay. And can I equip this onto Dialog? It's going to cost, honestly, might as well just use the Omni, the Omni thing. What does this do? When a character uses a skill or equips a talent, spend one less pyro die once per round. <coughs> so this is, an, this is an artifact. So if I equip this onto Dialuck, well, it's going to cost two. I can't, well, I could equip it technically, but then like, what would I, I'd only be able to punch. It's going to make... One less pyro die. I wouldn't even be able to use this. I don't know what this does. Oh, I see what this does. Okay, I see. <laughs> so if I use this... It'll turn these two into Omni die, right? Play card. Ooh, so now I can use Dilux, uh Pyro skill. I'd like to use this so that I could use. Yeah, I think I, wait, no, I can't. I'd have to sacrifice the two Omni die to do this, right? Cause this means I need two of the same, right? Right? <laughs> so I just have to punch him for four damage. <coughs> I did so much this turn, but I have like no die left. <laughs> I'm just going to get punched like three times in a row. I guess I could sacrifice my cards, huh? There's not really a point though, because this is going to cost two random die plus a pyro one and to switch to him i'd have to sacrifice a die which gets rid of my cryo die <laughs> which is like something i need i just wait i just have to tank the punch i'm sorry 
he's gonna have die left like there's no way he doesn't have die left right oh no they declared the end of their round so how do i wait, 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 wait. interesting <laughs> there's one more thing i almost forgot every time you hit okay i draw two cards you get to draw two remember you have to make use of both your elemental dice and your action cards to win okay okay got it hi four my cat's here again Okay, get this out, get this out, get this out, get this out. Get all this out of here. <coughs> A little better. Not like crazy better. We have two pyro die. I would like to, in all honesty, take this, give it to you, and let's sacrifice... Um, yeah, just sacrifice these Geo, Geo ones. I don't really need these. What does this do? Um, oh, this is the same thing, but for Kaya. Okay, this one, okay, this one means it costs any die. It doesn't matter which die it is. Dude, this, this Paimon ability is so strong. Then we can turn these two into... Omni dies, then we could have Dyla come here. Two, two. He's gonna hit him. Ah! He's gonna punch me. Guess what, motherfucker? You're dead next turn. Look at this. You ready? That was crazy. This is interesting. It's like doing the game Genshin Impact, but in card format in really like incremental turns. It's a tightly paced, heart stopping tabletop card dueling game. You lose your decks by constructing them around character and action cards. Go toe to toe with various opponents at the table. Okay. Dude, I love this type of music. You can declare the round's end. All right, cool. The what we just played was an adventure challenge designed specially <coughs> for players. Genius Invocation TCG can be played in dual mode, where each player <gasps> brings three, three characters. characters? Adventure challenge mode, but the rules are all the same. As long as you understand the basics, then you should be able to take on any of those rowdy booze hounds. Although I feel there are still many details to grasp, I think I understand the basic premise of the game now. This is the game that Sino likes so much. That was quite the detailed explanation. I didn't know the cat's tail. That look, why are you here? That look, I just used you as a card. You know that? Skill set. <laughs> I stepped in while you were in the middle of your explanation. <coughs> didn't dampen the mood. No, not at all. Ah, when did you get here? Slow reactions. Wait, are you copying me? <laughs> Shut up. That's rude. Anyway, what are you doing here? The cat's tail is a player in Mondstadt's alcohol industry. Naturally, you have some collaboration with my winery. I mean, I'm like gonna blow my nose, dude. I'm like dying. Hold on. I'm gone. I'm now in the process of grabbing tissue. Tissue is being folded. Approaching my nose. It is currently on my nose right now. I'm going to a mute. Yeah, that's exactly why I muted. You don't have to listen to me going. <laughs> I'm here today to discuss a few items of business with Margaret. Hmm, too bad she just left. But if you head off right now, you might still catch up with her. Never mind. It's nothing urgent. In fact, I think I'm now more interested in this card that you're using to teach <laughs> them the game. Why is it me? Wait. 
Discord? It feels character <laughs> No one noticed this? What the hell? Although I have some degree of experience with genius invocation TCG, seeing this part I am I on here. First for me. Uh, a customer left it behind a few days ago, but he wasn't even playing the game while he was here. Oh? And what sort of a customer was he? Uh, he wasn't wearing an eye patch, okay? <laughs> he had a light complexion and a super serious look on his face. He wasn't much of a talker and looked like he was just drinking his worries away. You never seen him around here before. Hmm. Eye patch. That's Kaya. <laughs> Trying to give the opposite description, but I just ended up giving it away. Sorry, Gart Customs. Don't worry. Somehow, I don't think he'll be giving you any trouble over it. So, what about the Zilu's character card? I don't mind. It's just a card with my image on. Is that kind of weird? I didn't expect Zilu to be familiar with Genius Invocation. TV. There's a card of Paimon on it. Paimon, that means you're famous. Been catching on lately. It's hard to go anywhere without hearing. <gasps> I challenge you to a duel. I was hoping we could play a game. This <clears throat> issue of someone leaving a character card with my image of the cat's tail is very intriguing. It's getting late, and someone has some explaining to do. Yo, Wolf, do we'll another another time dialogue. Duel another time. Good. Then I'll take my leave. I'm going for another blow. Okay, you. My cat cares that I'm sick, I think. Or he just wants attention. Don't sniff the tissues, you weirdo. Get away. Hello, I'm back. <coughs> He's sitting on the fucking table again. Sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, come here. Come here. Like deep sniffing where he sat. What the hell? Or what the hell did you smell? That's weird. <laughs> All right, bye, dialogue. Sorry, I'm like moving to the you side because I can't see my door. cats in the way. Don't let the door hit you where Lord Barbado split you. Uh oh, guard captain. I hope Kaya will be all right. Well, now that we are familiar with the rules, <gasps> why don't oh, me versus Sucrose? Vacation TCG. Yeah. Two new players have a <coughs> ever duel. <laughs> this sounds like fun. But in order to play an official duel, you need to have three, three. characters. Remember, a complete deck has to have three characters. Can I have myself? Thirty action cards. Got it? Thirty. Then let's use my cards. These were mixed in with all the others I had received, and I didn't know what they were for at first. But now that we've learned the Sucrose rules, character card. I can see that this one must be the Sucrose character card. Now you can see that? Now, it looks like we each have the Kaya, Diluc, and Sucrose character cards. <gasps> so why don't we have our first duel? You say so. Right. Let's, Let's go. Oh my god, mirror match. Mona, dude? Holy cow. Event card. Your current active characters gain one energy. That's pretty cool. Cost two die. Leave it to me. The next time you perform switch character, the switch will be considered a fast action instead of a combat action. Oh, so switching a character costs. That's actually really good. That's free. Uh, This just draws two cards. That's cool. I don't think I have anyone with Geodai, so... Dude, my cat's just like all up in this place. Get rid of this because I don't really need this. Mask of Solitude. Basalt. I also don't have a character with buzz, so. Um. Yeah, there's no point in this this one existing here. Unlike the adventure challenge you tried previously, duels are true tests of strength between two players. 
a duel, your opponent can also use action cards, and they'll also be able to grab new cards during an end phase. Okay. At the same time, your opponent must also spend elemental dice to take actions, so you'll be unable to view their intent. Mm, okay. <laughs> Are you ready? It's time for some exhilarating fights to the bitter end. I want to see Sucrose. Hold on, let me see what she does. Deals one anima damage. That costs so much. Reacts with elements if they are already applied. Deals one electro damage to all opposing characters except the target. That's if you combo it with electro. That's cool. All opposing characters except the target. Wait, what? Oh, so swirl deals like spread damage basically. So you would deal one damage and then deal one damage across. So you do like a, a swipe basically. <clears throat> do one hydro damage to all characters except the target. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Um, deals three anima damage. The target is forcibly switched to the previous character. That's interesting. You basically force them to run a different character. Fucks with their plans, basically. And then, forbidden creation, Ice Hunter 73, type 2. Um, large wind spirit. End phase, deal two damage, usage three times. So you deal one damage and then summon a spirit on them, which deals two damage end of turn. Okay. That's really good. That's actually so good. I don't think you want to start with her though. You want to get some like, uh, like reactions going, right? Let's just start with Dialuck. He seems the most favored. I have an event card. Just one artifact. Do one of your characters to another one. In one energy. Electro die. I don't that's useless to us, but whatever. I'm gonna select Dialuck. Let's finish this swiftly. Roll phase. Sucrose decide to start with Sucrose. What a rookie mistake. Holy cow, give me that. This is really good. We have an Omni die? Holy shit. Dude, I can like straight up. Let's see if we can set anything up. We don't really want the energy. I could draw cards, the electrode thing. This is useless. Well, I don't know if I want to get rid of that yet. This is really good. Um, <clears throat> I think for now you just want to hit him, right? Like you just want to, yeah, so I can only hit active character. If I hit Sucrose here, and the real key would be to hit Dialuck, but unfortunately Sucrose is the active character right now. I think we just fucking smash Sucrose in the face. <laughs> He's now afflicted by Pyro. Next turn. Oh my god, he's equipping a weapon. Dialuk, please don't hurt Dialuk. The three damage? Holy shit. Yo, just switch to Sucrose? <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. <laughs> Thanks. I can't use this. Insufficient energy. Oh yeah, I need energy. Forgot. Artifact, one energy. It's gonna cost a gem. I actually don't mind using this though. Well, maybe I do. <coughs> Straight up, just deal three damage. Oh, it does it to everybody. To all opposing characters. I thought that meant like, like uh, it does it to everybody. I thought position mattered. That's cool, okay. And then this will switch it to Kaya? Holy shit. <coughs> Sorry, I'm dying, but like, I'm so excited that I'm dying. He ended his round? Fatafoon. <laughs> I think it's set up for anything. We got Swirl on these guys now. Oh my god, dude. If I get rid of a... If I get rid of a card here, this one, 
Turn it into an animal one? Oh, it turns a die into an animal one. Never mind, that doesn't work. I thought it'd give me a die. It doesn't, though. So I can't do anything, because I need three die total. I only have two. So I actually can't do anything. I could play a card, maybe? So might as well play this, right? Like, why not just draw two cards? Get rid of this shit. We have a sweet madam. No, it's not a sweet madam. Normal attack costs one less. Unaligned element. It's only before the round ends, though, so I can't use this. I can't use this to set up for the round after. Something like a bow would work, but not really that exciting. I'd like to play. Um, well, I'm already out of die. Maybe it would have been smarter. To play this, give her the energy so that next... Well, no, I could just do that the turn after, right? This just end? Should I use this? No, I can't use that. There's no point in using that. He's going to go first. Asuto! I definitely want more animo. I don't really care about uh, Kaya right now. I honestly think like he's not, you know, he's not doing much for me. We have another animo die here. I currently have Sucrose equipped. He's going to go first. I don't know what that is. Ow. You cool it, dude. Um, Let's see. When action phase begins, create Two Omni Element. Not crazy. I need one more. Uh, I'll get rid of this. This is useless. We're going to turn uh, this one. Yeah, just turn that into a Animo die. Now, what we can do. What is this? Choose one summon on the opposing side and destroy it. Yo, that's cool. But to gain two energy here, I'd have to sacrifice two die. So this would give me one energy. So I'd have to play this. I sacrifice the two Geo dies. Then she has the energy. Now I could pull off this and just slowly fucking murder Kaya, dude. Doesn't deal one damage, which deals one damage to everybody else. Oh, it's a summon. They ended their round? Really? Now what I'm going to do is leave it to me. Leave it to me. Right? Switch. To die look. Oh, it makes it a fast action. I still have to sacrifice a die. Fuck. For some reason, I thought it would be free. That means I won't be able to attack with die luck. <laughs> Shit. Hold on. Maybe I should just use this then, right? This would, uh... When action phase begins... Go, Paimon. <gasps> There's Paimon. Wow, she's standing there. Existing. I can end turn. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, Sucrose is so powerful. She's like slowly killing everybody with these swirl reactions. Give me some more anima, dude. Well, I'll keep the pyro, honestly. I could, I could do some damage with that. I would prefer maybe like one animo. No, okay, whatever, 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 whatever. Paimon's gonna create two a big uh what are these called? Ow. Okay. Now I can just uh 
I don't have a catalyst or anything. What is this? Use one summon on your side and grant it a use. I'm on having another use would be pretty cool. Legit though, like, um, I can't do this. Okay, so this is a summon. Paimon is not a summon. I see. Interesting. That means I can now just use Sucrose. Just deal three damage to this dude. Stand clear. <coughs> Honestly, this deals Animo damage, right? Like, just swirl again. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Um I'm sorry to say this everybody. Your time is over. Can I create two summons? <laughs> if I do this again, will it create another summon? You already have a summon on the field. Bring more will refresh their usage. No. I'll just do this again then. Bye, Sucrus. Sucrus is Oh, fuck. No, I didn't swirl. Shit. Wait, if I end turn here, though, it's now changed characters to Sucrus. This is going to deal two damage to her, right? She's fucking dead. My research <laughs> Yo, that card's so cute. I didn't factor that into the equation. This game's so cool, what the heck? Look at this card. Oh, I wanted to look at that card. Uh, I don't even know if I want to use Kaya. Like, Kaya literally has done nothing. It's honestly been just Dialuk and Sucrose, just going psycho mode. Bye, Paimon. This card is so cute. Shift one energy from at most two of your characters. Oh my god, she's dead. <laughs> Sucrose, no! How is this possible? Uh, two energy? Or shift one energy from at most two of your characters. To your active character. This is a destroy all summons. Interesting, interesting. We're just gonna run with Dialog. One character card defeated. Shut up, Sucrose. I'm about to get destroyed, dude. Your Dialog barely has any health left. Look at this, you ready? Oh no, die look. Oh. Dead. Non existent. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Hit die look, I dare you. Do it. He declared the end of his round. I'm gonna switch to Kaya just so that we get some BM here. We're gonna get rid of this electro card. Now Dialuk is out, we're gonna do cryo reaction and just overkill him by three damage just for the BM. <laughs> nice. I just BM'd Sucrosk. <laughs> Traveler, what the hell? That was so rude. I can't believe I lost when we had the exact same character cards. The rules must be more complicated than I first thought. Every decision is a difficult trade-off in this game. If there was only a way to transplant the arms of the two standby characters onto the active character's body... What are you talking about, Sucrose? the rules work, Sucrose. <laughs> Don't be a sore loser. <coughs> is looked down on in TCG circles. Oh, I am sorry. I was beaten fair and square. I know that. I just can't stand losing. But it was a fun match. It went easy on me. I didn't know you could get so competitive, Sucrose. I always get a little upset when I lose. It's like that with my research, too. It always gets to me when my experiments don't go as planned. Especially when there's an alchemy genius like Albedo around to compare myself to. Pet girl of Sakurasa? Uh, you lost me in <laughs> alchemy and experiments. But I'm pretty sure it's normal to feel that way. Playing cards is no different. Each game you I forgot that I was playing Genshin Impact. <laughs> like, these characters are talking, and I'm like, where's the card game, bro? What the fuck? Who are these people? 
Seizing victory through a winning combination of luck, skill, and experience is where all the fun of genius and vocation lies. But what if you keep trying and trying and never win a single game? It means you suck, dude. A losing streak, uh, yeah. That'll definitely get you down. But it's way better to keep trying until you win than to just accept you're a plain old loser and <laughs> give up. Hmm. You make a good point, Diona. Diona. Besides, Ducros, you're already making great progress. It'd take at least eight of our regular booze hounds to match your level. You played well this last match. It was brilliant. Thank you. I'm just a little disappointed to lose, that's all. But Genius and Vacation TCG is a really fun game. Good. That was fun. Having fun is the main thing. If you ever want to play again in the future, Ooh. feel free to come by the cat's tail. And I'll definitely. All right. I think you should have all the basics down by now. I need to get back to bartending. Sheehan's likely been busy making his tavern more popular with his delicious cocktails. Pui, pui, cocktails. Pui, pui, pui. Can't have that. Huh. Burning Mondstadt's wine industry to the ground keeps me pretty busy, you know. So. Pretty busy. Nice. Why can I talk with this chair? Oh. <laughs> I thought it had the talk symbol next to it, so I thought I was gonna start talking to the chair. Hello, chair. Nice to meet you. New player, huh? You can ask Shiyun about the rules of the game, but if there's other things you wish to know, you're always welcome to come and ask. Thanks, man. Yuri? I will surely defeat all my opponents just like how I chase down prey, and I'll become the best genius invocation TCG player in no time. You're interested in the game too, but you're not a player yet, are you? <laughs> when you become a true TCG player, you might even get the chance to duel me. Alright, Gary. Hey there. For a game of cards? Hold on. I don't think you're an official player yet. Come find me once you're an official player. Okay. Let me become an official player. I see. So you have now grasped the rules of Genius Invocation TCG. Bro? <laughs> That's right. The Traveler, Sucrose, and Primark. <laughs> Yeah, Paimon, you didn't do anything. Uh, well, I guess you did. You gave me two, uh, from watching you and two of them Omni dies. Becoming a TCG player is not as simple as that. Pass the test. You cannot call yourselves true TCG players. Oh, sobering words from Prince there. But I'm afraid he's right. To become a They're really a test? Recognized by the Genius Invocation TCG Society. Yes, although to be honest, basically, to become an official and recognized... Three TCG opponents in a duel. You have to win three duels against three different opponents? The duel you just played can count towards this tally. Ah. I agree. Although I didn't get to observe the match myself, I did listen along. And from what I... Same way you can hear what Prince says. <laughs> A well-trained ear is a basic skill expected of anyone hoping to become a TCG master. <laughs> this guy took offense to that, dude. <laughs> but back to the matter at hand. The Traveler only needs to beat two more opponents to become an official TCG player. I mean, Sucrose needs to beat three. Sucrose, you may have lost the last duel, but don't be disheartened. <coughs> I can assure you. But first things first, Shu Yen. Free gifts! <gasps> oh, my goodness. Completely slipped my mind. I'm lucky to have Prince here. Free casket of tomes? Oh. Tamez mentioned it, didn't he? It was from the light novels he's been reading. The thing that the main character found in his attic. Oh, that's right! The soul of an ancient TCG player was trapped the inside, fuck? right? So the casket of tomes is actually real? <sighs> well, actually... They're all, all card casket, casket of tomes. The invocation TCG are called caskets of tomes. Not only do they provide a They also sense when other people in the area are also getting what? Your decks. They oh, I can guess what you're gonna say next. The reason they can sense each other is because <laughs> yeah. they have the souls of ancient TCG players inside. That would mean an extraordinarily high number of people in history have been turned into disembodied <laughs> souls as a consequence of playing card games. Yeah, by one, what the hell? <laughs> The real Every casket has like a human soul in there. A nifty little mechanism invented by I'm on what the hell? Scholars. Yo, actually, maybe the Sumero scholars invented it by killing TCG players and putting them in there. What a letdown. Cool, a TCG friend finder. Right, now let's see this casket of tomes already. 
You will require my assistance. Sorry, I'm looking at the Archmage, just Archmage Antonidas card next to me. So you will need to see her to claim yours. Probably for the best. If Prince and I were responsible for handing them out, knowing how eager we both are to promote the game, we'd probably have dished them all out by now. Oh. Okay, so go and see Margaret to claim your casket of tomes. Use it to find another player, beat them in a duel, and then come back here. I gotta go see Margaret? Even for the Traveler, that's only two wins in total. What about the last one? I shall choose the to final find a contestant. She must beat in order to become an official TCG player, for it must be one of comparable prowess. <coughs> Excellent plan, Prince. Happy dueling, both of you. Okay, I gotta pee again. Be back. Let's look at Prince. Prince is cute, right? He's a cute cat. The world remains constant over the centuries, but human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water. Transitory. I'm ready to I'm ready to game dude. I'm ready to card game. Go to Margaret and claim the casket of tomes. Yes. I hope I get like cool characters. Or I hope I get the You think it's like it's like sorta of gotcha? I know it's like not gotcha gotcha in that like you can actually get all the cards for free. But it'd be cool. Like you can get any character here. Hello, instead of like a set Mary. character. Has little Diona finished teaching you the rules of genius invocation? Yes. Give me my deck. I see you're here for your casket of tomes, aren't you? <laughs> oh, wait, no, it just helps you find people, right? So wait, does it give you cards? I don't remember. Tomes. That's right. A purpose-built case for your card deck that can even detect when someone else nearby is carrying one. Gosh, whoever invented this must have seriously <laughs> disliked being alone. <laughs> yeah, well, even the most fun game is pretty lonely if you got no one else to play it with. True, which is why you need to, like, make Genshin Impact multiplayer way better. True. Please, yo -yo. So I'm glad that these customers, um, <coughs> TCG players, are able to congregate at the cat's tail. Can't be bad for business. You're not wrong, but that's secondary. The important thing to me is the opportunity for like-minded people to come together and enjoy their favorite hobby. It creates a nice atmosphere. Anyway, all right. Oh shit! I In thought that, that was the end case, of it. I'll go find some people to play against too. You can win this, Sucrose. Let's go. You can edit your deck using the Casket of Tombs. Also search for characters nearby who also possess Casket of Tombs. Okay. Simply open the deck menu using Casket of Tombs before selecting a deck to edit it. 
After searching for and locating a challenger, the map will appear, allowing you to mark rival card players who also possess a casket of tombs to tell who you can challenge at a game of cards with ease. Mm, you use your casket of tombs to activate the ability to search for players. Players closest to you whom you have yet to be defeated will be prioritized. Okay. I gotta equip this as like a gadget or something. Deck. My deck. You can select the appropriate characters, action cards. You can switch over to edit your deck and action cards as well, allowing you to build a deck of your own design. Three valid characters, 30 valid action cards. Okay. Uh, we'll hint us so, and please take note. Add in the cards you want by dragging them over the avatar at the top of the menu or just slotting them in. Conversely, you can also drag or unslot them to remove them from your deck. You can select a card to review its key details, which allows you to understand not only its effects, but its change in appearance. But also change its appearance and see how you can obtain it. Holy cow. <coughs> Dude, I only have these three cards. How do I get more? I want more cards. <laughs> I imagine I, yeah, I can't change anything right now. This is just like what I have. This is like base deck. Nothing I can really do about that. Can I not like equip this? Ooh, swan? All right, let's, let's get him. We're gonna destroy this dude. Is this a guard? <laughs> Isn't this one of the guards? It's this guy, dude. What the? Hell? <laughs> I'm sorry. Is there anything I can assist the two of you with? Hey, you want to play cards, dude? Oh, what if this guy's like a pro player, dude? Oh, I see. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm on duty right now. <coughs> Bro, you're on duty every day. You stand here for the whole day. But it's time to, 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 to duel. When it comes to your attention that a citizen of Monsa is in need, you must come to <laughs> their aid and promptly and willingly. <laughs> Are you quoting the Knights of Favonius handbook at me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, come on. <sighs> so be it. Well, that was enough to want begin. him to get him in, dude. We're in, boys. Adventure challenge. My deck. My powerful deck. Select. We're gonna get 200 lucky coins. Holy cow. <coughs> I'm dying, I'm dying. Is it Dendro? I don't need this. Get this out of here. Next time you perform switch characters, spend one less elemental die. Okay, this makes it free. That's really good. This is energy. I love energy. This is a heal. This is useless. Get these out of here. Alright, we have what is it? Is this Geo? This guy's got a Hillatrol deck, dude. Holy cow. Uh, This is for Catalyst. I have a Catalyst user, Sucrose. Um, this is for Hydro. Destral summons. They don't have any summons. Um, I would like to start with Sucrose just to equip this on her, but also I don't need to. I could equip this on the turn in which I do damage with her. I'd rather start with someone I can like apply some uh, some elementals uh, stuff on, Let's finish then this. switch to Sucrose to swirl everything to death. Pyro, nice. Uh, let's just get rid of all this, and in fact, just get rid of this too. Right now, I'm looking for Pyro die. Okay, that works. That, that works. My turn. Um, I don't need this. This is useless. Um, I think, like, sorry, but you're just gonna die. Dude, I don't even get to swirl. <laughs> I'm just killing this guy. I didn't even get to do anything cool. Uh... <clears throat> I can't kill this right now. Unfortunately, right? 
what I could do, switch character. Um, hold on. I got a plan, baby. Listen up. Play this. Switch to Sucrose. Costs nothing. I want to help. He switched characters, so it didn't matter anyway. <laughs> whatever, whatever, dude. And then you equip this onto Sucrose using this die and this die. Oh, it has to be the same element. These two die then. Are you okay here to use these two die? Equip her the weapon. Now she deals one extra damage. And now I could sacrifice two cards to deal four damage, which was meant to kill this guy, but I guess, you know, whatever, who cares? In fact, like, eh, eh, yeah, legit, just like get rid of these. I don't need this. Boon it. It was actually useful. I don't think they're going to summon anything. Get rid of this. Now I can use Sucrose's ability and just like fuck with this guy. I declare the end of my round. Bye. It's over. It's over, Swan. Is that Shenha, dude? It's a nice card. Oh. Um. Heard of all this. It doesn't really matter. <coughs> Do I just roll like so many uh ubiquity dice? Die. Ow. Goodbye, sir. You did good. <laughs> is Eula a card in this game? That'd be interesting. I know Eula is like a physical damage, so I wonder if she would have more like uh, physical damage abilities rather than cryo abilities. Uh, exit? Achieve victory. I did it. Nice. Gosh, I lost. <coughs> You're remarkably good at this, considering how new to the game you are. I need, you just need better cards, dude. <laughs> Three Hillatrell cards. Time, but ideally, not when I'm on duty. All right, bro. We did it! Now we have two victories under our belt. Turn to the cat's tail. Let's get back to the cat's tail. Oh yeah, Prince gets to pick the final contestant. I forgot. Could, could I have lost the battle against Sucrose? I guess so. Hi, Prince. I sense that she had what it took to become an official TCG player, but she has returned to the tavern more quickly than I had expected. Yeah. Defeat the opponents I have arranged for you, and you shall become an official TCG Yo. player. I look forward to watching this game immensely. Why is the entrance to becoming an actual player like so high? This is like a filter. This would turn so many people off. This would turn me off. I'd come to this club and they'd be like, yeah, defeat three opponents and then come back to me. I'd be like, fuck you, dude. I'm just going to leave and <laughs> not come back. I can't wait either. Come. You're private room? You in one of the private rooms. Monka Giga? It's Sucrose again. Hearing Fischl across the like fucking last tavern role playing in a room. Ark and well, Richard clock chimes yet again as the declining light of day grows dimmer still. Pardon my directness, but we have not been waiting that long. <laughs> <coughs> huh? Paimon knows those voices. 
about it sounds anxious. anxious. Begin. Do not delay. That's what Prince said. Please. Let's go. It's official. That's funny. Official, like slightly muffled across the tavern, is like the funniest thing I've ever heard. I feel like Fischl would like this game, yeah. You know this makes sense. Fischl's a huge nerd. This path is a treacherous one. It must be tread with great caution. For eternal doom and damnation are but one wrong step away at any given moment. That is why none is more suited to appear in this audience chamber than the princessin. Who's Al de the Ertelong des Grossen Kaleido Phantasmus? <laughs> what the fuck you just say? 10,000 battles across 3,000 worlds. Is the name of your deck? Oh, is that right? Indeed. Main Fräulein has watched many games of Genius Invocation TCG. Yeah. And has gained a solid grasp of the rules. Oh, that's true. A duel between beginners when you say watched many games. <laughs> Like extra dying right now. What's going on? Alone, <clears throat> do I now arrive here at the gateway to yonder circle of secrets? Main Fräulein too has bested two opponents. Thus far, <laughs> two people. <laughs> is therefore one step away from becoming. Oh shit! It's a TCG battle. Player. Who's gonna become the official player? It's gonna be me. Me. Hi, official. Indeed. From the Imanakreish, yet still you <laughs> dare to doubt the inevitability of the inevitable. The inevitability of the inevitable. Your foolishness is contemptible. <laughs> Main official. Fräulein, I implore you to consider less odious turns of phrase, lest you be forced to feast on your words in the fullness of time. <laughs> in the fullness of time. Yes. We're gonna destroy you. Verily, tis time to duel. I say it is time to see what you are made of. Yo, she has Bennett. No fair. She's gonna press Q and then use her ability and insta kill my entire squad. What the hell? This is not fair. This is a Veridescent? This is a anima, right? Get that shit. Get this out of here. I don't even use Kaya, dude. She gonna summon? Oh, she might have summons. Wait, I don't... I'd rather get the Hu Tao card, right? That one destroys a summon for cheaper. I imagine she's gonna have a summon, which is Oz. That's my prediction here. Unfortunately, no Hu Tao card. Uh, this bow is useless. We could sacrifice that. Paimon is great. I actually really like Paimon. <laughs> is this Ito? I haven't lost yet. Only playable if one of your... Characters is defeated this round. Create an Omni element, and your current active character gains one energy. But I need someone to be down. Oh no! If someone dies this round, I see. So it has. This is a super specific card, but it's really good for free. You gain an energy and an Omni element. It's kind of crazy, kind of insane. The official can do. Two physical damage, Electro, and then summons Oz, who deals one damage every turn. Four damage, two piercing to all opposing characters on standby. Um, no thank you. We gotta kill Fischl as fast as possible. When your character uses a skill, if this character has at least seven HP, <clears throat> deal two damage do two plus damage for this instance after your skill is finalized if this character's hp is not greater than six heal this character okay so it either heals or adds two damage based on the skill that the character is using 
Okay, and we know what Kaya does. Switch characters, deal damage. Maybe we should try using Kaya a little bit, huh? <coughs> we gotta get some melt reactions going on. This glacial waltz is pretty good. And if we're gonna be swirling, like I feel like being able to just deal crowd damage as we switch to Sucrose would be pretty cool. We'd have to get two energy first though, which means I'd have to use Rosna a little bit. I already got rid of the sword, which I probably should have kept if I was gonna use Kaya. The pyro infusion, like I don't really think is that that big, but eight damage is an insane amount of damage. Then again, like by the time you can use this, is eight damage really that valuable? I feel like at, by the time you're using, you can use this skill. The character that you're, the active character that's up, probably is almost dead. And if it's not, it's not like you're gonna kill them. Well, I guess you could. If I do some swirl with sucrose, get this skill up, I could probably one shot someone from eight damage. Just stick with Dialect. Dialect, I trust Let's Dialect. Finish this swiftly. Mm. I'm willing to keep the cryos just because Kaya is here. We could always change them. We have one Omni, one Pyro. Okay. <clears throat> I would prefer to be able to use Dialect skill right now. Honestly, this is like one. This costs two for someone to use one less Anmo die, which, oh, uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Like, let's let's face it, Bosh. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. Let's just immediately get ourselves a pyro die. Why don't we get rid of this uh, hydro? Yeah, perfect. Can't use this. This gains one energy. Don't really need it. I'm just gonna punch Fischl in the face. Fischl? Get fucking punched. <coughs> Costs one less pyro damage. He has him up. Fischl has that. Actually, I've been thinking of switching to a... Uh... He didn't attack that turn. He took the turn to change characters. All my dudes are still at 100% HP. This is such a good summon. Or such a good support. Like having that extra ubiquity or omni. I don't know why I keep calling it ubiquity. Omni element is pretty good. But also I could switch to Kaya and do a cryo attack. Which I think might be worth it. Oh, but it costs. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah I can. Because then I can get rid of one of these. This will be interesting. Switch. Is five die. Dodge this. Uh, how about you dodge this, please? Dodge this. <laughs> dodge this. I have one die left. Can't really do anything with that. You just equip a bow onto official. Oh wait, yeah. I was like, what the hell? How'd you do that? No, official is a bow character. I forgot. Um, and then now for the setup, what I can do is uh switch characters. I, I can do it. Uh, and then end turn. A Paimon card's pretty good. It's just a two free ubiquity die. Or ubiquity omni die. Hell yeah, dude. Life is setting up perfectly, ain't it? Another animal there would have been great, but it's fine. We don't need it. We don't need it. Punch Sucrose. See if I care, huh? You ready for this, dude? Ready for this fucking swirl shit that I'm about to drop on you? Get swirled. I probably should have checked what I had here. <coughs> Dying. This actually works out really well. 
two any die, right? That's so these two. Play. And then I could just sacrifice. Like, I don't intend on anyone dying, so, like, tune it. This is draw two cards. This is too good. And then this literally just turns these into Omni Elements. So, like, don't even sacrifice this. Just play it. Turn them into uh, Omni Die. Then my Sucrose can drop this baby right on this fool. It's World of Cryo. I can't switch characters. I don't have any more die left. I'd love to, but uh, because then the the plan here would be to switch to die look, right? And then just start melting everybody, right? Dude, so we switch to die look here. Equip, we'll equip the great sword on him first. <coughs> Try and get some. Uh, I don't mind keeping this just so we have options. Because then I could swirl again if I get another one. In fact, maybe I will swirl again, huh? Maybe I'll just swirl the entire team, eh? Ow. I don't, even, I don't even think this is worth it, dude. Just, like, get that out of my face. You just declare the end of their round? Bro, what are you doing? This is where you'd, uh... Yeah, just, just, wait, no, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I can't switch to dialect then. <laughs> uh, I think you just switch, huh? Like, just switch. Use this. Let's finish this swiftly. <coughs> uh, bye. <coughs> Dude, I'm like... <laughs> a small sacrifice. <laughs> you know what? Just draw me some cards, yo. Hell yeah. You didn't even get to summon Oz. And turn. Oh, dude, your Bennett's almost fucking dead, bro. It's over for you. There's no coming back from this fish, I'm sorry. Like, it's just, it's over. It's over. I have like too many cards that I can use here. Like, I'm literally just gonna punch Bennett. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> Yo, Fischl, what the hell? You gotta calm down. You're asking Oz to fucking attack me while we're playing cards? Relax, lady. Jesus Christ. He's fucking insane, dude. He's trying to kill me. My God. Sorry, official. It's over. <clears throat> There's probably some good setup you could do where you um you ult with die look and then you get um you like oh well, you that's that's the thing, like energy is like it's hard to I feel like you don't you don't use burst more than once, right? Like I used burst once there. I guess mm, I don't know. The cursed dragon looms near <clears throat> once more, casting its dark shadow on the slender threads of fate, hiding them from my vision. Traveler, was even this part of your plan? Yes. <laughs> you fool. What a truly ingenious plot, and what an exciting duel to witness. Congratulations. That's fun. You've won three duels now. Hey. Hey. Official TCG player. Yeah. Oh, Sucrose, you're back. 
Your girls did it. I've won two games so far. When I <coughs> I heard you were in the middle of your final duel. So I came over to watch. Nice! Sucrose won two as well! Great work! I imagine some Genshin players like not being into this at all and just hating this quest. Hmm. It seems I am forced to admit, fellow voyager of the stellar void, that your mastery of the cards is second to none. To commemorate your glorious ascent to a battlefield beyond and the fish, slow fish loves anger hell. issues, dude. I grant thee an <clears throat> incarnation of my majesty in miniature. As you embark on this ingenious vocation, may you wield it in battle against all your fated foes, that not a single one of them may be left standing. Is that the official card? Hell yeah, dude. Main That's Froyline exciting. To give you a main character card. Wow. Does everyone have their own cards? Can I have a Taco Turk card? <laughs> Tis a mere token of such. To the victor of this splendid duel is a boon of commensurate splendor due. Commensurate splendor due? Oh, um, excuse me, ma'am. I am also a beginner who has won two games so far. Nothing would delight me more. I hereby grant you permission to join oh. me. One other thing. When I got back... Prince and Shuyun said there was something they needed to give you. Hopefully an if instant you victory an card. TCG player. No card game in the world <coughs> has a card like that. I'm on bet it's some kind of prize for making it as an official TCG player. Let's go get our prize. Yay. This is fun. With three electro dice, I summon my... E no. It's best not to interrupt their game. Okay. The music in here is beautiful. Ah, so it was you who won the duel in the end. Yay. I knew you'd do it. Congratulations. You are now officially recognized members of the Genius Invocation TCG community. Okay, cool. Very well done. Now, I will explain to you what becoming an official TCG player entails. <laughs> the first thing all new official TCG players nice. receive is their TCG Player's Handbook. This handbook tells you exactly what you need to do top to become tier a top player. tier TCG player. Secondly, a range of genius invocation merchandise is now available for you to purchase here at the... <laughs> and thirdly, whenever you wish to play a game with a friend, you can use Ooh. the invitation board there. Whoever you wish to do invitation it, board. Yes, it's right by the bar counter. Once you get the hang of it, you can play with your Yo. friends whenever you want. That's it, really. If there's anything else you didn't quite understand, you can always come and ask me. <laughs> yes, oh. indeed. I'm quite sure they will. Oh, sorry. I forgot to translate for you. Prince would like to say, hope you have fun playing Genius Invocation TCG. <clears> okay. <throat> hey. Come on, play more. Genius Invocation TCG. Press the various matches to become TCG expert. Find challenges in the open world. Or enter the tavern after reaching player 2 to play against weekly visiting challengers. And e EXP. Increase your player level. Unlock new functions and matches. You can also challenge prints and ascension level challenges. Uh, popular card game players amongst all over the corner of the world. Face them in matches. Overcome them. To get player exp and lucky coins um okay invitation board to send invitations to register challenges partake events uh, you can also earn character and talent cards oh okay so the invitation board is where i get cards right oh wait <coughs> invitation board and then i could also Match with friends in co-op. Oh, and as I level up, I can challenge strangers. Okay. Lucky coins to purchase cards and card backs and dynamic skins, amongst other items. Dude, I'm going to fucking play the shit out of this game. <laughs> Holy cow. I can't imagine, or I guess I can because it's a reality, but I was going to say, I can't imagine a world where you launch where you open a launcher to a game to then go into a different game in the game. 
Basketball player level. Unlock character cards? 27? I get a Primo gem and match invitation letter. Holy shit. So I guess I can choose what character I want to fight. Card shops commodities. Holy shit. This is a three cost. Deal extra damage. Create one elemental die of the same elemental type as this character. What's round? Oh my god. One damage once per round. Normal attacks deal an extra damage. Jesus Christ, dude. Two additional damage. HP is equal to or less than six. <coughs> This is a this is a killer. It's a it's an assassin. Oh my god, dude! There's so much shit here. Let's lost Ignora. And one less pyro die. Roll phase. Two of the starting elemental die are always pyro die. That's so cool. <laughs> Why am I blurry? <laughs> the fuck? How did I get blurry? Hello? <laughs> Lumine? Lumine, I need your help. Lumine is like the only thing the camera can register, apparently. Lumine? Dude, Lumine works like magic, dude. Need a camera focus? Get yourself a fucking Lumine. <laughs> Are these all the cards? They know what the fuck they're doing, dude. You could be a, a, a mirror maiden. You could be Magu Kenki, dude. Look at this badass motherfucker. Holy shit! All right, I want Noel for sure. <laughs> Who's not on here? Shenha? I don't see Shenha. Uh, I see. A, I don't see a lot of characters here. There's only a couple characters. Just a gloves, I guess. That's cool. These are just shiny. They just shine, I guess. They gleam. I don't know. That's cool. Hard backs? <laughs> Yo. Okay. I want this, dude. This is so cool. Dude, I'm ready to be a Noel main. Um, beginner player badge. Okay, stay tuned, player. Your saga begins here. Dude, he's one of the former victory. What do you say? Up for a game of, um, it would be rude to d refuse. He's a very strong opponent. It's just that you attempt this challenge at a high player level. Okay, this person's like hardcore as fuck. I mean, get me out of here. Invite character. I can't invite Sino. All right, let me invite Noel. That's what I'm looking for, baby. <clears throat> Normal attacks deal two damage, and their physical damage is dealt to dealt is converted to geo damage. How does geo react with shit? Damage plus one gains one shield point. That's cool. This is really cool. So it adds an extra damage and then uh, you gain a shield. Grant two shield points to your character before this shield is fully consumed. The physical damage you take is halved. 
Physical damage. Okay. Equip this card. When your combat or an active character is Noel, equip this card. This is an equipment card. After Noel equips this card, immediately use Breastplate once. When your Noel who has this card equipped creates a full plate, it will heal all your characters from one HP. After she uses a normal attack, you must have Noel in your deck. Okay. Interesting. I get two of these? Ooh. Okay. Bring her here. I want that character card. Oh, understood. I'll do my best. Let's go, Noel. Uh, let's play. Wait, let me adjust my deck first. Actually, I have a new character, which is Ishel. I really don't use Kai that much. I'm kind of interested in how Electro reacts with a uh, Pyro overloaded plus damage, and the target is forcibly switched. Superconduct, plus one damage, deal one piercing to all opposing characters except the target. Interesting. So Electro plus Cryo is actually pretty good. Electro Targe, deal one damage. This instance, deal one piercing to all opposing characters except the target and quicken. Plus one uh, damage. It's catalyzing field that grants one damage to the next three instances of Dendro and Electro damage. Interesting. 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 Okay. Let's put Fischl in here, huh? I don't think I have anything else. Yeah. <coughs> Let's go. Oh, understood. I'll do my best. Let's go, Noel. Bro, she got the Geo deck already set up. <coughs> and she's got Shing Shu, dude. God damn. This is Cryo and oh, Hydro. I don't really need these. Actually, I don't need any of these. <laughs> They're all useless. This one might be helpful. If, you know, if it gets it down to it. Hmm. I might want to start with uh, Electro. Just to summon Oz, I feel like that's pretty good to just get it going. Let's start with Fischl. The threads of your fate lie in my hands. Let's see if we can get uh, enough energy for a skill. That's, <laughs> that's a really good roll. <laughs> Holy cow. That was an incredible roll. Wow. Honestly, perfect, if you ask me. Did I get rid of a bow? I think I did. Perhaps I am a fool. Um. I kind of want to equip this on Dialuk now. So if I can. Legit, just use these two. One of these is going to go to the Electro skill, and then the two Pyro, when we switch characters with this Cryo Crystal, um, his skill will only cost two, right? So then we can overload. So for now, let's just equip it with this. It will save us a Pyro later. And then since that was a quick action, I can summon Oz. Deal one damage. Oz, reveal thyself. Next turn, I can switch characters to Diluc using the Cryo die. What is that? What is that? When playing a location support card, spend two less elemental die. <laughs> she played like eight cards, dude. What's going on right now? <laughs> what the hell? Why'd she play like eight cards? All right, she has a sword equipped. <coughs> All right, so when she creates a full plate, this. All right, and she deals damage. She heals one HP. Which is why.
When you're Noelle who has this card equipped, it creates a full play. It will kill all your characters one HP after. So she has to use a normal attack. I see. Hold on. Interesting. Let me just switch characters straight up. Use this. Let's finish this swiftly. What is this? Leeway Harbor? What the fuck? Draw two cards twice. Or what the fuck? Okay. Oh wait, I can't fucking... You switched off Noel. This is a full plate. Takes... Grant two shield points to your active character before the shield is fully consumed. The physical damage you take is halved. Hmm. So if I do this, he takes one damage. What the hell? <laughs> huh. This is physical damage. Physical damage will not apply any elements, nor can it engage an elemental reaction. It will be consumed to protect a character who equips it. Interesting. This is only going to deal one damage, but it will apply Pyro. You know, I'll take it, honestly. Getting as many elemental combos landed. I feel like is a pretty good idea. Can't really do anything anymore. I'd love to switch to uh to Sucras if I could, but it's gonna waste a turn. I feel like might as well just overload this loser if I can. We're looking for Electro. Mostly Pyro. Okay, well, you know, that that's fine. Just hit with a Dilux skill again. Oh, five damage. That's insane, dude. Let's see if we can do anything to increase that damage. We might be able to kill. We have a weapon. We can equip that to Dilux. Um, yeah, we're going to have to use this, unfortunately. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> That's one damage. I don't think we can add another. I mean, it's fine. This damage is pretty crazy, actually. For two. That's kind of crazy, actually. And it's going to overload. Or the overloaded is the, the six damage. This is just going to kill, right? Normal attack. I have taught you everything. I, it's fine. Just a minor setback. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> Ow, that did so much damage. That did three damage. What the hell? I don't have any more cards left. I'm just going to have to end turn. Um, Though I think the smart thing to do... Well, no, because if I end turn first... They have three die left, which means, means they might be able to get a hit off on me. At most, they could do, like, what? Three damage? Is that much to worry about? They have a lot of cards, though. I'm just going to end turn. They should not be able to kill me this turn, right? Like, they should not be able to kill, kill die luck. So I'm going first this turn. Oz did damage. He's fucking dead, dude. <laughs> He's dead. There's no way. Oh, there's no way, dude. There's no way, dude. No one's, she's toast. She's toast. I don't even need to use like a cards to sacrifice. I just rolled a bunch of pyros. 
This doesn't kill. <laughs> this kills. <laughs> okay. Hi, Noel. I'll see you later. I am a disgrace. I still have a shot. Go. Oh, is that Karen? Catherine? What's her name? Ellen. I don't know why I thought her name was Catherine. Or Karen. When you use a skill that has already been used in this round, spend one less elemental die. Cost one less unaligned element. Um, yes. Jesus, I'm not going to use this this turn. That means this is going to cost one one. What happened to my... Oh, I got rid of it. Uh, this would have cost... Yeah, that's fine. Hermetic <laughs> Transformer uses an elemental skill that was... Wait, if either side uses a skill, if damage was dealt, this card gains one. When it gains three, discards the card and creates three different basic elemental die. That's kind of crazy, maybe? I'm not using skill though, so I'm just punching her in the face. <laughs> oh, but it was applying, does she still get the two die? I think she did. Interesting. Dies like on top of the other one. Um, I don't mind keeping that. Just roll the rest. <laughs> this, this die was going psycho mode. I'm sorry, Ningguang. It's over. There's no way for you to come back. Give up. <laughs> give up? No. You give up. Noel, friendly. <laughs> Yo, I have a Noel card now. Okay, okay. Oh, I lost. I need to improve. <laughs> That's it. That's all she says. Rematch. Oh, understood. I have to beat her three times. Does she get harder each time? Let me check. Um. Okay, I guess I can invite a character back here and they'll just sit there in their private room. Oh, I see. These are the, I didn't even read these. These are the challenges. So I, I defeated her within six rounds and I won with, uh, with less than two characters defeated. Serious showdown. I need player seven. Can I just invite like Kaya or something? I look. When your active character is Dialuk, equip this card. After Dialuk equips this card, immediately use Searing Onslaught. When your Dialuk who has this card equipped uses Searing Onslaught for the second time in one round, spend one less Pyro die. That sounds awesome, dude. What the heck? invite dialogue over the thing about running someone like a noel let's go for is uh you you lose some of the uh the <coughs> what do you call it you lose some of the the elemental reaction potential because noel is crystallized um the crystallized reactions don't really do that much damage. I like Sucrose. I think the swirl is cool, but like one extra damage to everybody. Like, I feel like it's not as good to spread damage than it is to focus in on damage. So Dilux like deal eight damage, insta murder somebody is really cool. I think Noel's ability to uh, keep people alive for longer is probably really good too. Because again, like, 
it's like classic RPG where like it's better to focus down one character because then that's one that's less damage incoming, right? So killing someone is just as good as uh it's better than like defending or something. So I guess that defeats the purpose of me saying Noel's good. But like I don't, I don't know. Just because Sucrose, I don't think she, you know. Okay, this is pretty good. This like constant swirl that you can get going with this is is pretty psycho. Honestly. I think we'll just stick with Sucrose, huh? I like Noel, but like I don't. Eh. Just stick with it. It's not working pretty well anyways. I can't use this because I need Noel for that. I can build a Noel deck later. When we have more cards. Alright. Let's go for a ride. <clears throat> There's a Shang Ling. You have a summon probably. Uh this is for Sucrose. Don't need that. Don't need this or this. Oh actually I can use this for uh official. Official and Sucrose. Uh, this helps transfer an artifact. Not that helpful. If I'm all honest here. Um, I'd like to start with Fischl, actually. In the name of the princess in. If I can get that summon going, that'd be pretty good. The Oz summon. Uh, no, 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 no. Get that shit all out of here. Okay, we got some stuff for maybe Fischl. Or not Fischl, uh, Sucrose, but we don't really have anything for Fischl. A little bit too much variety here, though. I don't really need this. But we can convert, like, um... Uh... Yeah, just that one. Whatever. <clears throat> this is two of the same die. Unfortunately, I'd have to sacrifice those. I don't really want to do that. Just to apply this to... I guess I could do this. Is that worth it, though? If I play this, I'd have to sacrifice the two anima rolls. I guess I can always get them back by set. Well, all of these are pretty useful. You know what? I think, um, I think you do put this on sucrose. Uh, yeah, actually just use these, use those, that's fine, fuck those, <laughs> now she deals extra damage, right, um, and then you just summon Oz, I summon thee. now we have Oz here on the side, is that just a free pyro die, the fuck is that, attack up? Pyro related reactions. The attached character deals three damage. It has to be a reaction though. Hmm. <coughs> I want to switch characters, but there's no point in switching a character, right? Oh, wait, did I say this gives her more damage? No. I didn't want more damage. I want more, uh, this lowers the cost of these, right? Yeah, okay. That's what I wanted. I wanted the, these lower cost. I'd like her to have more damage, though. I think the person who needs less, who needs the weapon the least amount is Dialog, but I also don't think Fischl really needs this either, honestly. Right, like if I get rid of this, I could do a normal attack on one of these dudes. So just honestly, fuck this shit. Tune it? 
Normal attack, die look. Now I'm gonna end turn first, so I'm starting turn turn first. This is gonna shoot. I think I think we want to switch to Sucrose this turn, right? We'll keep the these. Hopefully we can get another animo here. No, oh, that's fine. Don't really need Dendro, but we also have some useless shit in our hands. Let's switch to Sucrose. Uh yeah, get rid of this. I don't really need that. I can do it. <laughs> oh god, no, he's gonna get so many die. Dude, he, he countered me. Holy shit. Alright, let's equip this. Now that we have these, we can play that card. You can do extra damage. It's a four damage. And it's gonna swirl. <laughs> those, those all gained energy. Um, it's Dilok again. We could kill him right now, like straight up. We could just murder Dilok. And you know what? I'm all for it. Dilok. I'm sorry to say this, buddy. You've done great. To us, but eliminating you now means all the more for me. Sorry, Dialog. I'll see you later. There can be no excuse for it. Not bad. Not bad. I think just keep Sucrus out. Because, like, we could keep swirling with uh, Shang Ling and shit. Plus, we have our ult up ready. So, as long as we end turn here and get the correct die. Cause we don't have any cards to uh, to do elemental tuning. Well, now we do. <laughs> do these count as summons? I don't think these count as summons. They're support cards. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't think I'm gonna use Fischl this round. Fischl's done like what she needed to do, which was apply Electro and then have Sucro swirl everything. Not, it's not really that much better. <laughs> I was hoping, uh, you know. Oh shit, I guess we could do this. Now that Fischl's Oz is gone, we can swirl this and it's gonna gain Electro and then do two Electro damage per turn, right? Spend one less die. What are you gonna do, Dialog? Come on. That's it. <laughs> Alright, this isn't gonna attack, unfortunately. I'd like to switch characters back to Dialog. Uh, yeah, honestly, switch me to Dialog. Switch me back. Use that. Let's go. Let's go. <coughs> Big mistake, buddy. Big mistake. Prepare yourself for the ultimate dust. Da -da 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 -da. Elemental entunement. That's not as much damage as I thought it was. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was more damage. It's still going to do overloaded, so, you know. We'll do the reaction, might as well. <laughs> Um, just heal, uh, Sucrose. Why not? I need some health. The tactical character switch? What is this? It's a fucking building, dude. Holy shit. Oh, 
no, 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 no. Give me good cards. I mean, die. <laughs> die, 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 die. Oh, your Shangling's dead, dude. Like, I don't even need to. I don't even need to, dude. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even need to. Interesting. <coughs> this guy's also dead. That Paimon card is so good. Oh my god, Dylux, no. I can't believe it. Yeah, he's dead. I just have to convert two of these and then use my skill. Then overloaded will kill him. Three plus two. Goodbye. I did it. This is so good because it's three costs. So you're basically equipping this while using the skill and then it makes the next, le next one cost one less. Kind of crazy, honestly. Did I level okay. up as a gamer yet? Am I a better gamer? Purchase a match invitation letter at the card shop. <gasps> Yo, that's so good. Dude, I want like 60 of those in my deck. <laughs> like that card's actually too good. <clears throat> Anything I can help you with? Meow. Uh, card shop? No. I need player level two. How do I get to player level two? What level am I? How do I level up? New players to challenge in Mondstadt. Oh, and I get a new card too, or a new uh, invitation card. Okay. Okay. Do I just keep challenging people? I have enough primos. Honestly, I, I will accept this lady just because I do want to be a Heizo gamer at some point and she's an Animo supporter, so I'll take it. Take what I can get. Invite Kaya, dude. I don't even want to use Kaya, but like, might as well. You want to play a game? Thought you'd never ask. Let me adjust the deck. Let's get rid of some of this, like, useless garbage that we don't need. So, like, uh... What happened to my... Oh, there it is. I definitely want... This for Fischl, Sucrose, Dialogue. I don't need this. I mean, how do I... Remove. Okay. Those are gone. Don't need those anymore. Now I can add these two. Add, add. Hey. That's perfect. I'd love to get rid of some of these like artifact hats that I don't need, but for now, good enough. You play a game? Thought you'd never... Let's play. I think the, the idea of starting with Fischl, getting Electro just afflicted on every character possible, and then running with Sucrose to swirl it, and then once that's out of the way, use Sucrose Ultimate to then swirl everything and then do Overloaded with Dialect is a pretty good game plan. This is pretty good. I mean, it's not... The thing is, Fischl, I don't really use her after dropping her skill, so I don't really need this. This seems pretty good, but also not too horrible that like I, I'm not afraid to get rid of it. This is pretty good too. If one weapon, this is useless because they're all different weapon types. This is pretty good. Okay, let's start with the official again. In the name of 
In the name of the princessin. Up, 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 up. Get him out of here. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. A lot of uh, Omni die, which is always good to see. I right, flick my head. I don't want to like, you know, nose cough into the mic. We got Kaya on board right now. Anything we can like just get going. This is pretty good. Um. Yeah. Well, it's only gonna deal an extra. Only gonna deal an extra damage. Like it's not gonna be an insane move. Whipping this, like I don't. And again, I don't really use official. Past dropping the bird. I don't think there's a, a point in using that. I think for now I just drop the drop Oz. Uh see where life takes us. By royal decree. A Timmy dude? Is he gonna here to kill Oz? <laughs> one pigeon. This card gains three pigeons. Discard this card, then draw one card and create an omni element. Free. Just heal, dude. Just heal the damage. How'd you heal? Can I see a history on what just happened? <laughs> um. Okay. <coughs> I want to try not and get like reacted here. Okay. How's this work with Cryo? Plus one damage, unable to perform actions this round. Okay. Interesting. Um, spend one less elemental die. That just makes it free. <coughs> I don't know if that's necessarily in my game plan right now. Mm. And I don't really need this. The one energy I don't really need either. If I just switch to Sucrose though, I'm not really getting much done. But I guess sometimes that's just how you gotta live life. I I can do it. Let's play this. Let Oz stick around for a little bit longer. Sacrifice this because we don't really need it. Elemental tune. Then just drop a swirl on Kaya. Um, he ended his round. Oh, I guess he doesn't have any die left. Neither do I. I just play this? No. It's free anyways. I don't see a point in playing that. Let's end turn. He's going to go first. Who knows what this man is going to do, but... What I'm thinking... He might switch to Kaya again, though. Which won't let me swirl. Unfortunately. Let's hope he doesn't. If not... Okay, if he stays on Kaya, I might just go to a Diluc and punch him with my skill. Hey, what's up? Freeze. <laughs> no, he switched to Kaya. He switched to himself. Must be weird, dude, playing with your own own self. Normal attacks. See, I wanted a Sora with Sucrose here, but I can't really do that anymore. Custom Twitch graphics? Maybe, dude. Got like a Twitter or something? I could check you out. Uh, I don't really want to use this. This is... 
Wait, no, that only makes it cost one less, but it's free. I guess I might as well use it. It won't make my turn pass, though. Do I benefit from... I don't really benefit from, from using that, though, honestly. Yo, draw me two cards, actually, though. Yeah, just use this. Doesn't help that much. Actually, maybe it does. Kai's about to use this skill real soon. <laughs> I don't want to... Okay, let's equip Dialogue with the Artifact. Cost two Pyro die. I think. Just like, just punch Kaya with this. Wait, no, but then I won't be able to hit with Kaya. Uh, uh. Do I have a discard? Yeah. Where's my number? How do I check my number? Did they change that? <laughs> Profile? I don't remember how they did this. <laughs> did, it, was, did there used to be a number? I could look at that number. Is it just gone? I don't know, man. You want to send me your Discord? What was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was punching. Wait, no. I have to figure out what I want to do here. <laughs> um, There's no reason to do any of this. I want to switch to Dialuck and then hit with Dialuck, but I feel like I'm also wasting these Animo uh, tokens. And also a turn. Just deal damage to him. How many die does he have? He has six. Three damage is not worth letting him punch me. Uh, with like no tokens left. Evac created. Yo, I got you. My cat is meowing at me. Meow. <laughs> I'm typing this wrong. Dude, you have three twos in your in your name. It's three and then two 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 two. That's insane. I sent you a friend quest. Uh <laughs> this is a struggle, dude, because like I don't wanna I don't wanna waste this turn. I think I just switch characters. With this. Let's go. And I could sacrifice a card next turn. To do Oh, I don't even have to sacrifice a card. Eee, I forgot I put this on. This is why I did this. Now I have two left, right? So I can actually use this skill twice. Apply Pyro, and then next turn, I could convert these two into Pyro tokens and then do another three damage. But it'll actually be one cost cheaper because of my... Oh, wait, no, I don't have that ability equipped. Never mind, I lied to you. I lied. I'm sorry. I'm a liar. Get rid of this. Uh, This is pretty good. This is pretty good, too, honestly. He has no summons, so might as well just do this. Um, excuse me? Does this only work once per turn? Once per round? What the heck? I'm a fool. I've been a fool to myself. I thought that I could live with no one else. But now through all the hurt and pain, it's time for me to respect the ones who loved me more than anything. Damn it. I thought I was big brain too. In the end, I was just small brain. I did overloaded damage. That was actually insane. <coughs> okay, he switched to the Bennett, which is pretty good for me. Don't re roll that. Legit, just roll all of this. I'm looking for Pyro right now. Actually, I'll keep these. Sucrose is pretty good. Okay. 
<laughs> I guess we're just switching to sucrose then. <laughs> I guess we're switching to sucrose, but you know, whatever. Ow. I don't really want to switch to sucrose. It's like making me switch to sucrose though. This is so good actually. You know what? Fuck it, dude. Get this out of here. Convert this. Next time you use a skill, switch your next character. My cat is destroying it. <laughs> next time you use a skill, switch your next character. Okay, yeah, whatever. This one sucks ass. Then we're gonna, oh, I don't need to, cause I could just equip this on him and then he's going to deal damage immediately anyways. Wait, I didn't use it, hold on. So it deals damage to the current active character, which is gonna give overloaded. Oh. <laughs> oh, yo. Look, enemy elemental dice to reroll. Gain another chance to reroll in the reroll phase. He has two of those. What the fuck? He can reroll twice. Three times, actually, because he used the base once and then twice again. That's crazy. What the heck? Guy's cheating. He's cheating in the video game. I'd love to, like, just, uh, to win. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. I'll let you know, dude. I've always, I've been looking for, you know, stuff. My profile's a little empty. A little sad. My Twitch, my Twitch place. Um, I feel like I'm about to get owned here. This is going to like a melt reaction me. I kind of want to get rid of this Mona, but I don't know what to do. I have so many things, but switching characters right now just feels like not the right play. Because then she's going to do a water ability when I switch to Sucrose, and it's just going to freeze Sucrose. And she's not going to be able to do anything. <laughs> I want to use this to gain energy. But if I do that, I won't have enough cards to play to then have enough pyro tokens to use the special ability that I'd be spending this on. Unless, of course, it's discounted, which it's not, because only skill gets discounted on this artifact. Am I right or am I wrong? Or am I right? Skill, yeah. In that case. I think we just get rid of these two. And just use the skill. That'll give us the energy we need to maybe kill somebody next turn. This is what I mean about Dilux elemental skill. Like, yeah, I'm doing eight damage now, but it took so long to get there. Everyone's already at like at kill potential. <laughs> What's the point? What was the point in me, me getting to this position? Sucrose could kill him with their skill right now. In fact, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to switch characters to Sucrose. <laughs> now that uh, Mona's off field, we can safely switch. Not worry about getting a reactioned. He skipped his turn. Uh, say goodbye, Kaya. I'm not done. Mm, I see you've played this one before. We're gonna get frozen here. Oh no, I guess not. Bye, Oz. I'll see you later. Oz faded off into the to the dude. This is so good. This Paimon card. Holy cow! This is all useless. Well, that's fine. Well, no, I don't even. Again, I don't use Fischl past pressing E. I guess I don't press E, but you know, you know what I mean. Dendro, I don't need this. Bruh. Actually, this works out perfectly. She can hit my my Sucrose. Please don't. No, Sucrose is frozen. <laughs> How could you? Come on, nah. God damn it. She could just keep normal attacking Sucrose and just perma freeze. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that sounds like a really fun deck idea. Like perma freeze with like a 
okay, let's say you apply cryo to a character, or you're able to mass apply cryo with someone like Kaya, you could swirl it with Sugros, have your thing just apply cryo to every character, basically. And then have someone like Mona just use her normal attack to just insta-freeze, like, the current active character. And then, like, oh, I'm gonna switch characters. Guess what? You're gonna get frozen there, too. Maybe. An interesting idea. Um, unfortunately, I can't do anything right now. And the only person I could switch to is Dialuk. Let's finish this. Switch. She won't be able to freeze Dialuk, so that's a good sign. He's going to do melt damage, though. Oh, wait, he switched to Bennett. Sure, whatever. This only deals uh, three damage. Unless, of course, I equip this sword, which is something I can do. This perfectly kills Bennett. Could it break? Yo, it's over. Feeling the heat. <coughs> it's over, buddy. It's over. It's over. My reckoning. Reckoning has come. Did I level up yet? Been waiting to level up so I can invite some more people. I've made such a fool of myself. I thought that I could live for no one else. Have I leveled up yet? How do I know when I level up? zero exp <laughs> what the hell what have i been doing this entire time if not gaining experience excuse me you stupid cat where's my experience he's screaming he's fighting back he's like no you have to fight the people in the overworld they're random npcs okay fine whatever prince stupid cat all right i guess i guess let's like fight a random person hey hey jory Let's go. My deck. Yeah, see, I gain EXP from this. Okay. I get it. I've got you in my sights. Um, most of this is useless. This, uh, useless? 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 All actual garbage? Pretty good. That's pretty good. We're gonna start with Fischl. Once again, this is so easy. I'm like thinking too hard, far ahead now. I could have just started with Dialog and have him one shot every enemy here. Animal? Okay. We're just going to summon Oz. Maybe I can keep him on the board for a second longer. Actually, you know, this works pretty well. Passive skill? <laughs> Excuse me? Is this going to zap him or no? How that works? No? Okay. Let's extend Oz's uh, stay staying ability. <laughs> Let's let him be on the board for a turn longer. That's what I meant to say. There's no point in uh, using this because I have four. I'm going to have a leftover die anyways, so might as well just use it by switching characters. I want to help. <coughs> Ow. Um, goodbye. Opponents, 10. Yeah, I'm about to die, too. <coughs> God, I think I'm, like... I think I'm ready to, like, go eat some food or something. I have curry. Dude, holy shit, curry. I'm so ready. I'm gonna get rid of these, two. I don't really want them. I'd rather get Anima or Pyro. There we go. Uh, 
Uh, get rid of this. Sure. Just kill this dude. Like, seriously? And then, I think... Oh, wait, no, I can't. I forgot it's an action turn to switch characters. I always forget that. I feel like switching characters... Well, I guess no, huh? Because then you could do some crazy shit if it wasn't an action turn. Or if it, if it didn't count as an action. Switch characters. Just switch to dialogue. Let's go. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Like, kill this guy, I guess. Kind of overkill, honestly. <laughs> Five damage to this poor Hilotro. Oh, no. I'm out of cards. Oz was there dealing damage. Alright, we're literally, we just need one pyro die. That's all we need. One, alright, that's it. That's it. Don't even need a roll again, dude. Yeah, good luck with that ice arrow attack, buddy. Nice. Again, I'd really like a, a Hilla Trail deck, but unfortunately, I don't think that's possible. There's only one Hilla Trail that you could play as. I'm glad they let you play as evil dudes, though. Whoa, you better than the regulars here. Nice. Any other gamers around here? There's one over here. Ellen? <laughs> okay, let's fight Ellen. Let me at least level up, and then I'll go eat. How about that, huh? No, I'm not addicted, okay? I'm not addicted. I just want to at least level up once and see what happens. Adventure challenge. Okay. Pretty good card, honestly. That one's useless. That one's also useless, but the rest I kind of like. I'm into. That's useless. Sweet Dam's like a free heal. Do I just start with an Ellen support card? <laughs> okay, th thanks, Ellen. <laughs> oh. You know what? If I'm going to have Ellen here... Are these resistant to uh, Electro? Passive skill. Immune to electro damage. Yeah, okay. Honestly, let me just start with Die Luck. I think that's like Let's the go. better option. Then what I could do is if I roll a ton of Pyro Die or Omni Dies, which, you know, things are looking pretty good for us right now. If I can get like three Pyro Dies. One's good enough. I'll take it. What I can do... I don't have enough for this. I mean, it's going to cost one less die anyways. So, might as well kill this guy. Right? Turn's going to end. Ow. <coughs> That's fine. Um, And then I can sacrifice this, because it's useless, to convert it to Pyro. Then I should be able to use this again because of Ellen. Thank you, Ellen. You just chill here the entire time? That's crazy. Once you play an Ellen card, she just kind of works. You know what? Straight up. Uh, Let's just be real. Hold on. Convert this to a pyro. And we can swing again. Holy shit. And it deals the extra two damage because it's the third time. Is it third time in a round? Yeah, in a round. Damn, that was satisfying. That's that's an interesting combo. Dilek and Ellen, you can get the three uh three hits in a row. So that uh, how much was that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven damage. That's crazy. You can like one shot a hero with that. 
<coughs> I imagine if you could set up giving Dilok like a claymore or something, you could just sweep the entire team. Something insane like that. Was that switched to official? How dare you? I don't want to be official right now. She can't deal damage to this thing. The heck? I don't really see a point in. Well, I guess you'll die look real quick. Like I don't really see a point in being official right now. Like it's not gonna do any Let's justice for me. Swiftly. <laughs> Ten damage overkill on a slime. You'll be here in the open world and you're bored and your dialogue has ult and you see a bunch of electro slimes. Alright, I need one more battle. One more. Oh, I got the Ellen card! Yo! Actually really good with Dialuck. So, it's possible to win this way. Hmm. Bro, you helped me out. What are you talking about? Is there anyone else around here? Is this Timmy? <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna fucking beat the fuck out of Timmy, dude. Holy shit. He's gonna get destroyed, bro. Timmy. Timmy. I'm gonna destroy this this child's hopes and dreams of ever doing anything good with his life. His birds can go fuck themselves. His card playing skills can go fuck themselves. Timmy, where are you? Timmy, you're not even here. Timmy, what the hell? Oh shit. Gambling money. Nice. More gambling money. Nice. Why am I blurry again? Why does this like camera do this? I need to use Lumine. Unblur myself. That's just her purpose now. <laughs> it's not even like a figure to like I have fun with. Like show and like be cool action shit with so she can focus my camera i need timmy here it's too he doesn't come out this late does timmy come out <laughs> Wait, when, when is timmy here oh there he is hey timmy Ooh. I have to be player level 10. Adventure challenge. All right. Let's go in cards. I want to remove some of this useless shit for uh, Ellen. Or at least one of these useless shits. Um, I really, really don't need this. Give me Ellen. Hey, nice. I like that I'm slowly making my deck more and more useful. It's fun. So useless cards like aren't all that horrible. You don't then have to go through the, the effort of thinking about which useful card you should get rid of. You just know which cards you should get rid of because like you're never going to use some of these. A Tale of Two Hillitrolls. Um, oh, that's so good, dude. Keep this. I want this. Keep it. You can keep that as well. <coughs> Heard of this? It was pretty good. I don't really want to do that. A heal, and then a card for Dialogue. Okay, I think I want to start with Fischl this round. The threads of your fate lie in my hands. Omni. I'd like some Electro, please. If possible. It's one Electro, at least. Eh, it's good enough. It's enough to trigger the skill, at least. I lied, it's not. What the fuck? 
Oh, I thought I landed on Electro. I didn't, apparently. I'm a fool. I want to equip this to Sucrose because I'm definitely going to use her next turn. And I think the heal... This is basically a heal, but it costs something. Let me get this shit out of my face. Dude, I don't want it. Turn this into an Electro die. Oh, wait, but then I can't switch to Sucrose because I... I only have three die. <coughs> I won't be able to switch. It's too expensive. You know? Just equip this on Dialog. And... He's currently the active character that he might switch. I think the safest bet is to just switch to Dialog. Let's finish this swiftly. Plus he has the most health. Why well, is Sucrose has the most health too, but yeah, he's gonna switch characters. Can end round. Then I can use this. Hopefully this will zap him. Yeah, I don't really think the swirl is that. Is that crazy? Unless you're doing like a long-term game. Hmm. Looking for some pyro here. I don't mind keeping that. I just, I would prefer pyro, please. No. Okay, we have one pyro and an omni. We're good. Timace, you're not really helping. Or not Timace, Timmy. <laughs> Timmy, you're not doing anything. <clears throat> three turns need to pass three rounds need to pass for this to activate that's like way too long dude do this this is gonna replace my uh my current artifact ain't it <clears throat> it's gonna, it's gonna replace the current artifact and make it cost cheaper. <clears throat> <coughs> oh God, please help me! <clears throat> it made that that card cheaper, <laughs> which is then gonna make the next move cheaper. Right? So look at this, crazy dude! Holy shit! Means I can activate it twice. <sighs> oh god. <clears throat> I'm better. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not better. I'm not better at all. <coughs> this is what I mean, but I'm dying. <clears throat> <clears throat> I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do this. <clears throat> and then just punch this dude, dude. Just punch him. I oh, yeah. punch him. Okay. He's gonna end turn. I'm gonna end turn. What do you mean it's not my turn? Now it's my turn, motherfucker. Okay, give me my turn. I'm gonna get an ubiquity die. Er, not an ubiquity. I'm gonna get a. Oh, he's fucking. <coughs> Death. Ah. I'm about to be this Montreal dude. I'm about to die. But instead, instead of like to die luck in like a really cool spinny move with flames and shit, it's gonna just be me coughing my like organs out. <clears throat> ah. As a sign for me to go like to stop. <laughs> Holy shit, Timmy! You drew me a card. Oh my god, Timmy. That's crazy. <clears throat> oh, dialogue's dead. Holy shit. I would have thought. I can do it. <clears throat> I saw people playing this game on Reddit, and like this right side of the board is like just filled with tokens. <laughs> I don't know what character they're using, what like crazy psycho combos they were doing, but this entire right side of the board was just tokens. 
It was crazy. Crazy, man. It's crazy. Crazy. Let me tell you, it's crazy, huh? Thanks, Timmy. Timmy, you suck ass. I'm going to kill all of your birds. <clears throat> Alright, thanks. Alright, let me return. <clears throat> this is it. This is the end. The end of the Taco Turt saga. I fucking collapse here. Coughing. Like Pukumuku trying to defend itself. But in, instead of defending itself and punching things with its organs, it just dies. Because all of its organs just fling out of its body. It suffers a horrible death. Hi, Prince. Ow. <clears throat> I get another card here. Wow. Invite another player. <clears throat> I'm level two now. I have a new card back. Monstat? That's cool. <clears throat> um, card shop commodities. Dude, I could just buy one of these right now. Holy cow. <clears throat> I don't know who I want to main yet, you know what I mean? Let's see. These are all the characters, I imagine. <clears throat> I don't know what they do. I want to see what the characters do. Kashing. Maybe I should pick my main based on who has the coolest background. Dude, look at the way Kali's standing there. Looks like she's about to. She looks like she just cornered you in an alleyway. <laughs> it's like, yo, end over the goods. Ding Guang. You know who I want to main? Fucking Mirror Maiden, baby. Or like this dude. Or actually like Magu Kenki. That'd be awesome. Magu Kenki looks so cool, dude. Yo, give me the Magu Kenki card. Where do I get the Magu Kenki card from? I, I imagine inviting these dudes is where you get... Their cards? So how do I get Magu Kanki, dude? Someone explain to me. I want that card right now. I think I get it from like here or something. The only thing I could think of. Or like Ascension Challenges. That would make sense. Like you do Ascension Challenges. <clears throat> or maybe uh, maybe you fight some dudes in like the adventure bonus and you get the player card for Magu Kanki. That'd be crazy. <laughs> ben Honestly, I'd go to a bar or a tavern with just cats all over the place. <clears throat> yes, challenge. And it, do I get anything from this? I just get EXP, dude. Who cares? Don't give me that. Manual? Oh, shit. Can I see the other levels? Can I get Magu Kenki through here? <laughs> I still have all this to do. I need to play Pokemon. I wanted to play Pokemon today. Did I fight Bennett? <coughs> Hi, Bennett. No one seems it would be too easy of a win. <laughs> Oh shit, wait, I didn't mean to do that. No one seems Next that includes a large number of event cards that can be used to organize powerful early offensive. That's interesting. Is his deck is based on luck. I think. I don't know. I didn't mean to start this. <laughs> okay, I guess I guess we're fucking fighting with him now. Oh my this is perfect, dude. We could like just take out one of his dudes right away. Look at this. This is actually amazing. All we need to do now is draw pyro cards. Just give me uh, pyro. If we can get a bunch of pyros down, we could take out a character right now. No, 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 no,
I don't really want these. Just, I'm looking for Pyro. That's, we're high rolling for Pyro right now, so we could take them out. We have one Pyro. <laughs> you know, that's fine. We have a lot of cards to spare. Most of them is for, you know, the setup. Like, I really would have appreciated this one being used. Let's drop an L in. Um, uh, don't use these. Why would you? Oh, fuck. Drop Ellen. <clears throat> let's drop. Let's give him a Claymore. <clears throat> let's, uh, this is draw two cards. Like, this is too good to just not use, right? Because these two cards can then be converted into, a. Uh, Pyro abilities. I'm not going to use this right away. Um, I think for now, I just want to hit Bennett for three. And then now we're going to take a lot of damage this turn, assuming he uses some offensive skills, but it looks like he's just setting up too. I've got a great setup for next turn. Next turn, these guys are dead. So hopefully next turn... Right, I have this great sort of deal for damage. Ellen is gonna make it, but I spend. Wait, yeah, what the heck? If I use this, <laughs> if I if I start with this next turn, my next skill is gonna cost one red die because of Ellen. Let's end turn. I'm gonna go first. <clears throat> Thanks for the cards. Video game. All right, we're looking for Pyro Die. Pyro Die, 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 Pyro Die. These are not, okay, one of these is Pyro Die. The other? Not so much. Get these out of my face. I don't want to ever see them again. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Okay, none of these are Pyro Die either. <laughs> Shit. Um, it's fine. It's fine. We can still use this. <clears throat> Still use this. Play it. Yup. That's gonna deal four damage. That's a dude. <laughs> Tomatoes? <coughs> ben trans. Oh, that's kind of cool. He makes artifacts cheaper. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Normal attack, I'm not even gonna use normal attacks. That's useless, useless. We don't have any uh, pyro dies uh, for now, behold. Four damage. I hope he switches characters here. Oh yeah, you fool, you've stepped into my trap. Uh, change this. Uh, change this. Uh, change this. Uh, change this. <laughs> yeah. Dude, nice Barbara, by the way. She's not dead? Excuse me? I was only dealing one extra damage, and there's no... Yeah, whatever. Fuck your Barbara. I want to see you try to do anything, Bennett. Oh no, he switched to Bennett. Oh my god. They can't believe it. I have no... <laughs> I, don't, I can't do anything. He can't do anything either. <laughs> Dude, Bennett really is too easy of a win. Would have thought. <clears throat> All out of my face. A disgrace. Every single one of those die. I really would have loved to swirl and take out Barbara, but it's not something that's happening. So I'd rather just do this and then next turn kill him. Well, actually, we can't kill him next turn. Oh, no, we can't because we do teal physical damage plus one because of the sword. So we just have to convert one of these cards to Pyra and then we kill Bennett. All right. Pyro. Oh shit, I could just. Oh, oh my god, it's Barbara. Barbara. This costs less, technically. Might as well just use this. Why is everyone 
<clears throat> it still costs three. I can't do anything about that. I could convert and then do uh Oh wait, yeah, I killed this guy. Oh, see you later, Bennett. Could it break? Dude, Dialect's been my offensive and my tank. Insane. Absolutely what an absolute mad lad. It's not my turn. Um, excuse me. Give me cards, please. It's over. This guy can't do anything, though. All I have to do is run one, roll one pyro die, and I just punch him. Oh, I guess he goes first, though, so he could kill me here. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> pyro, die luck! No! Oh my god! <coughs> Lupa, go back out. Back out. Nice. That's fun. Uh, well, <laughs> Why did he spawn in like that and sit down? Two steps forward. I'm so rich, though. What character do I want next? I think does like who do you think's good? I imagine they're all based off of their skills, right? So I feel like Kale would be really cool because if you go to Kale Hydro, okay. Here's my prediction. My prediction is that uh, with Dendro, you could probably still spawn uh, cores. And because it's like such a long setup, they're probably worth playing. That would be my guess. If I was Mihoyo and I was a dev and I was making this, I was totaling this, I'd be like, okay, there's a lot of steps to get to a Dendro core and then to activate said Dendro core. I would imagine, you know, it does pretty, pretty well. So Bloom, Dendro core, grants two damage to the next instance of Pyro plus Electro. <laughs> two plus two damage is a lot. I mean, each character only has 10 health. This just deals three elemental damage. Honestly, Dendro has been like... Uh, end phase deal two Dendro damage. Uses twice. It's pretty good. Dendro is like a probably the most interesting of the elements. Like it really, at least to me personally. <clears throat> the one thing I like about Mona is her, uh, this. The fact that she switches characters <laughs> as a fast action. So if you, if you were with her, you could switch characters and act with another character after switching, which is pretty cool. She doesn't deal a lot of damage though, it seems. She's very, uh, like, apply hydro and, like, fuck off. When your active character receives damage, decrease damage. And it deals one damage. Interesting. For three? I guess it's, like, a very defensive type card. When dealing skill damage, remove the status and double damage dealt for this instance. That's crazy. Wait, <laughs> you could do like an insane setup with this. The fact it costs three though to to get it up there, so you'd have to cost you'd have to have cast this three times. What does Ganyu do? I imagine you can't charge shot with Ganyu and just destroy the board. <laughs> No. <clears throat> oh, you can. Five. You'll two piercing. Interesting. To all opposing characters. 
Deals one cryo damage, deals one piercing to all opposing summons. One sacred cryo pearl. Yo, this is insane. This is like what Swirl does, but better. <laughs> it just does it. What the fuck? Ice is very expensive, though. Oh my god. I guess it costs five, though. Alright, yeah, the thing about Ganyu is you have to, like, roll cryo. You just have to. There's no going around that. Physical damage. Doesn't grant energy? How do I get energy, then? Plus one damage and physical damage converted to pyro. <clears throat> you one pyro damage after your characters other than Yoimiya uses a skill. Eh. I want to I want to see Sino's card, but I can't even check what it does. Let me check, lastly, Ayaka. I want to see Ayaka. <clears throat> cryo damage. Three cryo damage. Deals four cryo damage, summons one Frost Flake Seko Noto. Deals two damage twice at the end of phase. It's pretty cheap. Ayaka seems really good, actually. When switched to be the active character, this character gains Cryo Elemental Fusion for one round. But when I, so I could, let's, oh, I could like, okay, well, let's see what, what uh, Barbara does, right? Because I was thinking if you can get uh, Hydro applied with Mona, you could fast switch to Ayaka and then she can immediately attack. Well, I guess she could immediately attack anyway, so there's no point. That's like two of the same thing. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could, could immediately attack and then apply cryo. Interesting. It's an interesting thought. I'm kind of into that. Let's see what Barbara does. One hydro damage, one hydro damage, melody loop. Heal all characters, one HP. Active character gains hydro. Yeah, Barbara's just a healer. All right, that's it. I'm out. I'm out of here. I'm hungry. Can I sit anywhere? Get this guy off the screen. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Go eat some food. <coughs> and hopefully I stop dying eventually at some point. This is a little game mode they came up with. It's pretty fun. I like it. It's cool. Um, I don't know. I'm just like chilling right now. I'm also looking at my Lumine. My little Lumine figurine thingy. Oh my god, her sword came, her hand came off. Oh god. <laughs> Not her entire hand. <laughs> I'm just fiddling with it, honestly. I'm just chilling. Oh, seven hours. Nice.
All right, well, I'm out. I'm out. Okay, I'm trying to make my Lumine stand, but she's not doing it. Oh, she's standing. Nice. All right, bye. That's what the cat said. Translated. Have a good night.